Well, hello. Uh, I felt like that was necessary. If you really hate it, that you can tell me and we won't watch it again tomorrow. But uh, as a little appetizer, our nice little workers and resources trailer for the next upcoming release. Also, the beta is out, right? Since yesterday. So 0 0.0904 is now available to everyone. So if you want to play along, please do so. Uh, the map is in the description. Or if you type exclamation point map, the Nightbot should tell you what map it is. There's a link. Um, it's just normal workshop map um, that I adjusted a little bit. And I'll show you what things I adjusted. There's an original out there. Please support the official release um, as usual. But welcome, everyone. We have 99 people. Oh, my God. Wow. Um, that's more than I expected, but so nice to see you all. Please make sure you like this because I would love for this to be the biggest stream that I've had. It will be the longest. There will be three streams for this today, tomorrow, and Friday, unless the kids get sick. Um, and, well, if we can reach a, a, a wide variety, uh, that will be amazing. Um, also, the beta is a beta. It's public beta, public testing. And if you're not currently opted into the public testing branch, you will not have this one. If you want to see that, um, exclamation point WRSR beta, like workers and resources beta. Nightbot will also tell you how to do that. It's also in the description below, uh, just if you want to ask questions, etc., etc. But here we are. <laughs> um, what are we going to do? This is the realistic vanilla island challenge okay what does that mean i didn't want to use any of the existing challenges verbatim i heard a lot of different challenges and people always bring it up but people usually ask me play play an island play an island i always resist i was just like no no i don't want to because reasons um i think at this point we are at a stage where we can play vanilla island but we cannot uh, go completely realistic. So it is realistic vanilla island with an asterisk. Uh, what that means is we're going to start out prepping the map, not in realistic mode, and with research off. I'll show you everything that I'm talking about. And I considered just jumping right into after the preparation, but I feel like there's always a lot of stuff that we can talk about that we can adjust that I didn't want to skip. That's going to take us probably at least half an hour, 45 minutes to get to that point. So uh, we'll see how that goes. And then, um, yeah, after we're completely set up and have something that we can start with, we're gonna turn realistic on, we're gonna turn research on, everything will be vanilla realistic from that point forward. I hope that makes sense and I hope you you're not too disappointed. I, there is at least a 50-50 chance that I will fail at this. There may be a 60%, 70% chance that I fail at this. I've done preparation in terms of the stream. I, I, I'm I, going to rely on my knowledge of the game to figure out how we can make Vanilla uh, vanilla Island actually work. So, um, yeah, if you want to play along, please, please, please do so. I think that'd be great. Uh, I'm a little behind on the chat now, but 129 people. Oh, my goodness. I'm not going to tell, uh, read everyone's name because I am terrible at reading your name right, but thank you so much for being here. Very much appreciated, and we're going to jump right in. Um, the last thing, giveaways. There will be giveaways. My preference would be a giveaway every full hour, so the first one will be around 10. Nightbot will run it, and you will opt in with a keyword. You will just... I will tell you the keyword, uh, and I will show the Nightbot um, overview so that you can see what's going on, if you're if you're in or not. Um, there will be a limit on how many times you can use the keyword, just randomization. Let's keep it even, let's keep it fair, all that stuff. But I will, I will repeat all of that before the giveaway, no problem. Um, and then uh, there are workers and resources keys. I understand that most of the people that are watching this probably already have the game, but maybe you have a friend that doesn't have it. Maybe you can tell someone, hey, hey, there's going to be a giveaway in three minutes. Go over here, go over here, do this thing. Um, that will also be fine. Okay. Uh, we're going to do it through chat because every interaction YouTube just appreciates. Uh, speaking of which, 71 likes. Awesome, guys. But there's still a few of you that haven't liked the stream yet. I'm just trying to um, reach as many people as possible on the YouTube. Okay. Um, let's see. Check the... How many giveaways will there be? I am planning on one every hour uh, over the next three days. That is at least 15 hours, I hope. That's my plan. Um, three Division or Peter provided me with um, more than 15 keys, so I'm, I'm hoping I will just get rid of all of them. Um, but that's that's the plan for now. So there should be plenty of chances um, for people to, to win something, and hopefully it will be, um, yeah, will be good for everyone. Yes, Nicole, that's right. Like and subscribe, please. Uh, 
Dennis, okay, are you are you playing along uh, live or are you playing along just offline and seeing how it goes? Because I know your your analytics are different than mine. Your 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 mind works different than mine. I think it will be fun to see what the differences are. Obviously, I don't want you to steal any any viewers from over here. Um, new series, okay, very good. Uh, so we'll see how all of this go uh, goes. No, not fifty one five fifteen. Every every one hour, one key that I can give away. Sorry, not fifty. <laughs> Peter did not give me fifty keys. Um, cool. Yeah, let's get started. So. Um, we are, again, this is branch, and you can't see it. Well, you can barely see it there. Nine, zero, four. There you go. Um, campaign, just in case you're curious. I'm not going to play it. I know someone else may be planning on playing it, and that's totally fine. Um, but as far as I know, it's just a tutorial in a different way. So uh, that's not what we're going to do. Custom game. That's what we're going to play. And the map is called, um, let's see, the original map. Where is it? The original map was somewhere here. Leso Ostrov Zibirisk, Oin Ireland. Okay, this is not my map. This was created by someone else. I'm sorry, I forgot the name. Um, it is in the uh, workshop description, but this is the one that I made for this challenge. Be well, Joe, edit Owen Arlud. Okay, just go and find it. Uh, should be fine, or just type map in the, in the thing. <laughs> uh, if I have to do some settings with Nightbots, I will, I will figure it out. Um, sorry about that. Camel emoji. <laughs> okay, so this is the map that we're going to play. To start, this is very important. I'm going to set it to realistic, so everything switches to the heart section. Um, then I'm going to switch to 1960, and this is important now. Disable your realistic mode. If it's enabled in the beginning, for some reason I cannot get free terraforming afterwards, so you need vehicles, which is not cool. Um, I will also turn research off because we need some power in the beginning and we're not, there's no power connection anywhere. So to get power, we need windmills and they are hidden behind research. If you play this, there is a serious consideration of turning off fire. I think that will be, uh, this adds a really big challenge because in the beginning for the first year, we're probably not going to have any citizens. Um, so we have to figure out how we're going to keep our, uh, our infrastructure uh, alive and uh, fires are pretty annoying so if you want to play this maybe turn it off for some time and then turn it back on later a big one is easy money i we're gonna spend our own money to get started to set up the infrastructure to do something that's why i'm starting on an empty completely empty map and because of that we're gonna spend about four four and a half million just on that infrastructure to get going and there's no other way than play on easy money. And then we have a little bit of extra money left over, but I think that is okay. We still have to survive. We still have to find an export. We still have to find a way to export stuff for real. And it will be complex and complicated enough. So uh, this should all be fine. Everything else, play to your heart's desire. There are no no other rules in a sandbox mode. Um, if you're new to this, and on a, ho hopefully some new players will show up here and people that just got the giveaway, please, please, please don't play on hard settings for citizens' reactions. That is a recipe for disaster, especially in the beginning. It will make it so frustrating. Easy or reasonable is totally fine to play with, especially if you have everything else on. You will have your hands full. So, um, let's get started. Dennis, I don't know what you're playing, but um, we'll see. This is also a stream. This is also a stream, so I want to keep this interesting and engaging. So when we can speed up things, I will, especially if we don't have citizens. Um, but it it's really just to move the stream along. It's not really the hardest challenge um, possible, if that makes sense, right? Whew. <clears throat> I'm looking forward to the mail <laughs> layout. Yes, me too. Uh, try to fight the, in the giveaway for my friend. Yeah, absolutely. And I think Nightbot will just exclude you if you have one already. Um, so that's all. Here's the map. You want to see it? This is the map. Don't forget we have research off right now. We are going to start in this tiny area and we're actually going to use this. If you watch the, um, the short that I put out a little while ago, everything, the, the whole infrastructure was set up right here. And um, we're going to start here. The map itself is pretty scarce on uh, scarce on resources. We have some coal. The first one will be hidden behind this giant mountain with only one entrance, really, unless we want to build a tunnel. That's scary. Iron is really far away, so we're probably not going to get that for a while. Oil, we need a way to produce power in the beginning. And this, one of the this is the only change I really made to the map. As you can see, the oil down here is a little heavier than everywhere else on the map. I just need a spot where I can put more than one pump jack to get enough oil to even run our um, 
our oil uh, power plant. I don't have an oil heating plant. We still have to import coal and all that stuff, but I wanted to have our power source at least secured, so that one was changed from the original map. Uh, uranium ore is over here. You can barely tell, probably. Bauxite is here. Potentially a first export, but we need ships and infrastructure to make that work, so it's not going to be as easy as it usually is. You can't just take a truck and send it off to the board and say, you go ahead and do this. Um, the other thing that I changed from the original map is the original map had unlimited everything and you couldn't change it. It wouldn't recognize the um, game settings, so I adjusted that to actually make that. I will make a tutorial for that because it was actually kind of annoying. Uh, but outside of that, this is the original map. The original map maker, thank you very much. Um, okay, let's get started. Any questions? Speeding along with rush planning is a bold move in this game, indeed. And any chance for foreign citizens on an island via ship or heli? Yes, you you can... Citizens are the only ones you can uh, ship in however you want to. Everything else is um, needs, needs, a, needs a harbor connection. One thing that I realized, there were two buttons down here. And Dennis, you may know this. Um, there were two buttons down here they are no longer here, therefore beyond the borders, and I haven't seen them, I don't know why they're not here, but I'm not going to complain, I asked Peter and he hasn't responded to me, and that's okay, but what we're going to do is we're going to build a quick border post here, and this is just for vehicles, we have to be able to, let's pause, <laughs> because we're, we, if I can get people in the summer, um, I will, we're going to get a border post here, how do we do that, I'll show you, um, and uh, that is really just to get our vehicles into the Republic. Otherwise, there's not a good way to, to get us going. So there we go. Are you going to edit the stream and have a video version of it? No, this is 15 hours and it's not meant to be a real educational video. It is for entertainment. And I hope we all hang out. And if you want to come back and watch it, look at a couple things, then sure, go ahead. Um, but probably not. <laughs> little coffee mm -hmm, mm -hmm. all right cool let's get started uh the first thing we need to do is activate cheat mode that is c-h-e on your keyboard press a couple times until you press them all at the same time there we go no <laughs> come on there we go uh fat finger at that really hard but there we go cheat mode is activated and we need that to build our custom cells what you want to do is go to general debug and this is why i wanted to keep this in there are some steps that probably aren't familiar to everyone especially if you want to uh, play on an island landscape editor mode is what's needed to build custom houses um right down here there are the custom houses if you really want to you could also move the borders now um we're just gonna make a new border point yes move border point there we go there's a border point nope this one Maybe <laughs> you could move the borders a little bit. I don't want to mess with that because I don't know if the map has any real issues. So we're just going to leave them as they are. But you could move the border if you wanted to make the, uh, make the game a little bigger. We are going to build a medium customs house because I know that that is generally a little quicker than, um, than the other customs houses. So just give myself a small chance. That has to go somewhere here on the border. But before we build that, actually, I would like to build my harbor. Because if the harbor doesn't fit in the end, uh, we're going to have other problems. Just a harbor for containers and vehicles. Since we are playing vanilla, I'm not going to try to have anything small. Oh, this is this is free? This terraforming is free? Is the first month free? I don't know. Shouldn't be, but it's fine. Uh, 260,000. No, so terraforming was free for the first month, but everything else is not. So this is going to be where we get our vehicles from. Very, very important. I would recommend if you play this to turn on speed up construction in the beginning. Otherwise, some of these buildings will just take a month to actually build. And we don't have time for that. Ain't nobody have time for that. Cool. Uh, there's our harbor. That's, that's our one connection to the outside uh, border. So then we want to get a little bit of terraforming done. Ideally, somewhere here. Let's turn on our view. Um, let's actually go make a quick road Oh, panel road would actually be really cool i like panel road i i never use panel road so having one here i just want to make sure that we have enough space to actually build it that looks good now we can build our customs house and get that connected uh, this is also where you get churches and other things if you if you want to play that way i don't but you can um get that one over here let's get our panel road and we're, we're paying for all of this, okay? This is this is very important distinction. We are paying for every single thing that we're building, all the ships, everything else, and eventually our money will run out. Cool. So uh, this can go here. 
and then we need ways to transport things. Most vehicles can go directly from there to here, no problem, but there are some vehicles that will not be that happy. We need a gas station, sorry, we need a distribution office, uh, and then potentially a gas station too for the distribution office because I would like to have some fuel here. Um, and without auto imports, which we're not gonna have, there's not gonna be fuel there. So let's connect that. Where are distribution office? We're actually gonna use a free one uh, because it's cheaper and hopefully it's not gonna bite me later. Put that one there, get a quick dirt road up and running. Cool, and this is gonna be a fuel truck. Then for fueling ships here, that's really the only reason why this thing is there. We could actually consider not doing that because I will have fuel at the other, at this location. So the ship may be able to make it out there. So you know what? For right now, we're just going to not worry about this. I did this in my short test or in preparation, but I don't think we need it. Because if we don't need fuel, we also don't need um, power in this area. We still potentially need a fire station. Um, and I will probably build that and with a fire station. We do need fuel. So there are problems there. I should just do a fire, a fire station because we have a really easy access there. No, you know what? I'm going to take back what I just said. We are going to place that free distribution office, one of them. Yes, it's not cheap, um, but I, I think we will rely mostly on real distribution office on the island, not on the free ones. So we'll see how that goes and if I'm completely wrong. But we're going to plop that one there. We're going to give ourselves a fire station. It does not require heat. Um, is that a smart idea? 60 tons of fuel, 30 tons of fuel. Beautiful. It has fuel, which is all I wanted. Uh, we're going to plop that one over here. This is just there really for the harbor to exist when we're done. Um, plop that one in there. That looks good. We do need power now. Very important. This is just a small start to make something possible. And then we need a small wind turbine. Uh, thanks very much for the subscription, Tom uh, Thomas Beyer. Uh, good to see you. I'm going to plop that one down here. Get our mud road in there. And is that it? I think so. Oh, one more thing. And this one we may get rid of later. Uh, but a road depot. And usually we don't need a lot of these. But all this infrastructure really just exists to enable us to have this little uh, port here. Too steep. Okay, all right. Well, if you... If you, if you insist on being too steep, that's totally fine. Get rid of you, uh, get us some terraforming, make this a little lower. There we go. We can definitely fit something in there. Yeah, ter I think terraforming is just free in the first month of the game, and once you pass that, you have other problems. There we go. Now you actually fit here, get yourself a mud road, and this is there so we can get some vehicles in that we can't otherwise, like a bus or vehicle to get people in from there. This looks fine. Okay, unpause, and we have fast construction turned on. That's why this is all done already. Um, yeah, you just need power. We're not gonna give you power, fuel. Oh, thank you. I see something that I forgot. Let's uncheck those things. Fuel depot. Um, oh, it's actually not a thing that we see here. Interesting. Okay, let's turn off landscaping mode just for a minute. And then when we go to fuel depot, Hmm. There it is. This is what I was looking for. Uh, we don't want to auto-purchase anything. Yes, it auto-purchased a little bit, um, but, well, it does have power, so it should be fine, but we're definitely going to turn that off. Uh, the little bit that arrived is whatever. Uh, let's get a fuel truck. Probably don't need the expensive one. Let's get a couple, uh, at least one personal car. Oh, maintenance. Yeah, that's going to be a problem here. <laughs> personal car, something small. Yeah, sure. A little, little combi. A uh, little trabi will do just fine. And then we'll tell you what to do. You go from here to here to here. Uh, load at the custom cells. Unload at the harbor. Just fuel, please. And that should be it for this one. Yeah, and a repair station if we really want to at some point. And let's get a couple vehicles. They're only 5,000, so they're not going to break the bank or anything else. Cool. That is this part. Crazy Canadian. This is realistic vanilla island. No mods. Um, yeah, this should be fine. So, it's not pretty, but that's okay. If you're in cheat mode, you can actually press N still and make it look less brown. I think this is good. I think this is fine. This will get us our vehicles that we need. Great. Let's go over here. 
I don't think we need the landscaping mode anymore, so we can just stay here, and that's all perfect and excellent, all those things. Um, let's get some things started. I think I like the way that I had it set up at first, which will give us this vehicle harbor. And I like the vehicle harbor because I know that I do not need a vehicle storage connected to it. You can actually, the vehicles can be stored right here. Plus we can get a little extra normal cargo, like factory connection cargo connected to this thing. So that should be fine. The next harbor that we need, pretty much the first one that we wanna uh, build and turn on is the uh, pump harbor. Do I want to angle you a little bit? I would like you as straight as possible, actually, because I want to use most of the length that we have available here. Let's just see that this that this completes it just right. Um, <laughs> should be fine for ages without maintenance. Yeah, but after five years, that may cause trouble. But yeah, it's it should be okay. It really should be, but it's it's hard to say. It's hard to predict. Um, yeah, so this is our fuel harbor. For the fuel harbor, and we're going to try to complete things right away. And sorry, I'm probably jumping through things a little quicker uh, than some may appreciate, but I would like us to get started on things relatively soon. Let's put the pump right here. Underground pumping station. I actually don't want that. I actually want the above ground one. Cool. Uh, is this good? No, it's 3N. That's the wrong one, buddy. This one's the right one. There you go. Now, I was wondering why I didn't have a connection where I expected it. Uh, but now there we go. That's the right one. Okay. Uh, flip this around again. I just want the road connection on this side. And nice short pump. That should be good. And then we just need storages. I would recommend not using any of the small storages. And we pot we shouldn't need oil, but we potentially need oil. And then once we're done with oil, we may need liquid fertilizer or something else. So um, let's get three of these storages set up. Put the road connections to the north of this. Uh, there's one, there is another one, and there is the last one. Oh, yeah, we're not we're not using grids because I don't need this to look perfect. Then you can connect and you can connect. There we go. And uh, now we have oil that can be imported and uh, we can do stuff with that. I think that is excellent. Now, one of the bigger things that we absolutely need to get right and the first time i tried it i did not get this right is the cargo harbor i will give myself a large cargo harbor because we need so many things and i'll probably have to do some terraforming here to uh, this island to accommodate me a little bit more let's actually go back to landscaping just for a second we're still paused very good um then under here when you go on terrain uh not smooth but terrain height from center this gives us a little more, um, it's called flexibility of building this. I would actually like to be on this, on this edge, and then we can make it a little straighter if we really have to. Um, that looks fine. As long as the trees don't float, I think I'm not doing a completely awful job. That's good. Terrain smooth. Oh, look at that. Look, look like it was been here before. I just need a little extra room, and you will see why in just a sec. Uh, let me, let me build you. You would like to be lower. Okay. <laughs> I did all that. No, oh, there it is. Super happy. Exactly where I want it. I want you kind of centered. Uh, so I'm using the big one because I need to connect a lot of storage to this. Let's see what we need to connect. We need to connect at least one large open storage. And we're just doing one because I don't have enough room to go crazy uh, on this one. Otherwise, I would like to. We only have four um, factory connections. And I thought about using forklifts but do you know how long it takes to unload some a, a ship the ship of the size that we have to uh, have to use to with a forklift with one forklift garage there's only four fitting in there <laughs> sorry that, that was funny um and our the vanilla ones are just not up for the task so no we're not doing that cool um fertilizer yeah i I think fertilizer is just something I will worry about later. It's not something I absolutely need in the beginning, uh, but when I need it, I will probably just replace the oil, right? So we'll, we'll see how that goes. So um, one of those, I will give myself a large warehouse simply because I don't know how much of anything I need at a given time to survive until the next ship arrives. I would like to only give myself one ship at a time, 
I think that will be really nice. Um, I just don't know if that's going to happen. And seeing how this actually plays out, I will actually try to give myself a cargo station as well. I still don't know where the old cargo stations are, um, but if I could actually get this one flipped around like that, um, this wouldn't be bad. This wouldn't be bad at all. I will just have to turn the road around. Uh, this gives myself a chance to actually pick up stuff fast enough to do something with it and to be dangerous. Um, so it's just left control lets you delete something without it asking you or confirming with you. Then go back here, build the large warehouse with the road connection on the other side. So just flip that. This will be perfect. Cool. That's connected. And now we have still some room over here. What do we need with the room over here? Very simple. We need a meat storage, which this one is scary. <laughs> why, why is this one scary? And I could probably also connect this one to... Um, like move it with a truck if I wanted to. But this one is scary because it needs power to not have the meat rot, okay? And that's not that's not always simple to do. So this one, I guess, just has to stay right here. Um, let's delete this thing and then we're good. And the last thing that we absolutely need, it's not grain because we can store grain in this, cement. We cannot produce our own cement for a very long time and it's very expensive to get there first. Once we have it, I think it won't be a bad export possibility. We just need some ships that will that will move it and I'm also not I'm not sold on me using the existing infrastructure as an export um port. Sure, that's a word. Um, I may feel like I have to build additional, like there's a good harbor location right here, additional infrastructure to actually export things. But we will see how we do on the money, uh, because that's really the steering factor here. But uh, dry bulk, yes, we need these guys. Uh, 2,300 tons, 1,000 tons. I don't know that we need a huge amount, uh, but we do need to make sure that we have enough. So I think this one, dry bulk storage... I didn't mean to build all of that. I accidentally hit space there and it just went, oh yeah, you, you, you're good, right? I'm like, I, but no, um, too late. But yeah, this one should be fine. I think we're okay on, on everything that we've built so far. So, oopsies, uh, build factory connection. Yes, this one, it's, it's just money, right? <laughs> so there we go. There's that. Pretty much everything done um, for this so far. Oh, don't worry, there's more. There is, there is a lot more, and I think I really like this location. This location is for aggregates. We need an aggregate harbor for unloading. Later on, we need one for loading if we want to export uh, bauxite. But what are the two most important aggregate sources in the very beginning? That's right. It's coal and gravel. Without those, you cannot do or build much or anything. And it is... Uh, very painful to get through that. So let's make sure that we have at least those available. And I'm going to splurge and use a ship per resource on those until we can replace gravel. Hopefully gravel is one of the first ones we replace. I want the road on the other side. Um, one of the first ones we replaced. Oh, sorry, for flipping tea. Um, but we'll see we'll see how things go so that one can go there then i need a conveyor belt doesn't need to be very tall just needs to be out here um flip you around that looks good okay and then two storages i'm going to give myself two large storages just the old vanilla ones um to make this work and i'm going to place them like a v because i liked something that came up yesterday or that came up with I, i'm not the first person that does this um but i like the look of it uh, because both of these um, storages, if you load um, manually in those storages, it just takes forever. But if I can put a, tr a quick truck aggregate loading station right here, it needs power. Um, but this one takes care of pretty much everything with, that we would ever care about. Cool. Um, coffee? Tea? Tea. Let's do some tea with honey. Mm. Yeah, I made that cup. Okay. Uh, cargo harbor, do ships can refuel up? Yes, kind of, but I need to connect them to everything and I'm going to use a distribution office. We'll get to all of that. We're, we are actually pretty close to being done with this part of the infrastructure build. 
Um, and sadly, I don't think I'm going to use uh, the mud airplane terminal simply because helicopters are a little better at this stage, as in they're as fast as the planes, which is a problem. You'll see what I mean. I'm not going to, I hope I'm not going to abuse anything, but we have to get started somewhere. So we have now aggregates. Good. We have storage for all the normal things. This one is one of the first ones that we need to move all the materials somewhere else and actually split them into their respective um, storages. Fuel, bitumen, and all that stuff. That should be fine for now. This one is mostly for cars, but we could use it for more um, open storage imports if we want to. I should probably limit the amounts to just stuff that I actually care about so we don't accidentally do something like buy a bunch of uranium oxide. That would be super. Um, and this is fine just to get started. Since these are already built, I'm just going to um, organize them, building transparent oil. Really? Oh, it's on the front. That's not super helpful. Um, bitumen. Mm -hmm. Bit. And <laughs> those trees in front of it are also like, yeah, we're here now. Um, did I did I click the wrong one on this one? Nope. Oil. Bitumen. Fuel. And we're just going to do fuel. Fuel? <laughs> I was wondering if I should stay with three letters, but no, this is fine. If you don't like what materials there, not restore soil. I think we can just do a quick cleanup crew, and now we can actually kind of read what's on there. Cool. Um, totally not important at all. What else do we need? We need, well, roads, yes. We need a dock. I don't even know how much money we have right now. We haven't bought any ships. Ship dock, medium. Why? Because I need to buy ships that are bigger than the uh, small one uh, because we don't have that many options. If you play with mods, this may you may have more options and you can play smaller. Uh, but this is vanilla, so we don't have those options. Okay, I played briefly with a passenger harbor. Our ships have such a huge capacity and I can't see how many are waiting at the border, but it's about 60 at a time. Um, and we cannot pick all of them up, so we're not going to use the uh, passenger dock at this stage. Okay. I think we are pretty close to infrastructure complete. Let's get a couple more things here. We definitely, absolutely need a distribution office. Yes, we get one of these uh, before research is done, just because we have to, we have to do something. And you can start right here because this one is purely for fuel at this point because we have to refuel our ships. That is the most important thing. Um, we do also have to refuel our trucks, um, but as long as we have fuel in the distribution office, that may work, but the distribution office, can it refuel itself? Precisely. I don't remember either. <laughs> um, so we'll figure that out. The other thing that we still need this is very important and very easy to forget. All of this infrastructure can burn down at any point. This is what I said in the beginning. You may want to make life easy on you by turning fire off. And if you decide that to do that now, disable cheat. There should be a setting right there. No, oh, we're still in landscaping mode. There's no, none of those settings in landscape. Uh, landscape off. And then you can go over here and fire, building fires. You can just turn it off if you want to. Just... Make your life easy if you if you care. But this is a stream that needs to be entertaining, and let's see if we can burn down a couple things before anything even works. Cool. Um, residential infrastructure. I'm going to use the. Hmm, is this one? This was one. This one have enough firepower? Is really the question that I'm I'm asking. Uh, Ryzen, good to see you. Thanks for the for, thanks for the sub. Two vehicles, um, and the vehicles that we have are the ones that actually exist over here because we don't have that much choice. Uh, you are what? A 12 speed? No, you're a 23 speed. 20 th speed? <laughs> 23 firefighters. Uh, they may be okay because we can't even bring more than 23 in at a time. So I think the small fire station is still sufficient. At least that's all we can really do right now. So I want to put you somewhere that makes sense and it does not take too much space away. Do I need anything else in terms of aggregates? I don't think so, but we do have this extra connection here that I'm wondering if I want to use that for something. Let's build a couple roads and then I'll build the uh, passenger 
imports later 80 versus 60 you know what we're gonna do panel roads for all of this i never get to do that but it's just here to signalize this is the old existing infrastructure that we started with and um to everyone that wants to make this a role-playing type layout and i'm already screwing up here because i need more room for our um for our aggregate loaders so everyone that wants to make this a role-playing experience, you can. You can totally, it's giving me like 100 meters. Cool. That much, at least. Uh, you can totally pretend that this was an old existing army base on the island when you took over. Um, especially in the location that this, this map is, um, well, placed in? Shall we call it that? Yeah, we can call it that. This map is placed in the old Soviet Union, and even today there's still islands that are just inhabited by uh, by the military. So I don't think it feels that out of place to say, you know what, this is an old military base, deal with it. So um, there's that. If you if you need a justification for the stuff that I'm doing here, uh, which you may not, that's totally fine. That's that's also how I play. To make this a little flat, that we can actually pretend this looks appropriate to an extent. Uh, that's fine, that's fine, and then yeah, we just need this. This is going to be our, one of our main uh, roads that needs to be connected to stuff, so I'm actually going to make this one a little simpler. That's fine. Uh, what do we have here? Can you connect to that? That's not bad, that's not bad at all. This is a one way and one way, so got to keep track of that. This is our meat storage. Let's do this. A little bit straight, that's fine. Um, a little bit curved, that's fine. Can you get into that edge, that node? Yes, you can. You can go right here. So far, so good. Um, then we have all of this. Okay, this storage really doesn't need to be connected to anything specifically. I'm gonna give myself a little bit of room. Why? <clears throat> if I have trucks parking here that actually wanna get to the loading station, then my fire or anything else cannot get to it, my fire department. Um, so I wanna make sure that they have access. This is also okay, get that one connected. I'm not terribly worried about the nodes because we are not building this with our construction offices, so that's all fine. Um, and everyone should just build it the way that they want. Um, you, sure, let's make you not too sharp of an angle. This is fine. I want the distribution office to be connected to kind of everything. That's why I'm leading that road into this. And then I think what we can do is just get this one. Yes, so far so good. Also good, also good. And here, I'm gonna check the chat here in just a second if there's anything we need to talk about. Oh, that I forgot. Okay, almost there. Very close, very good. Um, this gets us everything we need, and okay, the last couple things, I first need a landing strip, and I will show you, we have the dirt patches, the uh, grass taxiway, cool, this one, cool, the problem is the airplane that I can purchase, which I can't show you, has the same speed, um, but nothing else um, as like a helicopter, and a helicopter, I think even has a higher capacity, like 22 passengers versus 12, and the landing platform, passenger heliport, it looks a little out of place. I I give you that. Actually, I would love if I can fit you here. Yes, I can. Um, the heliport right here just takes up no space at all and fits right in. And we can make everything a little more compact. And then the only workers that we need for right now is this fire station that doesn't need heat yet. I wouldn't be surprised if that's fixed at some point, but for right now, this is all we're gonna use our workers for, and I'm actually gonna give them a nice little, let's do a real footpath. I mean, we may as well. This is an old military base. Should I put a fence in front of it? Should I? <laughs> let's do this. Um, I haven't done this in a while, but let's see. I would like, yes, um, fence in the starting area um there you go let me know we're gonna wait is this is this thing working yes it is cool uh we're gonna let it run for just a couple minutes and you tell me so this is all set up oh there's one road that i haven't connected yet uh you can go in here oh beautiful 
This is actually coming together really well. I'm kind of surprised. Um, so that's all exciting. There's a thing that I haven't done yet. We don't have any... 200 viewers! Yay! <laughs> I'm excited. And that was too loud. Oh. Mm -hmm. Okay. Oh, ho, 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 ho. looks like we have a pretty clear um, tendency there, which is totally fine. We obviously only got a um, like, fence in the front, and maybe we even put a little bit of um, color down, or gray, <laughs> to make it look like it was an old military base. Um, but yeah, I like it. Technical service. Do we want to supply snowplows in this area? The answer is yes, because the biggest problem that we will have in terms of, um, and I wish that was a smaller one, in terms of fire protection is in the winter, we're just screwed. Um, because if our vehicles can't go there, we can't do anything right. Okay, that is fine. There are no batteries here, so I'm a little worried about our power for these guys, but hey, you do what you do. Um, let's get a small wind plant because most of these things don't need continuous power. And let's see if we can connect everything. That looks like most of these guys are covered. Okay. I wouldn't mind only building two or three, but we're not we're not covering most of this, so I think there'll be one in this slot. Okay. There'll be one in this slot covering most of everything else. Oh, wow. This covers everything. Cool. Did this one cover that harbor? No, it did not. And we can't cover that harbor that way. Okay, so this one can go right here. They will need repair at some point, um, but I don't have that yet. I would like to actually add one that would cover the uh, meat storage as well. Like, cover the meat storage twice. Maybe there's enough leftover stuff. Um, okay. Fire st station is producing trash. Thank you very much. I completely forgot about that. That's a wonderful point and another challenge to add to this thing. Um, okay. It looks like we're very, very much uh, in favor of using the offense, and we will do that 100%. Uh, we have placed all of these... The technical service, trash. Okay, there shouldn't be a lot of trash going in here. But yes, we do need technical service to for snowplows and then for a little bit of trash production. Okay, uh, we could put you here. You kind of fit in, and I don't... I know that I fit you in here earlier. There. Um, you kind of fit in, and I think that's good enough. You don't have to cover... You, you shouldn't cover anything outside of the base, so I think I'm going to leave you there. But yes, trash. This guy will produce trash, uh, which is an excellent point. It doesn't tell me how much garbage production per worker is. 20 kilogram, 0.2 kilogram per day. Okay. Um, just to make my life easy, I think we're just going to use a... Um, where are they? Where's waste? Where, where is waste? Uh, we're going to use one of the big garbage stands um, because it will just move it around, right? Yeah, it will. Okay. Um, I just need to store it somewhere where it doesn't affect my people too much. I can't export it. I can't do anything else with it, really. Um, but yes, having this... Can I, can I actually tuck it in here? Oh, I can. Perfect. Uh, that'll make me feel a little better. So I'm going to have this, and that's my first buffer. And my second buffer is going to be a transfer station. 190 tons versus 240. You know what? The transfer station is not that small. We're going to put one near the exit. Why? Um, because I would like to be able to collect this at some point, And they can drive for a little bit to make this work. So we're going to put that here. The X is going to be close to this. And uh, then trash should be taken care of. We're not going to allow anyone else to drop off trash there, at least for right now, until I regret that decision. <laughs> but for now, that is the plan. Okay, asphalt, ro not asphalt, but um, panel road. That's what it's called. Okay, let's call this the border. And let's get to our decorations. Wow, I built fences so often. Uh, there's a fence gate, there's a railway gate, and there's a park gate with vases. Yeah. 
Uh, okay, so fence gate sounds good. Uh, we're not going to do anything, rail anything like that. Uh, get you connected to, is this the... It is definitely not the shallowest part of, of everything. So I guess the fence has to go here. Uh, we're going to connect the panel road just to that building. I hope you don't burn down or do anything silly. Are you too far away from fire protection? You really shouldn't be, especially if we have a couple of snowplows parked there. Um, so that should be good. Then back to here, fences. I don't think I've seen most of these. Uh, we have Mauer, okay. Prefab fence, brick fence, prefab fence. This one looks like the most appropriate for what we're gonna do here. And because we're in auto build mode, I may actually be able to put a, um, a metal fence right in front of it. Let's see how that looks. I'm gonna put one here one here nobody gets past that right there's just water it's like the uh the great wall also just ends in the water and then you just walk around it i always felt when i saw that picture um it was just like okay that's interesting but then it's again it's like a choke point right um doesn't make it any any easier or anything you yes double fence this and then another one right here that looks great um, what else do we need? We need an area of nothing in front of it. How can we do that? Nope, not that one. Um, actually... Oh, this will be good. Uh, actually, I, I really think this will be good. I need a little bit of this because we need, um, open space right in front of this guy. Oh, I deleted some of the fence. <laughs> some of the fences got deleted. No! Um, let's fix that. We need the, this one. And then we need the, this one. Cool. All right. Uh, okay. Now let's paint this a little bit. Airplane road, airplane square, gravel road, or asphalt. I think airplane is what I'm going to go with um, right in front of this. And then if you use, what is it? C? Yes. If you use C and X, yes, you can change the orientation of your camera and with that you change um you change what getting there you change the angle of attack for your uh, drawing of pavement so this is just the don't go here zone um i don't have any cool assets that i can put on there i think honestly maybe i don't think these catch on fire but just for completeness um, how about we just put two of these here? Can you catch on fire? I don't know. Put one here and put one here, and then we call this one perfect, right? Look at me doing some detailing work. Um, we can do that better. I don't, I don't want the footpaths to look that ugly. <laughs> if we're going to make everything else kind of look pretty, you can go there. You can go here. It is a military base, right? And, um, you and you. Perfect. That will work. Um, so that's all connected. They can get through there. And now I don't want to spend too much time on the rest of this just because we're pretty much there anyways. Um, so let's get a little bit of drawing done. Around here, almost, almost, buddy. That was, that was so close. Around here, I would like to just cover everything that is covered by roads with some asphalt. That's good. That looks good. That looks good. Um, and it looks like we kind of did something on there. Okay, this doesn't have to be perfect. Doesn't have to be perfect at all. Just need it to work. There's a little bit missing here. Okay, got it. Um, and then there's a little bit missing here. Got it. Two. There we go. A little, little speck there. Okay, pretty enough. Um, also, there's all of this. So everything that's on the inside of this part can be um, colored in. Yeah, this is entertaining, right? Uh, watch B-Ball Joe draw stuff. And I'm trying to not move my camera, honestly, right now, because there are still some artifacts left over on those on those things that if I change the camera, the angles are actually going to show up on these artifacts, and I think they will look very, very bad. So we're going to try to keep all of this in the same orientation. Good. Um, can we get you? That looks nice. When this is done, I think it will look really nice. Cool. Is asphalt the right thing? 
Um, I think it will look nice with the panel road that we already have, but I'm going to do some gravel here very, very soon. Okay, that looks fine, and they're taken care of. Very good. Over here, this is all gravel, so let's do gravel square, and we're actually going to do all of this. Yeah, I like it. I like it a lot. I swear I'm going to look at the chat in just a minute. I just... We just need to get all of this done. And what time is it? 9.50. Okay, we have about 10 minutes to our first giveaway, which is perfect. Um, I will talk about that when I'm reading the chat or when I'm done reading the chat. It will be very helpful, actually, if you, if you want to partake in the giveaway, have your YouTube account linked to um, to your Discord, if you have a Discord account. If you, do, I'm, I'm not going to make you get a special account, but here's the thing. Um, YouTube does not give me a way to contact a viewer directly, which is probably a good thing. And I'm not going to ask you to put any personal information like your email in the chat because then everyone that's in the chat has it. That's not cool. We're not going to do that. So what I need is a way to contact the correct person that won after they were picked as a winner. And because YouTube does not give a good way to do that. Um, one of the easier ways, yeah, we're going to go here cheap. <laughs> uh, one of the easier ways to do such a thing, this looks very military, I like it, um, is via Discord because Discord actually lets you connect your, um, yeah, we're going to use a different one, lets you connect your YouTube account and then I can see who you are. Like, what are you, what are you connected with? Are you connected as X or Y? And uh, with that, it's really easy for me to verify who you are. So if you want to be partaking the giveaway, um, it would help if you have that. If you don't have that, don't worry about it. Um, it's only a thing that matters if we have someone that wants to uh, not play by the rules and pretend that they're you. Otherwise, um, we shouldn't we shouldn't even worry about that. Okay, you can come in there like it. Oh, I, I don't approve this. This one can be a tree or a thing. Uh, can we do this? No. Ah, oh, people are messed up again. No surprises. No surprises today. <laughs> okay, there's a little one. That got it. But let's be honest. Does this look pretty-ish? I said ish. <laughs> For a reason. Um, would be nice if I could actually... Oh! Oh, I actually can do this. I didn't realize that. Okay. Um, so that's all covered. That's all covered here. I think the only one we have left is this little aspect. And as long as we get most of this, we should be in pretty good shape. Yeah, I just want to stay within the road. That's my natural barrier. And then we can say um, this is completed. Yeah. See, just an hour to get to this point. We're still February 25th. We're just, we're just building the base structure. Uh, I will tell you, I am fully planning on getting the first city up and running with auto build, simply because, sorry, not the first city, but the first citizens, so the core of the city, all the utilities that we need to get started, all of that stuff, we will get up within, like, with, uh, what's it called, with cheat mode, or with this mode, with auto build mode, and then we can start on actually doing the, the things that we want to do. I think there's an opportunity here to do a little bit more fencing. I think this prefab fence could look nice. You don't like that? Okay. This is just to... Um... What? Why would you disconnect? This is just to give um, a natural barrier for this, this gravel that kind of just flows out here. You? Sure. All right, and uh, that, I think, is probably good enough. Also kind of like the sand spot right here. It's just like, okay, yeah, that kind of that kind of works there. Are we happy with this? Who knows? Uh, let's call this something. Uh, not default, that's for sure. This is Vanilla Island Stream 1. Okay, uh, let's build it. Woohoo! Okay, is so everything happy? Everyone happy? Does it look good enough? I would say, and we're still on cheat mode, so I'm going to use my N key. I would say this looks pretty good. <laughs> I'm actually uh, quite impressed, and I like the panel, the panel look on everything. All right, 
Cool. Um, let's get a couple ships and they can start importing some stuff. And then uh, we go from there. A thing that you could do is you could switch from um, realistic to, um, sorry, from not realistic to realistic. And then when you click on this, the ships will come from the border and you can tell them directions from there. I, we don't have that luxury yet. So here's what we're going to try to do. We're going to at least need the fuel tank or the fuel tanker um, cargo ships. Yes. I want a tanker, not that big. We only have, we have a very limited amount of choices here, which is not great, but we're going to make it work. Go there and then please go here. Um, at the border, I want you to load just oil, sorry, just fuel. And we have a limited amount of space. Our fuel tank only holds 1500 tons and that's what we should get. So we're only going to get about 40 tons of fuel this time. Um, and I want you to wait until I'm loaded here. And after you go there, you need to make sure that it's not getting more. Because once your ships are full and don't load anything anymore, they're not going to do anything. And that's not good for us. So have you go out. Hopefully you're going to make that without yelling for fuel and such. Uh, but I think that should be okay. Uh, we're still in realistic mode. So we should be able to get... Sorry, not in realistic mode. Uh, we can get a refuel tank here and then tell you what you're supposed to do. This is where you're going to load your fuel from. And you need to bring it there, 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 ideally there. Cannot assign building to itself. There, Th that just means we need a fuel station. There, there, and not here. We can get a fuel station. That's not the end of the world. You don't have a power supply. That's fine. Uh, all the harbors should be set to unload, which for some reason doesn't like to do that right away. There we go. What's your problem? Connecting with engine pumps unsupported with unloading. That's fine. I just want you to unload fuel there. Don't make this complicated, weirdo. Um, harbor for aggregate loading. Yeah, whatever. Just just bring fuel to everyone. <laughs> that's, that's all you're supposed to do. Thank you very much. Uh, cool. And then we're going to get this a small gas station doesn't have to be anything fancy just right here for whatever vehicles there may be um that looks good and then assign you to here just for all the same reasons and 30 percent full is just fine um other ships that we already know that we need we need two aggregate loaders uh where are you the hopper ship yes 1200 tons of gravel and coal Hopefully gets us far because I don't want to import 8,000 and these only have one, one slot so they can only transport one thing at a time. So let's get these two hopper ships to do something useful. I want you to go to the border and load uh, gravel. Wait until loaded for sure. And then dump that over here. Uh, wait until unloaded. You can go. Need to make sure that these are set. Store this item and store this item. Otherwise we have a problem. He should be fine. Um, there's a problem with the windmills. That is, once the ships are actually coming in here to refuel, once the power is out, they actually leave. So I, you need to tell them, um, not refuel, but just in general, to unload. You need to tell them to wait until unloaded so they don't go somewhere else. You, same thing, go here. You will be for coal. Thank you. And then you bring that also all the way over here. Very good. Wait until unloaded. Uh, that looks great. And go. Okay. Yeah, the fuel tank is the one that we need first. Everything else can come after and we should be okay. Look at this wave. <laughs> Interesting. Um, okay, should we worry about getting all the other materials into? You know what? Yes, because the ships will take a while to actually go back and forth. And that's a good time to do the next thing that we want to do. The Container Express is pretty. But as you can see, it doesn't really carry everything that we care about besides the vehicles. This cargo ship is going to be our um, vehicle loader that we can use, which is nice. Um, and actually, we're just going to get you. And you will be uh, the one that goes out here. Wait until loaded. I'm only going to give you vehicles because nothing else should be loaded there. Um, didn't realize that I clicked that button. And then you can come back here. The nice thing about this is... It will stand there until it has all the vehicles that I told it to get, and then I can send it. it it's not going to just go back and forth and waste fuel. That's that's the important part here. But you can go. And then we need three ships for loading cargo. But we have to first decide what... Oh. 
<laughs> I, I don't know, sorry. I don't know if you realize, but um, I did buy fire departments, but I haven't actually set anything up yet. So you have to go from there to there. Otherwise, we have problems. Go. And then we need at least two helicopters. Actually, I think we need three to make this work. We can't do that here, but this is really easy. Um, we can, we could buy this one, the airplane parking free. You can actually get helicopters on it. And honestly, I don't hate that, but I don't think it looks as pretty in the, um, in this setup. So how about we get this? and build a heliport out here. I'm, not, I'm purposefully not trying to build on the... Um, this is actually not bad. Purposefully not trying to build where we don't have any uh, coloring, because I think this looks prettier. Not build runway, build this. Panel road, yes. Oh, come on. What's going on here? Oh, you can't see anything under there. Perfect. Oh, there's a pipe. <laughs> Help. Oops. Um, in that case, no, I don't want that. I want this one to disappear because I'm just going to turn you around. Um, we did some terraforming there, apparently. Um, what are you? Airplanes, heliport. You go that way because there's a, a little tucked away we can get in there for sure. Uh, panel road. Yes, you can go that way and just connect into this. That should work. Then let's get our painting. Is it gravel or airplane? <sighs> Shouldn't be gravel. Lucky. Okay. Um, that's built. And let's get a couple helicopters in. To, well, you do it one at a time. Um, yes. So this one does 22 and 225 kilometers per hour. The airplane does 275, I think. Let's see. That's the only difference, which is why I'm going with this guy. Go to the border. Go here. Drop some off. Um, just load. That's fine. And go. Get out of here. Oh, and then I have to tell you to also refuel this guy. Oh, you already assigned. Very good. Um, so you're leaving. Get me at least one more. You get the same, the same trip, and then we see, um, if that's enough. Cool. They're doing their thing. Yes, we're very close to the giveaway. We're just going to do the last few things here. I need three ships that can transport the other stuff. Um, or carrier, no. Cargo ship. So this one is 2,500. Sounds like a lot. Um, why? There we go. Cargo ship. So 2,500 sounds like a lot. 3,500 sounds like a lot too. But honestly, I'm going to have to mix it up so that it can transport everything all the time. And I have to send it out when I'm out of anything that it refills and comes back with all the stuff that I want. So... I think what I need is at least two of these and then start importing the stuff that I care about. What, I, what I'm going to do is this. Carry only this resource, forbid this resource, and then say what we want. We definitely need sure, 10%. Uh, definitely need chemicals. It's a lot, but it's going to be stored on here, hopefully. Um, we need some alcohol at some point. We need clothes in the beginning for sure. We need electronics. Yes, it's going to be very expensive, as you can tell. Uh, we need mechanical components. Now we have one, two, three, four, five, sixty percent already. Uh, 70, 80, 90. Don't have food yet. Uh, 90, 100. Okay. I think this is telling me that this is not going to work this way. Um, let's do just this and this is going to be everything that is not work related we need at least two of food we need one of meat it would be so nice if i can make this different but it's not a thing control click no um all the all the minimum materials those and then clothing yes and we have one two three four forty percent got it um and then 40 50 60, 70, 80, and then cement, 90. Um, if that is 90, now don't say anything else in here that we need right now. Electronic components, fabric, boards, wood, prefab panels. No, I think this is good. 90. Okay. Um, then I can give myself probably 
a little more food because that's the big one. Um, I want you to go to the border, pick up anything I just told you, and it will only load that stuff up to this per up to these percentages, which should add up to the storage that it has. Very important. And I want you to take that here. And then you can go. The other one is going to be, let's, let's name this something. This is the city supply. Supply cargo. And this is going to be construction supply cargo. CO supply cargo. Very good. Um, sorry, this is going to take a second again, but we're going to get this done. Uh, the first reset it, and then we need steel, uh, probably 20. Honestly, no 20, uh, just 10. So 10, 20, 30, 40. Um, do I have electronic components on here? Let's see? Nope. Uh, this is very expensive. 40, 50. Uh, we probably need plastic to repair at some point. Uh, and their electronics here. 50, 60. <laughs> 60, very good. I think we're okay right now. 60, chemicals are already on there. Um, and we could do fabric as a first industry for sure. Um, but let's see, 60, 70, 80. Don't need more boards. 90, 100. Why? Because both of those are generally the ones that we need the most of. So let's make sure we can do it. I want you to load there. Definitely wait until I'm loaded. And then go out to this harbor. Very good. Cool. Uh, go. Alright, now we can talk. While they're doing something. Uh, helicopters are bringing stuff in. Yes, you're waiting for fuel. Sure, that's something that we should have predicted. But those ships are going to take a little while to come back. Cool. All right, how's this going to work? First giveaway, 10.06. Sorry, it took a little while. <laughs> you already have me a mechanical components on your first ship. Thank you very much. Uh, let's close that pool. Let's fix the mechanical stuff. Uh, are they both here? Yes, very good. You say mechanical components on the first ship. That one is here, and I had some on here as well. Yes, you are absolutely correct. With that in mind, we're going to set that to zero. And just get more food. Another thing that I should probably do is make sure that we only get what we need. Did I do I have some cement on here? I don't think I had cement on here. Oh, I did have cement on there. Okay. Uh, store cement here. Very good. Store meat here. Very good. Um, let's limit the amounts quick while we're still there. Um, honestly, let's do this. I know that I need booze, food, this... Some of this, some of this, some of this, some of this. Food, you get three. Okay. And it should set the percentages like that when, when it considers everything is 100%. I don't have any of these vehicles yet, so let's do that. Give me one, two of these and one big storage container, and you can bring all your stuff out to here. Very good. Love it. All right. You are already set up to store what you're supposed to store. These guys are already set up too. I think we are pretty much ready. The only thing we don't have that we still need is a quick depot. And we're going to build a real one. Um, somewhere. Honestly. This looks like a checkpoint piece. So um, we're going to add that here. Love it. We're going to send some vehicles out there. It's not perfect because I have to refuel potentially, but it should be fine. You are complaining because there's no fuel station for you. Okay, thank you very much. Um, I need a fuel station, and we talked about that at the very beginning, but then I kind of didn't, and now we're here. Can you? Yes, you can. Okay, not that one, but this one. Set this one up, and... Uh, you're supposed to load there and unload there, and it's moving now. Cool. So they're all figuring it out. Very good. Um, our slow ships can go somewhere, but honestly, we're not even going to see much of them. All right. 
Uh, stop getting stuff from borders after storage is filled. No, they will just keep con keep going. That's why I set them to wait until unloaded. Very, very, very important. Let me set up a couple things here. There's our chat. Very good. Um, you should probably focus on... Oh, boy. Wrong one. That's the right one. Okay. You can focus on here. There's our... Made it, made it a little smaller than I meant it to be. Uh, how about you a little bigger? That's better. Now we can actually see stuff on here. So. I got a mute button just for that. <laughs> Okay, uh, my bus don't have fuel. You're right. And then uh, I want to open water. Sorry. Okay, cool. <laughs> You're on screen. Yeah, everyone say hi. Everyone say hi on screen. Hi on screen. Um, this is how it's going to work. Um, perfect. We have Nightbot over here. And Nightbot over here is the one that is supposed to... Excellent. Yeah, keep keep that chat rolling. Love it. So we have Sadri, Kubuk, Marcin, Toxidi, Veres, Lewis, Dwarf, Charles, Brittany, Bart, Vincentus, Fixen, uh, Patrick, Rock, Marabingoe, Cypress Creek, Kevco, Trains, Makefield, Patrick, Captain Constate, Gary, Jerry, of course, Christian Bruckner, uh, Paul, Monsieur Fluffy Pants, Mering Bowie, hey, that's too many, uh, Roadhog, Tommy, Mero, <laughs> Mr. Revan, Thomas, Dove Grazy, Stephen, Silent Knight, Fives, Gold Graver, Sundroop, Piotr, Pio, uh, thanks for, for thanks for the the membership there. Shiro, Ricardo, Mayonnaise, Astrondrius, Deconstruct. Don't forget your ports need a fuel station too for the DO to be refueled. Yes, they have it. Uh, Heisekite, Matika, Teki, Mero Bingo, Mero, <laughs> it's, it's gonna, it's gonna time you out. Hi, Kubek, Marco, Erith, Timothy, Ah, um, I can see a big problem with bots just regulating messages in this app. It's no problem to fix. Not, well, yeah, we'll see. Um, I can't read Russian or uh, the Cyrillic letters, so sorry about that, Mr. Krabs. Um, <laughs> 185, Rethink Humars. Rithic. Ah, I probably did that wrong. Dennis, mayonnaise, and Shyman. Cool. I think I got them all. I'm 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 actually I'm actually excited. Okay, so this is what we're gonna do. Uh what's the keyword? Does anyone want to vote on a keyboard? Put it in caps. <laughs> yeah, no, no all caps. Um we're gonna enable anti-spam. Um I want everyone just we want the chat to go. Five times. Five times is max. You can do it up to five times. Otherwise, no. It will actually disqualify you. We don't want that. You know what? For this first one, we're going to see how it goes. I'm not going to have anti-spam enabled, which means you can type it as many times as you want if you want this. Keyword vote. <laughs> keyword is keyword. Keyword is keyword indeed. Britain. Sadri, thank you very much. Much appreciated. Um, you didn't you didn't make me say anything. Should I should I say anything, Sadri? Uh, how about the is Sadri our keyword? I think Sadri, you just qualified as keyword. How's it going? Oh, there's a little, there's a little sticker there. That's interesting. Uh, Sadri, that's what we're gonna do. That is our keyword. Now, everyone over here should look uh, disabled, and this starts right now. You you can start typing in as many times as you want. Make that chat blow up to see how this goes. Um, I will try to keep an eye on um, what. Uh, or who gets disqualified or something like that. But yes, the keyword is Sadri. That's okay. I'm going to do this and put it in the chat. Um, and keyword, Sadri. It's right here. It's in the middle of the screen. There we go. Um, and it should pick that up. There we go. Um, you can type it as many times as you want, but don't go crazy on the spam. Otherwise, uh, the night box is going to get you. <laughs> it's the... It's the, um, the, the... What's it called? The... Uh, danger. We live with danger. Let's see what our ships are doing while, while you type that. We're going to let this run for like two minutes um, and then we're going to click the giveaway button just because I mean, one of the pieces... I, I love it. I love, what, I love what's going on here. Sadri, this is all for you. <laughs> um, 
No, I love what's going on because the chats should help YouTube recognize that, hey, there's something cool going on over here. We need that. Also, I've never seen a chat for me go like this, so this is amazing. Um, but there's our ship. We're going to have these ships actually return, I think. Let's go super speed for just a little while. Well, that the, the water makes it look like everything is kind of going bananas, but that's fine. Uh, I would like all of our ships to come back relatively quickly. Uh, once we have fuel here, it's probably going to be fine. Once the ships are back, we are going to uh, collect or roll for the winner. There's our tanker. Perfect. It's actually going to refuel stuff. Oh, we're so lucky that the tanker actually let us do the thing because reasons? Um, I, I was a little worried about that. How much do we have? We have a lot of fuel sitting there. Very good. Um, you don't have fuel. Okay, you didn't bring fuel over here. Okay, got it. That just tells me we just need another fuel tank, and we're not going to get that one. We're going to get another oil tank that's a little smaller. That's fine to do the same thing, because as you can see, not everything is full, and it didn't refuel the fuel station first, which is stupid. Uh, yeah, you want more fuel over there. Yeah, you're out of fuel. I, I get that. Someone bring something over here. Where are you bringing it? You're bringing it to the passenger heliport. Cool. Not helpful because you're going to run out of fuel in like four trips. Okay, bring something to the fuel station, please. So we can get this over with. Go. You're empty. Get out of there. Okay, helicopters are moving. And you're going fire station. I mean, fire station is good and all, but it's not quite what we wanted. And I really don't want to sell... Um, the tankers, but I don't think I have a real option because that thing is going to run out of fuel too. So, note to self, fill up a fuel station first and then get tankers. But I think they they should get to the right places here pretty soon. If I run at double speed, are they going to survive? Yeah, you, you actually got full. You run there, that's nice. You run there, you run there, and you're out of fuel. That is very annoying. Um, I, I see that we're, we're slowing down there on the chat. That's totally fine. We are going to 100% get you started and get one of these, and they can actually get it done. Um, can we, there we go. Now they're all going, and we're all full of fuel. Great. So that worked. We have our vehicles actually arriving. We have a bunch of stuff sitting here. Mechanical components is not full quite yet. Cement is almost full. Buildings without power supply. You're looking for fuel. Without fuel, you're not even going to unload, which is fine. I don't appreciate that, but it's fine. And let's go. Okay. Um, we don't see this. I am sorry. I am very sorry. Um, that was that was totally my bet. And I think that is just a a thing that could mean if I run it like this. Actually. Uh thank you, Fixin. Um let's let's see here. I don't want to do this. I want this one smaller. <laughs> we, we have fuel now. Um, the problem is that if I I can do this, but then you can't see your chat. So it's a it's a delicate balance. It's a very delicate balance. Uh, but don't worry. We're gonna we're gonna watch this, and once the giveaway is over, we can actually see something. I'm so sorry. I forgot about that. I will do better next time. But thank you very much, Fixin, for that uh, for the super chat. Okay, are you ready? Sad. <laughs> I love it. Um, so everyone over here that has a blue dot next to it, which I know is really hard to see, is entered in the giveaway. And uh, the winner is... There's no cool animation that I have here. Sorry about that. Thomas, um, you are the winner. Could you please be so kind and try to contact me within the next five minutes? Um, We'll see if five minutes is enough, but if you go in the description, all my contact info is in there. So there's Discord, there's email, there's Twitter. I don't care which one, just please contact me um, with any of those uh, and say, just say your name and that you won the giveaway. Um, yeah, you won. <laughs> Monsieur, thank you very much. Uh, talk radio is a dying art firm. Yeah, very good. Thank you much. Uh, yeah, please, please contact me. Um, once you do, I can send you the, um, oh, no, I didn't, I didn't want this. There we go. I can send you the, the winner right away. Um, and we'll go from there. That's what do we, what do we have here? Have to go down here. You can also do it through this court, um, like through this court server, but it's not as easy. 
um, what we're going to do. The problem, here, here's the thing though. Um, sadly, the game does not continue while I look at something else, um, which is which is quite annoying. But yeah, once you contact me, I can give you the key and then we can um, we can keep going doing things. Where's my thing? There's the thing. Okay, first key to give away. And it would be cool if you can try it right away. It would make my life a little easier. I just want to make sure that it actually works for you. There's that. There's this. Um, I haven't received anything yet from you, Tomas. Um, well, I'm excited you're excited. Uh, but please, please, please make sure you contact me. Um, and then we can go from there. Cool. So five minutes at 1025, let's say. I, I would like to have heard from you and then I can give you the key. We are back. That was exciting, right? <laughs> 250 people really that's amazing i love it um that's that's literally the most i ever had i think okay uh what do we have here continuation of what we've been doing so far so we have an infrastructure you send a discord chat okay let me check that i see a thing it says message request and um hi b-ball joe it's thomas perfect please check that and i'm doing this by myself otherwise this probably could be a little more streamlined but please be, uh, please check that one that one's actually one that i had for a little while longer and if it's um not working please let me know very important um cool congratulations um i, I don't think i've actually said that yet and we'll go from there uh there we go computer was being uh things that weren't cool Awesome. Poland, hello. All right, um, that's taken care of, I think. Yeah, just let me know if let's you activate it and then you can play along and we should all be in uh, good shape. We gotta, gotta check these things. Cool. Electricity problem, <laughs> you gotta be kidding me. We're not, we haven't done anything yet. Um, you should have enough power for sure because there's already something here. There's no coal here yet, but um, yeah, it's it's fine. It just has to slowly unload. And this is one of the first things that we're going to do is actually <laughs> we're going to use some of these fuel tanks and move them somewhere else later, uh, but not yet. This is the first thing we're going to do is actually make this one not dependent on uh, wind power because they didn't do that back then. Uh, glad to have a game join them the uh, record viewer count this game will forever tickle my brain even though i'm terrible at it so seeing someone that's good at uh, softens that blow a little bit we'll see we'll see nothing has happened yet i've just we're just well we're in may uh part of the year is already over now um i should save this because this is actually a part that i figured it would take us about an hour and actually did i'm actually uh, happy with that because now the next phase starts which is let's get a republic started because this is now the old army base i think it looks really nice I, I i can't can't really describe it any other way i think it looks really nice fuel looks really good right now which makes me think this one instead of not doing anything how about you get us some bitumen um and yeah this tanker is always going to go back right here and then we can continue that we need to set up um some things over here and I would like to run at slow speed because I think most of our... Okay, we are at 100% now. That's very good. And this one is still unloading something. What are you unloading? What are you unloading? What are you unloading? Oh, that one. Boards. Oh, you're unloading into here. Perfect. Uh, that's totally fine. <laughs> I, was, I wasn't sure what it was doing, um, but I like it. I would like to see some coal going in here. But for some reason, it's not doing that. Did I tell you to load the wrong thing? No, you have coal loaded. You don't have 100% of it loaded, but you do have coal loaded. Um, so once this one is empty, I'm assuming, and we just don't have enough power to do anything, um, things will be good. Marcin, thank you very much. Start of a new season. Well, <laughs> um, happy you asked that. It wasn't planned as a start of a new season. Because season eight, I'm, I was still, I am still hopeful that I'm going to finish it. However, there was a very true comment uh, on Reddit um, just a couple days ago uh, that had to do with the stream, which was just like, you know, it's really hard to watch B-Ball Joe's Let's Play because it feels like he's bored and the Let's Plays are boring. 
I wouldn't say I'm bored, but I am chasing the motions. I'm not chasing new things. So I think what's going to happen is there's one more regular se season eight episode scheduled for the second January 2nd. It's already there. What I'm going to do in the meantime is try to wrap up season eight um, with just like fast build mode and get everything ready and see that it works and have one more episode that shows that season completed uh because yeah at this point we're just waiting for all the things to get done and it's i think i i think i efficiently proficiently not efficiently but proficiently fixed everything that needed fixing and at this point it's just it's fine um but we just want to get it done so i think i'm going to do that then give a tour of that Republic, and then season eight may be over. It is the longest running season already, um, but if depending how this goes, we could continue this afterwards. It's also possible that um, in fifteen out in fourteen hours from now, we're already done with everything and we don't uh, need anything else. So we'll see how it goes. Um, my answer really is I'm not sure yet, but maybe. I know season eight is is nice, but I I do see it in the view counts. Normally, I can expect three to four thousand views. We're we're getting into the fifteen hundred uh, views right now, and um, it's it's one of those things. I wanted to wait for a new season until the release comes out, like one point comes out. I think that's potentially still pretty far away. So, um, so we'll see. Thomas, you got a copy from a friend? Please pass on to your generous giveaway to someone else. Apparently, you have been good boys this year. My friend wanted to get me this. Um, that's rather strange. If you don't want it, if you can't have it, um, then here's the thing. Do you want to keep it? I, I should ask that first. Uh, do you want to keep it? Um, Just let me know really quick on Discord. Do you want to keep it or do you want me to re-roll? Because I will. I will do both. Very important. Because yeah, if you don't want, if you if you don't need it, uh, someone else will. Let's see. Um, okay. I'm excited to see the campaign, even though it's a big tutorial. Yes, indeed. I'm waiting for Tomas to get back to me. So, uh, re-roll indeed. Okay, I will. Perfect. In that case, sorry about that, everyone, but we are back. And there's this little button down here that I can just use. So, drum roll. I need a thing for that. Marcin! Um, well, uh, thanks for your super, uh, super chat. And this one is yours if you want it. Um, please, same thing. Um, try to contact me. All the contact information is at the bottom of the description. Email, Discord, Twitter are the easiest. Within the next five minutes, if you could, um, that would be great. And uh, we'll go on with that. I'm really glad that I have Nightbot for this because I, I, I think I would be lost at this point. It's <laughs> just like, what just happened? I can't do it. Uh, so Marcin, yes, please, if you can contact me, I can get you that key. And uh, we'll move on. Cool. Um, yeah. Marcin, I hope you see that. I hope you're still here. <laughs> and we'll move on. If Marcin, if you don't contact me in five, move in five minutes... Um, we may run into the next giveaway being a double giveaway. How about that? We'll see. Let's keep this one open down here to see what happens. And uh, we'll go from there. Awesome. Cool. Moving on. Infras hey, I said moving on, computer. There we go. All right. Um, yeah, as we'll wait for Marson. Um, We'll just do this. The Vesta. Yeah, sure. Why not? Uh, trying to collect my things here. And I think we're gonna we're running into like a break point uh, at about two hours or before two hours. So in case uh, you guys are wondering about that, I, I hope I have some vehicles that we can follow around at that point. But um, I'm not so, so sure about that. So we need to build our actual Republic now. And we're still at the phase when we spend half of our money already almost <laughs> this is crazy this is just some imports right but half of our money is just gone on the infrastructure and we don't have any vehicles or anything else yet so we have to be a little careful but the thing that we absolutely 100 ir percent irreparably need is um still haven't heard from marson i don't like it marson 
Please contact me. Uh, you sound like I was. <laughs> but yeah, I need to hear something. Otherwise, I have to give the key to someone else again. Um, we need power. That is the one thing that we need. And then we need heat. Heat is more a, yeah, we need it. But power, we absolutely need. So power, in this case, on this island is going to be oil-based. And the oil that we have is right here. I'm looking right at it. And with that oil... We need an oil jack, which is down here, which uh, I don't think is hidden behind research or anything. We're not going to build anything crazy on the uh, for the research things while it's, while it's disabled, but um, we need we need something, right? So how about this pump jack there, pump jack there, and th this is this is funny. We do need a source of power for these pump jacks. Eighty percent should be enough. We're just going to do two. That should give me more than enough to get started and make things work. Um, collector, yes, this looks fine. Make you nice and short there. Give you above ground pipes because they are cheaper. This is not working. Why is that not working? This is below ground pipe, buddy. Okay, that one looks good. I want this nice and tight and clean. Very good. Um, <laughs> yes, you can give the key to your friend. Um, but please contact me on Discord or, like, make a make a um just contact me but yes you can give it to your friend that's fine giveaways don't need to go to you um if you have use for it please 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 invite someone else but your friend has to come by and say hi okay uh there we go now storage do i need the large one or the little one honestly for this one just to be safe i'm just going to do the large one because i'm not really sure what we're going to do with the oil yet so you can go right here there's a pipe connection. Perfect. Then the next thing that we need, and this I don't know if it's actually hidden behind research, is uh, the gas power plant. We don't have a ton of power output, uh, which is one of the reasons why I'm actually wanting to use this, so that we can actually... Do I, do I want to pump in between there? <sighs> and actually, if I build it like this, it would actually power all the pump jacks all the time while it's on. That would be good. I'm pretty sure I don't need a, um, I don't need a pump in between. No, this is fine. And that's going to get us started. Now get us some free roads, but in this case, just gravel roads, because this is actually Republic that we're talking about. Um, what do we want? I think what we want is a general idea of how we connect to that area. I think this is nice. And then we go around this. And that's going to lead into our Republic, okay? Um, there we go. This is fine. And then, yeah, how do we want these? I think I just want you to effectively connect up here. And then we're going to nice and round, round over this one. That looks good. Yeah, I like this. Then you can be part of this road that's a little bit up in the air, but oh well. Just a little dam. And in case there is a flood, this power plant is semi-protected. <laughs> That's totally on purpose. I totally meant to do that. Get these guys in here. They are not really fire protected right now. So that is a big concern. But with this, we should at least get our first um, power production going, which is important. We, we will need to use our own workers for this, though. And um, that's something that I didn't make very clear. <laughs> But let's put our small wind power plant right here, just so that if this thing is not running yet, we at least get a little bit of oil in, which is very, very important, as you may imagine. Um, okay. Um, I'm wondering if the drop off your ship is because of the game due to the series fatigue, or maybe series two of a different game. Oh, certainly. Um, anything that goes past 20 episodes usually uh causes trouble as in uh, people don't want to watch it as much anymore and that that part is fine um but it's also that like that comment on reddit was not that far off it's i wouldn't call it boring it's just not as challenging engaging anymore i love the crime fix that was great but not a lot of people got to that point because they already stopped watching so i'm just i'm just considering something different is all i'm saying but we're getting our oil from here that's important and then um, we will get bauxite from here. That's right along this edge. So I'm hoping I can put more, moving the 
camera really badly. There. I'm hoping that I can put a bauxite production somewhere here. That would be great because then we can start exporting something. And as you can maybe see, there's a pretty good gravel production down here as well. So having an industrial road actually come in here may be a good thing. Let's get us just something connected in here um, just to start uh, that we can that we can use later. Okay, these are just gravel roads. I hope that's okay. They're not fancy um, asphalt roads or anything like that. So you there, you here, and you just connect to here. There we go. You've made a comment on X. Perfect. Um, gosh, YouTube is terrible. Sorry, Twitter is terrible. I mean, X is terrible. What's X? <laughs> uh, where are you? Got it. Notifications. I... How do I not see it? There you are. Um... Okay, there we go, there we go, and taken care of, beautiful. Was that the right one? Reply? Yeah, you should have it. <laughs> uh, well, uh, maybe delete your post afterwards, uh, because just like a, I don't even know, it was not a DM, it was like a post. So there you go. Uh, please and thank you. <laughs> Good abend. Uh, Bernhardt's, how's it going? Let me, let me open some, make some air here because it's getting warm in my room. Okay, so this is taken care of. Now, the city should exist somewhere in this area that does not get flooded by, um, pollution. So, how far is, is it away from this building? That's, that's gonna be a big polluter at some point, and we wanna figure that out. So you, to here, is about a thousand meters right there, okay. If this is the center of town, or near center of town, actually we're going to do a quick dirt road that runs perpendicular to that, that will tell us, try not to build past this. I think that'd be a good idea. Uh, we'll do all of this. The bauxite mines, one that go here, probably don't uh, create that much uh, pollution, so I don't think we have to go super far away from it, but I want to separate them too. And that should be fine. So I think as long as the city stays within this quadrant, we may be okay. Let's get our heat situated. Heat, small heating plant. I just wouldn't worry about small heating plant ever. Uh, we're just going to do the big heating plant. Ideally, you're about this far away and I can give you some... This is closer now, buddy. Yeah. Well, we're going to use a pump. Heat pump? Yeah, I guess. Okay. Um, well, if we put you here, we need a bus stop to supply both of these, at least a bus stop, probably more than that, honestly, because these are very vital um, utilities that we cannot live without ever. So let's do that. Uh, pro tip, if you have a vital industries, try to place your bus stops in a way that doesn't block either of the industry. So we're just going to plop you here so we can get our people in there. That should work. Um, with that in mind, I don't think we need that one. We can just have this split out pretty straight and then go in here. Again, it's just, just gravel road for the city. I think that will be okay. Um, and we can start building. All we need to build is a couple small, um, well, small is a strong word, a couple industries. I will at this point, I think, turn off uh, turn on research not realistic mode yet but research because i don't i want to make sure that i don't accidentally um let's do this i, I wish i would just remember names stream too um because I'm, i may want to share this with um patreons and youtube members i do want to just get a couple small buildings and research is off because i didn't want to build buildings that i can't build yet uh for real um, so yeah, let's, let's do the last couple of things here. Residential areas. Got it. There's a new shopping center. They said, Hmm. Small store. Lame. Small shopping center. There we go. 25 versus. It's just a little more expensive, but everything else is the same. And this one is a little bigger. Huh? Has a little bigger storage too. All right. Uh, we're not going to mess with that. We're going to go with the big shopping center because this city has to run a lot of stuff at some point. 
Uh, and the way I like to do this is at least to have an idea of where my um, 400 meters is. So from there to there, and I know that we can go further than 400 meters now, but if 400 meters is approximately there, um, and we need to get food and like all the deliveries set up for uh, for everything, and we're not going to use the distribution office for that because that's lame. Um, we'll just see how this goes. General cargo, no. Oh, I, I know I was in the right place earlier. So if we put you here, I'm probably going to put you sideways so I can put a... We're not going to connect any of the footpaths. So I can put a um, cargo station right next to you. It makes your life a little easier. That's why I'm doing this. Um, this should be... Is a cargo station that I want or do I want a meat storage? A truck can be a meat storage. The truck can drop off directly here and this can take care of everything else. Okay, done. Done and done. That's good. Uh, 200 likes. Yeah, that would be amazing. Could you could you please uh, help everyone make sure that that happens? <laughs> that would be great. Um, Marcin, please let me know if uh, like that, that key actually made it to your friend and that that all works. We're at 187. Um, yeah, 200 would be super. Uh, cool. Back here. Yes, update is only in beta branch. Sorry, I'm not seeing all the chat. I'm trying to concentrate here because this is going to be a lot of stuff going on. If you really need to talk to me, um, at Bball Joe will help. Obviously, a super chat will help too. Uh, I know that's not everyone's thing, and I, I'll try to get to everything, but it looks like y'all talking uh, amongst each other and make sure that uh, Quanches, uh, questions, Quancers get questioned, uh, that your answers get uh did it again, that your questions get answered, and I appreciate that. Lots of knowledgeable people about this game, just in general, uh, in all the communities, so if you have questions, this is a great place to be. Okay, so drop off stuff there, got it. Now we need a couple things. Um, we clearly need a bus stop. I like to start with bus stops, and we're gonna go just with a big one, because everything else is stupid. This is the biggest one for 2,000 or 800. Um... We could turn around here, but then you cross each other. Don't love that. Um, <laughs> do I want you here? What do I want? What do I want to do? Make that a really busy junction. Oh, oh, we're going to do something. Um, there was a, a mention of something uh, by a viewer not too long ago. I don't know if you remember, for season eight, I have that seven junction in the gravel industry. Um... Yeah, they said, why don't you just use roundabout? I'm like, you know what? They may actually work now. So let's see how this goes. I need a little piece there first, and I need um, a very short section. Shall we make this an oval about? Maybe. F4 to turn the snapping off. That seems good. We actually can get 10 meter pieces. I think with shift, we can get five meter pieces. Oh, this is much better. Yes, this is what we're going to do. Um, there's one piece. I don't know exactly how wide you want to be, but honestly, we can probably do this. We could do... The thing is, I'm looking for the node that is here, and it is right there. Okay. So, if I do this node, little shift, five meters out, about... Marcin! Uh, everyone gives a like. <laughs> Love it! 200! We did it! Good job, everyone. Now, don't take your likes away. <laughs> Please. Um, that looks good. And then I think we can just... This, this may be not the prettiest roundabout. Um, but I am... You know me. I'm not totally bothered about that. But I think for my... For me? For what I do? That is a pretty good roundabout. Now, is it in a perfect spot? No, because it's not centered on anything. Um, why, why did you do that? Point. Can I get rid of this one or this one? No. But if I do this, I probably can get rid of you. No. Won't let me get rid of them. Okay. Um, is that a roundabout? Yes, technically it is. Practically, I think I can move you a little bit. Let's see if this is going to do what I think it's going to do. If I plop you down there, then uh, get rid of this. Wrong button, but that's okay. Um, I want this one. Get rid of this. Then move you back. Can I actually center you? Well, the odds. Um, I can't. I, 
Oh, I can rotate you. Cool. I think this may be the closest that I will ever get to this thing working the way that I need it to. So um, let me do it. You can go there. You can go there. Um, hmm. Don't love that. We may be able to do a little triangle thingy there. And then this one. It's not perfect. Uh, but it's fine. It will do what I want because the other thing we can do, and sorry, my nose is being funny. Uh, the other thing we can do, the thing that I always forget, is place a monument. 2% Two, 2 for 400 meters is probably the one that I'm going to go with in here. Uh, see where I can place you. Just needs a location. A location. Now we all know that uh, footpaths in this update no longer break up constructions, which is awesome. There's already a lot of construction going on here, um, but this should be fine. We're not going to make that symmetrical. That's okay. And yeah, we have a roundabout. Look at that. Um, <laughs> all right, everyone good on the chat? Very good. Love it. Uh, yes, and then this one can just... Honestly, I don't just want to throw you away because I have a feeling I will want to use this again later. I just don't know what to do with it yet. Uh, what we will have to do is make sure that you are deactivated for the time being. Um, and then life should be pretty good. Get me a road, get me this thing, get me that disconnected. Cool. Um, <laughs> Got it. Oh, that tea with honey. Grandpa's honey. It's good stuff. All right, so this is here. We have stuff center of town that can go wherever they need to go. I think that's a good start. This one clearly is still missing an entrance, and for the entrance, we're just going to do a little angle. That should be fine. It would make. Can I? Hmm. I'm gonna. I'm gonna. I'm gonna think around with this, and it's not gonna be good, uh, because the other way would be this one, and this could. This could be better. Um, I would like to have the the one ways go the other way, but I can't flip it. The 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 out the exit is always going to be on that side. The flipping is doing that in a weird way. So, yeah, probably going to leave it this way, and I just have to go around here and hopefully don't get stuck. Hopefully, don't get stuck. That is the spirit. Very good. Okay, so we have that. We need, what do we need? We need a couple more residential buildings. And for everyone that's new to this, oh, look, new buildings. Low quality rural flats, 63%. Everyone will hate these. <laughs> um, just go down from left to right, do residential areas first, and then state infrastructure. And once you're done with everything, you are good to go. Shopping center, we've done. I'm not going to do a restaurant or, well, we should do a pub. We should do a pub relatively soon. And I, I like a pub near... Um, near the bus stop. It just feels like the the right clientele. Clientele? Clientele? Yeah. Um, to do this. So how about we put one here while well, we don't have to worry about construction nonsense. Uh, we have exactly one cinema to choose from. This one does not need a road connection, so we may as well... How do I know that? Just experience. Um, if a building does not have a parking spot, and this one does not say it has a parking spot, okay? If you look at those details. Over here, this building says it has station for vehicle loading and unloading. That's two parking spots. If it does not have a parking spot, it generally is accessible via footpaths only. Don't apply the same logic to mods, because there may be hidden code that was not cleaned up by the mod maker that... Um, that will break that logic. But this one does not need a footpath. Uh, Gallery of Art, a second culture building. It's not a bad idea. I don't know that I like this one. 24,000, it's the cheapest one. 16,000 for the Museum of the Republic. You have three stars. Okay, is there a difference? You have one stars. Okay, Museum of the Republic, because you're cheaper, is going to be our friend. And you can be semi on the outside of town, because I don't know what else to do with you yet. Cool. You don't have footpath access, but you have access to the uh, bus station, which is really all we care about. So that should be good. Uh, we don't have TV or radio because, uh, well, loyalty is hard to come by. And then we need sport. How big is this going to get? Well, 90, 105, 25, or Palace of Sport. The Palace of Sport, 
Yeah, it has a station for loading and unloading one. I don't know for why. But this one definitely needs a footpath access. It has the biggest reach and it's relatively cheap. I think this is the building that we're actually going to build. And we're going to build it out here. It's still going to be in walking range of everything. So that should be okay. You only have 800 um, waiting spaces there. Don't forget that. Okay. I'll try not to. Let's put this one here. Okay, we're getting we're getting to the point where we have to worry about utilities, so we're, we're almost there. Um, really, YouTube shouldn't make this that complicated. I'm sorry, Brittany, that you have to experience that. Uh, your pub supply truck might get stuck if you set the main road as a priority, being that close to the roundabout. Thank you very much. That's a that's a great point. Um, let's move pub to other thing and i don't mind having the pub actually like make this a little um entertainment culture district if we want and we can just extend the road out it's also never a bad idea to have multiple road connections um for the same for the same city so that if one road gets upgraded or something else done to it um not everything stops helps Okay, we'll put that there. We'll do the culture buildings again. Come on. Uh, which is the Museum of the Republic. Can be right here. As long as you're in walking range of a bunch of things, should be fine. And then let's plop the pub right next to it. Um, again, you still have walking range to everything, so that should be okay. I'm going to move it over a little bit because I wouldn't mind putting a footpath somewhere in here. I don't know where exactly yet, uh, but that may work a little better. Good. Um, so everything over here is done. We just built the Palace of Sports so they can reach that. That's all good. State infrastructure is the next one. Hospital. I don't bother building the small one. Um, they usually cause more trouble than it's worth. Let's put you here. It gives you emergency access to everything and gives you emergency access for workers. Um, so that should be a pretty safe spot. I like a fire station in the same area. Um, yeah, sure. Let's use that road. A little more. I like it. Let's, I'm pulling this out a little further because it would help if I have footpath access to those things. No, this is what we're going to do. Sorry for repeating a couple steps here, but I did not leave enough um, room for these two buildings for adding a footpath in there, and that's not good enough. So let's do that again. Palace of Republic. Yes. Pull you back because look how much room there was behind it. Uh, there's no reason to make this one take up as much space as it did. You can flip over here and be right next to the road. I would like you to align a little better. There you go. And now we can actually put a footpath in here, like this thing, that there's a node there that would make access to all these places a lot easier, which is all I wanted. Okay, I'm almost considering putting my residential areas here, but that's something for later, I think, that we don't have to worry about just yet. Um, and then, yeah, fire station and hospital is done. Kindergarten, school. Kindergarten is one that I leave for the end. It is the only... Hey, Jan, um, just... What did you miss? Yeah, let's do a quick recap. We build a basic infrastructure, which is this harbor that has a bunch of ships that moves around. We spend half of our money, and then we have an import vehicle section right here. All of them are fire protected, and we have placed um, a oil heating plant, a couple oil derricks, and a heating plant and now we are planning our first city and our plans uh, moving forward hopefully we haven't failed yet but we still need a lot more um stuff done before we know how we're doing um in a road goozer in a road with a separate footpath better than the asphalt road with the lights and sidewalks well good question let's look at them Asphalt roads with road with street lights and sidewalks. Max speed 100 temp, uh, kilometers. Walking speed 87%. Use those percentages as your max distance. How far can you walk? Okay, so 87%. Let's check over here. Pedestrians. A footpath. The gravel path is 87%. So that's the same. Cool. Um, the asphalt footpath, 95%. And the asphalt put, uh, footpath with lamps, 100%. This one is the one that can get you 450 meters now. This one, I think, 420 or 400. You can do maths. Uh, and this one is still about 400 meters at 87%. So, depends. <laughs> depends what you have built. Uh, in general, footpaths are 
a good way to get extra connections because you can also do the underground footpaths um, as connectors and that will help. If you have to expand your walking range, you can use walkable monuments, which we're not, I'm not going to use that trick, but Jan made a video about that actually. These fountains, as long as you can, there's a footpath that walks through it, these fountains count as zero distance. So if you put 300 of these next to each other with a one meter uh, footpath connector, you can cross all 300 of those but they're in reality they're like 20 meters wide or 50 meters wide so they will uh, uh, help you cover a huge distance if you want to if you if you want to if you want to get it right marrow yes it is very realistic <laughs> realistic preparation um it's very important we're, we're getting we're getting to the fun part don't don't worry i promise um but there you go school is the next one that we want this one uh, kids can actually walk to from the bus station so let's choose we could do that here it does not need a footpath well sorry it does not need a road connection which is interesting thing that's a little bothersome is there are no footpath connections on this side of this um of this building <laughs> yeah no it's fine uh, so what I want to do is just make sure that our footpaths give us the connections that I actually want, which is right here. And now, how far is that away? Really? Really? <laughs> that one is showing me stuff. Did they break that? But if this is just 189 meters, I know that this one should be totally fine. I'm not really worried about it. Just annoying that it doesn't give me that info right away. Also, I don't want you to be the end of my footpath. I want you to be part of the footpath. So let's do that again, just a little better this time. And yeah, I'm using the middle one just because it has a higher potential for um, giving me... Gosh, where do I fit you? If I fit you here, I could do a footpath around it. I would like to run a footpath up there too. Let's try this. I would like to have a footpath that goes through here. As long as we have that, we should be okay. Then I would like... This footpath to go just around the school. You connect in there. And then uh, I know this is not a real footpath right now, but it won't hurt. I can't get one there yet. I'm gonna do this. We're gonna we're gonna do this right enough, okay? Uh give me a footpath. Oh gosh, that node is not quite where I wanted it, but that's fine. Uh because yes, we still have that access. Perfect. And then this one can just be another footpath that goes through the rest of a republic. Um, that's fine. You can connect here. And then technically this should already be all connected to everything that it cares about. Um, if this foot crossing causes us issues, there are things we can do to remedy that. So let's not worry about that too much right now. Um, this one also needs to connect something which then means this one can connect in here and there's an open space for something that I want to add later, maybe, if I want to. This looks fine, this looks fine. You are... Ah! You are not currently connected to anything. We'll do this. Don't worry, there's trash that we have to worry about. I just forgot about it and then I thought about it in my, in my head. And I was just like, yeah, I thought about it in my head, not just in my mind. Wait, it's the same thing. Ah... I think a break is going to be good. Also, we're getting pretty close to the second giveaway. So get ready for that potentially. Um, so this is all good. Got that one built. Great. Orphanage. I am not going to bother. Um, it's something for later. If you do it right, you shouldn't have a lot of parents dying before their children's die. And then you don't have any orphans. Um, this will help you keep a few more... Keep your population a little more stable and have a little less uh, kids run away or die. But it is a small percentage for the comparison of how many workers you need and the resources you need to keep the orphanage happy. So no, we're not going to do that. Uh, medical university. We do need a university, but this one will be one of our first projects that we're going to build. Police station. Um, shouldn't matter until 2,000 people or so. We're not going to invite that many today. Courthouse. Same thing, like the whole crime and justice system can also be one of our next build sessions. Technical service, we definitely need that. And um, we need a bunch of this. We just, we need this to be set up right. Um, we can put it here. We can also put it out there, but I don't like it there. So what we're gonna do is this. 
put a technical service just outside the city, I think. It's a better spot. I like it. Don't take any buildable area away. And then we could think about... Should I move this to the other side so we have easy access for the coal drop-off? Yes, yes we should. Uh, get you here. Coal. Large heating plant. There we go. Um, it can still access that side if we flip it. Once you flip it, there's usually a problem with um, underground pipe connections for these, so just be aware of that. But it's 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 minor. We can fix that uh, by just having a little piece of above ground connection before it. Um, 12,000 versus 10,000 is the cheaper one, so we're going to build this. Um, your road connection points in a really weird direction. How about this? That's better. Do we really need this? I am not sure. I just want to have coal a little closer for the winter than this far away. It's almost a kilometer that they have to travel. That's not good. So now we have this. Um, something that we need to consider pretty much right away is incinerator. We have to... Does this look new? maybe um an incinerator and what do we need the big one or the small one the big one can go through 30 tons of waste the big uh, sorry 30 for the small 50 for the big one i think they will both be fine but i would like to not have to plan for another one this one ha ah, with the new game meta let's call it that hmm may be appropriate i'm stopping because this one produces a ton of uh, pollution more than what we have and i don't really want to build on top of uh, our oil deposits so let's see where they are no they start over here uh, how about you just place another pump jack here so you know where you're doing and uh, you don't go in that area also if you do that you have to make sure that you cancel the uh, the operations on that so incinerator yes that's what we want to build just a large one right here should be good we could point you this way okay if we point you that way does this make anything easier if you drop off directly in the incinerator it does otherwise not really um you could put it this way and then we don't waste that much space to that side and we have more flexibility i like that because they're still in walking range of everything we can actually get this closer and tucked into this corner. I like that. Why am I so much uh, zoomed in so much? I don't know. Um, but we'll see. So, okay. Let's get a couple drop-off spots. We need a transfer station. At least one uh, right here. This is just for, you know, uh, probably input, if you want to call it that. Sad that you don't want to align with that one better. Do I care? A little bit, but not that much. Put one here um we should put one we should use that one as well but if you're gonna fight me that's not gonna work okay so you probably just have to move over just a little bit um there and there there we go got two connected and they can now connect into this thing uh this is i don't know if this is going to be import or export or both we definitely only need one of these built right now uh, but that's fine then we need at least one place where we can put all the ash. Here's the problem, though. Or waste, and I think we're going to just use these two for right now. Or waste, when you get ash um, and you put it in one of these big dumps, they are so slow at loading. So these should be your final destination, not your first destination. So I want to build some of these somewhere, and we actually have a really... We have a pretty good spot right here to just place all our trash... If we want to ever connect these to rail, um, we could try that, but I'm not sure about that yet. And we shouldn't have that much waste right away, so we're just going to leave that off for the time being. This is going to be in, this is going to be out. Let's call it that, in. Didn't call it. <laughs> in. In. I mean, name is too short. Waste. In. Uh, ash out. Burned. Burned. Waste. Out. Okay. That should help me for remembering later. But that looks good. It is just May. We may actually get people in the first year, which is maybe a good thing. <coughs> ah, yeah. Break, break is coming up here soon. Mm. Cool. My chat on the YouTube 
part is not catching up with anything, so that's perfect. Let's refresh that, and build open garbage dump will disappear after some time. Yes, after some time is true. Should, I should probably start that soon, right? I shouldn't, I shouldn't wait on that. Um, <clears throat> you're right, you're right, we're gonna build that. Um, should we... You mean this one, right? The claw machines, or is it only for open dump, like only for the uh, normal dumps? You know what uh, fountain is passable and lets people through? You, you don't, you just have to look at them. Yes, uh, right now construction for money is still, we're still in the prep phase. Uh, because if I built all of this with uh, manpower, and he opened them, thank you. If I built all of this with manpower, we're going to sit here for the next two hours just watching things get built. And this is a stream and I would like to move it along because we've planned and constructed things for a very long time now and I would like to move on from that. Um, we just need the largest one. This one is really expensive. Let's do the 350 tons because I don't know that I want rail with this. Yeah, we, I'm not planning on doing much rail waste consolidation. Um, should we do anything here? Should we put our waste in the old base and say these are old storages that already existed? I think the answer to that is possibly. Um, so we're going to do that. Panel road because it fits the, fits the theme. Run this out here. Get you connected. And then we can add a couple more of those there if we really want to. And the distribution office can move them from here or just a truck right now it's not it's not going to be a distribution office because it needs research okay so waste is taken care of for right now very crudely but it is taken care of we don't have any waste collections here okay next thing um who all needs waste collection clearly this section right here let's see if we can get those organized before we move on um, if I do this here, it will cover everyone. Very nice. It even covers the hospital. If it covers the hospital, it will have hazardous waste. If it has hazardous waste, we just have to separate it. That should be fine. Okay, this is a good spot for that. We could use a bigger one, but we should be okay. Um, you guys, do you want also just a small one or a big one? I would like to run a footpath through there. It's really annoying that I can't see the footpath trash connections, but I am certain that all of these will be connected. This one I am may not be. That one may not be connected. Let's see, that's a road connection. Yeah, 73 meters. Um, actually would get close over here if I if I plop you right here. So you may be part of the housing units when they get their trash um, trash connections. But yeah, get you as close as possible. Thanks, autosave. And right next to the roundabout. We talked about that a couple minutes ago. Okay. Um, in that case, put it over here. <clears throat> Good. Um, we do want a footpath that kind of runs through there. That still fits. So yeah, this this should be fine. It should cover most of these guys uh, for now. Yeah, it's, <laughs> it's like, I'm not taking the footpath. I'm not going to show you the footpath direction. Um, thanks to you, uh, Sam. Same to you. All up and down, so with or without rail, if rail would allow you to load the ash again, that's the only plus, so for ash, medium dumps without claws are all right. Well, I'm hoping the, the big one will give me a little more time, but we'll see. Maybe, well, medium dumps, if I can spread them out further, maybe that's a better idea. We'll see. Um, don't know yet. I'll probably make a mistake there, but that's okay. That's one of the new mechanics that I always forget, and this time I at, at least thought about it before we were there. It's 11.08. It is time for a giveaway. So um, let's go back to our thing and try not to forget uh, what we learned earlier, which was don't move your stuff around. All right. Next giveaway. What should our um, new giveaway keyword be? And for everyone that joined, this is how it goes. I'm going to add a keyword here, and we're going to decide on that very, very soon. Uh, next minute, hopefully. And once a keyword is there, you can just put it in. I have not enabled um, anti-spam, so you can put it in as many times as you want. But Nightbot has some opinions. So don't do all caps. Don't do any of those things. Just type the keyword as is. It is case insensitive, i.e. Um, just spell it right, please. <laughs> um. 
No, actually, JD, uh, there's a monument in the middle of the roundabout, so I totally got that. Ha <laughs> ha. Um, okay, so what's the keyword? It's not salary. That was from earlier. It was a super chat. Um, everything is set the same. And then, so yeah, for the new people. Um, for the giveaway, if you are chosen as the winner, I need you to contact me within five minutes of you knowing that you're the winner. Contact me via uh, Twitter, via Discord and a DM, or um, via email. All of those are fine. They are in the description, or if you type exclamation point contact in uh, in the chat and you can see it too. Uh, just contact me, I can give you a key. The key is for a workers and resources game. And um, I would say, please only enter if you really want it. Don't enter just to enter. If you just wanna put something in the chat, do it, just use a different keyword. I think that's fine. Um, automagically, I like that. That's what we're gonna do. Can anyone spell that? <laughs> that's a word. Um, I'm gonna put it in the chat so you can actually read it and just copy it. If I win, of course, I'm not gonna, <laughs> that'd be silly. But automagically, is that a word? Debatable, should it be a word? Absolutely. Um, and we'll see how that goes, so yeah. Everyone, uh, please just use use that word if you want to enter. And then um, after a couple minutes, you should all be showing in here as one. Again, only enter if you really want it. If you have like a friend or something that needs it, uh, it would be cool if that friend would also be watching the stream right now. That would be helpful. Um, but it's up to you. So uh, do your best. We're gonna we're gonna let the chat blow up for a couple minutes. Um, it's good for the YouTube that more people get joined or can join, and then we can come back later. Um, automatically. <laughs> I love it. That, that's great. Uh, we're going to leave this up here. I know it's hard to read and all that, uh, but earlier I forgot to do something right, so we're just going to put it up here and see how the chat evolves. There is a plugin and all that stuff. I forgot about the nightbook. Glad you did something working. Yeah, thanks, JD. I know I asked you how this works, but here's the monument. See, it has a 400 meter range, which is perfect for what we're doing here. Um, I think the last thing that I have to do is build a, and we're going to draw, when are we going to draw? At like 11.13, in less than two minutes. Um, What else do we need? What am I forgetting? Uh, I think I have all of these things. Again, we're going to do the university as one of our first projects. Uh, one of our other first projects should be an industry. <laughs> That's going to be expensive, but there we go. Have I? I think I have. And I, I'm glad I'm just realizing this. I turned off auto purchase. I did not yet turn off get citizens. We're going to turn that off too. Very important. Okay. I think though I have built everything that I wanted to build. Hold on. The chat is still working, so don't don't stop. <laughs> you, still, you still get still get more stuff automatically. Love it. Um, I think the next giveaway we could make sure that channel members have a higher luck. Patreons, I am sorry, YouTube doesn't. Th there's no integration for this for um, Patreon members to have better luck too. So, but I think most of you already have have the game. Mhm. Mm mhm. Mm oh yeah, chat rate is 31. Can we get a little higher than that, please? That'd be great. <laughs> That's that's what we're looking for. Um, doing weird things. Are you saying weird things? What is weird things? You guys are doing great, though. Love it. Okay. Um, what do we have? Okay. What is? It's thirteen. It's it's time to it's time to draw. Okay. Let's make this big again. Okay. You you, you guys have done really well. Proud of you. Um, and we're gonna say. One, two, I need an animation for this, it would be cool. Roll it, Mollus, how's it going? Mollus, you are um, the the winner, and therefore, please contact me within five minutes. It would be cool if you can acknowledge it in here really quick that I can see on the messages that you saw it. But Mollus, you're the winner. Please contact me via any of the options, um, email, discord, etc. cetera. Um, within five minutes so I can give you your fresh brand new uh, fresh fresh of the men brand new key uh, that you can either use for yourself or um, well use it however you want to um, yeah just message me please relatively quickly please acknowledge this quick 
Uh, so we all know everything is perfect and then we can move on. Thank you very much. Let's go back here, click this button. It was, it was so smooth, wasn't it? Yeah, it was. Uh, I, I appreciate this a lot better than the other, the old giveaways that I did. Automatic things. All I need now is someone who actually does this for me. Deconstruct, I don't think I ever heard people just say automatically. <laughs> uh, you did acknowledge? Yes, there he is. I see it. Thanks, Molas. Uh, yeah, just just contact me and then I can I can give you the key. Uh, maybe also say in here how you contact me. I see a message request. Um, Molas? Yes. Accept DM. What, what is being complicated? And the thing is, if you have streamer mode on, it doesn't doesn't show your name. It's very annoying. There we go. Thank you. There's your key. Uh, hope you enjoy. Let's do my crude way of tracking that I actually gave these out. And we can move on. Beautiful. All right. Um, how do I turn streamer mode on, back on in Discord? That is... I just mute you and edit user profile devices. I don't know. It should be it should be mute now. So I hope I don't hear, hear anything. Awesome. Thank you. Uh, technical difficulties as usual. I just need someone that actually wants to do this for me. That would make things a little easier. Okay. Um, we are at the. That's a new icon. Pollution monitoring. Interesting. Um, we are at the next stage. Get some citizens. What buildings should you build? Very simple. Build the ones with the highest, um, the highest quality of flats and the capacity that you care about, which is none of these. <laughs> it is it is this one. 87% quality of flats and 110 workers is pretty good. 70% eh. And then we do have this 68% of flats. Don't even mess with it. That is a soft cap on your happiness, which you don't want to have 68% max happy citizens. Um, that's going to cause trouble later on, especially in the beginning. So we're just going to go with this boring one. I also think they got no, uh, new numbers potentially, which is totally fine. Uh, but here we go. Um, I'm going to ge ge <laughs> I'm going to be boring and uh, just place a couple of these. No, let's do it at an angle. Sure. You really? No. Eh. Why does it matter? It really doesn't. Um, making them straight actually makes life a little easier. So 110. Let's call these 100 uh, just to make my life the easiest. 100. Um, flip you around and reverse you. So you look at each other. 200. Um, then reverse you like that and flip you again. Could have done this better. 200. 300. Uh, 400. I saw it. I can't see it. No, I'm missing it. Sorry, I missed it. I'll see it again. I'll see it in like one second. I missed something. Something happened. Maybe someone subscribed. Oh, thanks for subscribing. Uh, Nemethrill. Nemethrill? Hope I'm saying it right. I never say things right. Don't, don't hope that I say things right. I, t I just don't. It's, it's impossible. Okay, so you go here. That's all good. Now we have 400. Is 400 enough to get started? Honestly, it is. All we really need is like two more and then I have enough space. I, this is this is the wrong thing that I wanted. Uh, go away. <laughs> Thank you. Um, the copy tool, clone tool. I just need two more buildings and then we should be more than good enough for, for the near future. So get that one in there. They're still all auto-built. That should be fine. There's a weird little... Uh, road bump there like it i'm gonna leave a lot of extra space here which will look a little funny potentially but that is so i can fit my um trash collecting things in here somewhere that's very very important so that one can go through there that's cool then let's get one that just runs parallel to all of this one that connects you guys to all of these things um this should help having another connector there uh, you just get as close as you can. You should just run this way because there's a good chance I'm going to connect this to something. Yes. Uh, not perfect, but good enough. You can also come out here. Yeah, uh, sure. You can go that way. You can go this way. Those buildings are connected. You are not yet connected. Everyone else is connected, so that should be good. 
Let's get a couple trash collectors. I'm going to use the small, well, the, the small containers, but the bigger slots or the bigger spots of them. This one covers these four buildings, which is what I want. I'm going to do one with bio waste and one without. Citizens by default don't have, um, and I'm going to not build this, don't have knowledge of recycling. Industries do. So you have to research it for citizens. So in the beginning, it's just mixed waste, no matter what you do. But later on, uh, you should definitely tell them to recycle your stuff. Okay, can we do the same thing over here? That would be great. Um, I would like to make sure that I cover this theater right there, which is why I'm kind of going here. It's really annoying. Like the buttons, the dots don't show everywhere, which makes it confusing, but I think we'll be fine. Put one more here. And then that gets me what I need from you guys. We already have the trash here that covers all of you. This trash covers these buildings. These buildings, we don't have utilities yet. Don't forget that, um, but we're getting there. Cancel that, we don't need to build it. Okay, utilities, got it. Um, what's the first one? Well, heat. Heat is the easy one. And for this size of city, if I need more than one, it will be very interesting. I could put you here, probably. Uh, right next to the roundabout. Is that going to cause trouble? There's already a, dot, a, a node here, so I don't think it will cause real trouble. And it's actually a really good location for this. So yes, we're going to keep that one there. Um, same logic. I think we're going to put an electric substation right here. Okay. What I would like, before we go too crazy, is get a... No, I can't get a footpath in there. Okay, so this has to be a foot bridge if I want that connection. Otherwise, everything is only connected through there, which is not perfect. And I think at some point I thought I wanted to have this connection here. Okay, we could move everything to the left just a little bit that get that connection going. Thanks, JD. Um, <laughs> thanks for the subscribe. So, let's see. Kind of want to leave that one there. I would love it. Hmm, it's getting complicated. Utilities, they shouldn't be this complicated, but uh, sometimes I just like to make my brain think a little bit and it doesn't always work out that well. Okay, is there a node in here? No, there clearly isn't. Oh, Hamuda actually showed me a trick that I wasn't aware of, and let's see if it's gonna work here. We should be able to do a super short five meter piece or eight meter piece or some meter piece. And then um, you're supposed to let me connect this now. Okay, doesn't like it. No, you don't need to delete all of that. Just do this, okay. Then I just need like a, a very short piece, very, very short piece from here. And then from there, node. And then from here, there's a node there. Ah, yes. I saw that in one of Yamuda's videos, and that actually motivated me to build um, the third city in Season 8. Um, obviously, it didn't follow any other of his inspirations, but um, I, I thought that was pretty cool that you can actually do this. So everything is nice and tight right here in the Entertainment District, but I think that is okay. We have one power source. Um, that's not going to be enough, so let's get one more. Electric substation, probably right here, should be appropriate and cover most of what we want for the city. There could be a little park here or something. We could even put a small fountain there. This is more for fun. This is not really necessary. Um, this fountain is a walkthrough, and I'm going to use it to show you what I talked about earlier. Um, sure, and then you can walk right through there. Okay. Uh, yeah. This is fine. We just need power connections now. And I think if it can go around here and out of the city this way, that's not terrible. So that may be good. I would like people to be able to walk to work at the hospital without having to do any sort of uh, pathing gymnastics. So you go there and now you, those are better connections. This is only an 800 people slot, but we'll see. Start from the other side and look from above. Angle matters. Yeah, I think the angle's close enough. Uh, you probably don't make garbage industry or uh, on the border harder. You, There is nothing. You, you cannot transport garbage via ship, especially um, ash and mixed waste. You can do some recycled products, 
but you cannot do uh, the important ones. So no, I, I didn't forget. I just didn't do. Uh, do you still have auto build? Easy on. Yes, we are not done with the preparation. This, sorry. We are done with the preparation. We are now in the make the steam move a little, the, the, the stream go a little faster so we can actually get into the fun part of the next thing. So we'll see. <sighs> so don't worry. Well, we're almost done with all of this. That's just an extra thingy. What do we have left? We have heat done. We have power done. Now let's do plumbing. We have monuments. Yes, we just need plumbing. Um, we are going to be close to 1500 people relatively fast so i don't want to mess with um using what's it called uh trucks to move our water and sewage around so we're just going to set that up correctly right away um we have this connection luckily it covers the whole city right away which is awesome uh we do need sewage and water out here we can probably use trucks for that um and then make that one of our next constructions, we'll see. Uh, but yes, sewage can just go straight into the river or harbor, whatever that's gonna be later. Um, so let's see, do sewage first because that one is opinionated on angles and stuff, the water one is not. Yeah, it's not an auto-generated map, which means I can actually get these things um, built easier. He says that as stuff just doesn't let you build it easier. Perfect. Really? You gonna fight me? Fine. Uh, height from center, make this nice and small. Just find a center that you like and give yourself a relatively straight edge. Then we can go five million. How much? You wanna bet? Well, bet is a big word and I don't have any like gambling enabled. Or I don't, well, Nightbot may have gambling enabled by default, but I don't know how it really works. But what do you think? How much money will we have left when I uh, press play again? Right now we have a little over four million. That's nice. Um, but afterwards, we're not going to have a little over 4 million. Too steep. Yeah, you, you gotta be kidding me. <sighs> Is that like a really big steep hill? F3 for underground? We could go around here. Let's do that. <clears throat> okay. That's good. Well, Discord, you're not quiet. Um, I don't want to turn off Discord. How do I turn on streamer mode in Discord after... I disabled it. Can anyone tell me, please? Uh, you don't need control. One dollar, Joe. What? Did I miss something? I'm sorry. Um, been busy over here. Okay, so uh, sewage switch, very important. And for these guys, I would highly recommend you have your tool for measuring open because it gives you the current height. Obviously, this is close to zero, which is where you want to go. Um, do your height lines or uh, contour lines. So we're at about nine meters and the city itself is about 11 meters. So if you want to build a switch somewhere, it has to be below 11 meters, which is right here, which is actually perfect. That's a really good spot for it. Uh, sewage switch right there. Yeah, let's just point, point at that thing. We're going to turn the footpath around, though. And then I just use the large pipes because the small ones will just drive you mad later on. When you're like, why is this not working? Why is this not um, transporting our sewage? It says my sewage is full. It's because you probably don't have enough capacity in your things, and that's bad. Um. Oh. <clears throat> you can set a hotkey. I don't have a hotkey. Scroll bottom about eighth from the bottom is streamer mode. Okay, let me let me check that because I don't want you to hear beeping uh, because that's annoying. Um, there, switch accounts of cost. Where is it? Let me settings. Um, billing app settings appearance key. What notifications? What is it? You say uh, settings button. Scroll to the bottom mode eighth from the bottom. Okay, eighth from the bottom. Streamer mode, thank you very much. Um, enable streamer mode, that's what I needed. Thank you, JD. Um, <laughs> much better. Let's start playing. Thank you, Beeble Joe, for the videos. I learned a lot. Thank you, Paul. Thanks for coming. Small sewage pipes are fine for industry. Cities is a different story, indeed. And for, especially for col uh, collectors like what I just built, um, the small ones will never, probably never be sufficient uh, for what you want to do. So I'd much rather just go a little too big then much too small okay that's sewage got it let's do water 
Um, we need a water treatment plant. I don't think we need any big, but I know that I want one big. <laughs> like going too small uh, is going to hurt us more than going too big. There is a footpath connection on that side, which I would like to use. Um, and I'm putting it closer to the edge of the city. I don't know what my why my voice was doing that, but I'm putting it closer to the edge of the city because I this is this is just a visual collector uh, connection. It's not really very useful. I'm um, putting it close here because I don't want uh, the traffic to block the chemicals to go to the uh, treatment plant. That's that's really the only thing. This can go back. That's fine. You could get a couple extra workers from here. Uh, thanks for the sub. Appreciate it. I have the wrong things highlighted as usual. Um, there we go. Hey, Fennel and Phil. Nice to see you guys. Are you new? I don't recognize your name. Uh, okay. Let's see. You don't have to answer that. It's, it's I'm just making conversation, right? <laughs> Okay, you come in here, you come in here, you can go back, and now we can put some other buildings in there if we really want to at some point. Probably shouldn't have done that because now I'm blocking myself from building that, but that's fine. Um, this one will produce some waste, which is not going to be collected by anyone, so uh, this will be helpful. The, the, the underground pipes are should be sufficient uh, for getting around all of this. So that looks good. Do you have power from the power source that we already placed earlier? Great question. Uh, yes, yes you do. Perfect. Now we need some uh, water. Okay. All we really need for that is a couple uh, water welts. I don't like the surface outflow. Well, they're fine. The surface outflow is totally fine. Um, I just like to use the water welts because I don't need worker, uh, workers, which is a big plus. We can put one here. That will be enough to get us started. And we can probably put one here later on if we want to. This one needs power. We're going to get to that. And I will give myself a big water tower to um, have enough have enough water go through here. I would like the footpath to not point that way, but that's fine. Uh, and on this side, we're just going to allow uh, dirt paths and that stuff. Okay, we also need a pump to get in there. So let's do that. Water substation. No, water pump. Yes. Um, the small pumps cannot move a lot. Don't use them. <laughs> it's it's very simple and this uh water well that i just built can move 70 cubic meters of water a day at max uh the small one or the medium one can only do 56 so i'm just going to build it with the with the big pipe but knowing that this can only produce up to 70 cubic meters so if we need more we just have to build another um another pump and the nice thing is two pumps together almost well max out this one plus a little extra so you can actually put two pumps together on one large pump and stuff is still going to work just fine uh you can go here for that water and then we need another pump to get the water out of the uh, treatment plant which we can do here's the thing we need to do this absolutely um i think this is fine but then i need a water tower somewhere flip you around there you go where's the water tower gonna go this is going to be a water tower for the clean water which is very important. We could put that here. We could put that out here and then connect the pipe somewhere else because part of me thinks this water tower may be used to bring water to the industries and I don't huh, don't want to mess with it too much. You can go there, give myself a water switch uh, somewhere in here that can connect to the water pipe thing that we already have there. It's, it's just helpful if you have these water switches available. Uh, for later when you need to expand your city and you forgot something it's nice to have the extra you can go there you can go here so now we almost have water i'm going to use the middle one to connect to you that looks good uh had this issue once in this episode basically you only one when a school, uh, school kindergarten and only circle through them with QE. how does it get rid of it do i i don't i don't i don't know I'm not sure that I follow the question. Uh, because, yeah, one of the things that they added a while ago, and I don't know when that happens, you're on school, and now Q and E just cycles through the things. And that is the same as the cycling for uh, conveyor belt, oh, sorry, conveyor towers. 
like things that have different heights with Q and E, you just cycle through the next one. Um, I think it's just a, a part of it now. So I don't know. I don't know how to change that. Heat. Yes, we have a heat connection, but let me tell you, first, only use underground. Uh, Kayamaya and I, and probably many other people, have already done tests on um, efficiency of underground heat pipes. And these are a lot better than the alternative. Could I run you through here? Building in the way, that's not helping. Too long right there. So if we get all the way to here, it would work. Interesting. Because there's power right here. There should be enough power in this area most of the time. Um, for doing everything that we need to do. So I think it's pretty safe, relatively safe, heat pumping station, to run this here. And if we are actually connected to that power, that little... Um, let's not connect to that road. No, let's connect to that road. Uh, we have that little windmill down there. That's what I was looking for. Um, and if that gives us power for this guy, great. You can probably connect to something here. Perfect. So that one didn't have the problems of the underground connectors not working. That's nice. Uh, gravel road right up here. Sure. It's just a supply line. And that one is done. Very good. This one is still not on, right? <laughs> uh, what do we have going on there? Nothing. Cool. This one is still not on. We still need to bring workers here before we can get power. And we have to invite workers before we have power. So there is part of me that says maybe before we turn anything on, where's our road depot? It's right here. Maybe we get a couple first workers going um, to siphon from the uh, bus stop that we, not bus stop, but the helicopter landing spot that we have here. We can get, that we can actually get this started. How many do we need? Honestly, not a lot. So two personal cars are probably fine. We have all of these that are nice and fast they're all faster than what we can do uh trabi 80 sure make it hard on ourselves because why not i uh, get two of those and they can run out here and deliver some workers to the power plant that's the only one we need right away um everything else is taken care of we don't currently have water and sewage coming in here okay i don't know that i want to build the pipes uh right away but i do want to build the supply right away so water has to come from out there that's, that's fine. I think I just want to put you here. If I do that, the sewage tank uh, is probably going to point kind of that way. That is fine. Um, let's see here. If we do a large pipe connection, how much would that cost? Look how long this is. Um, you have to connect to this building in the way. Of course it is. 20,000. It's, it's not very expensive, honestly. This has to do it. Um, and there's always a need for a switch somewhere. The switch can probably go down here as long as we have foot, uh, footpath access somewhere, which um, there should be a pipe here. Yeah, there's a pipe right there. So footpath access there is not going to happen. And we want you to connect this way. That's not going to happen. Okay, we could put that switch over here. That'd be a pretty easy sell. We could also put it right here. This one does not need power, so it makes life a little easier. Um, but if that one connects to there, um, probably just a medium pipe can connect to out here, F3 to see underground. Uh, make this a little shorter, because that's a, that's a terrible, terrible pathing. Uh, there we go. And then we have water here. We do want a big water pipe. Normally, I like to put another tower in between here, so we have enough. It's just 17,000 for this one, but we can build it. Okay. Do you want another tower out there? I do. I do. I... Hmm. Do we need another pump then? Not really. You could connect it to this pump if you just want another tower connected to it. Okay, but that may siphon. All right, no. Uh, this is what we're going to do. Sorry, I, I had to talk with myself that it just to convince me that whatever I'm doing here is not terrible. But that can go away. That one can get cancelled. And this one can get also cancelled. Uh, as in we can build that later then we need some sewage oh we don't have do we have trash yet i think i thought about trash earlier and then i didn't do anything about it um because these two will still produce trash because they have people in them okay uh you, you're doing sewage yes a uh, large sewage pipe needs to go from here all the way out to here above the terrain at some stage perfect all right this is fine. 
The problem with this is very simple. Um, we don't have a customs house to drop these off at. So either I build a sewage uh, unloading station somewhere and our trucks can go there and drop it off or I build the actual sewage pipes. I don't hate the idea of a sewage unloading station. It only costs $7,000, but the trucks that we need to move stuff around will cost us something. But we need those trucks anyways because uh, this industry has to exist somehow. And I don't want to make it too simple. We, we, we can build a couple things. So what we're going to do for right now is build a sewage switch um, near our um, technical service that we're going to use. Uh, right here is good. The inputs are from all of those sides. That should be fine. I don't know if we can get up here, buddy. Okay, let's see. What height are we? I could have checked the height, but I didn't. Uh, looks like this is fine. All right. Um, we don't need to build that yet, though. Okay. <laughs> just It should just help me, um, but we, we may be making mistakes here, too. And then this one, wrong one. This one is the one I actually want to build. So we can get in here. That looks fine. Um, we need a footpath to connect here. That's also fine. Then we need a sewage unloading station. And we already need some more... Um, I, don't want, I don't want you there. Maybe here? Maybe. I don't... What do I not want? I really don't know. I lost my train of thought. I'm actually thinking about how I'm going to do this right now, and that, that distracts. And I have no idea what's going on in the chat. Well, yeah, if you'd like to connect that uh, that one, that's nice. Uh, you can just come in here, because that's where most of the sewage is going to come from. This all has to get built, because we need it to get started. We need a little more power uh, right here. And I, I'm, a, I'm a big sucker for putting electric substations just... In between there, the problem we will have is we're not going to be able to run our power on that side. So um, I can put you here, or I can put you here. I don't hate this idea because it's connected to everything that we care about. Very good. Uh, power transformer. Yes, we need at least one for the city. Um, we can just give ourselves a little bit of room just outside the city. Then we, we can give ourselves a large voltage switch. The nice thing about this uh, playthrough is going to be there's no way we can export power, and that's by design, so no easy money, which is why we only have a small one to connect with. Uh, 10 megawatts for this city should be totally sufficient. Um, we are going to use a big one, or the biggest one we have available, to connect to our um, power plant. Let's see, how do you want to connect to us? You can go this way, this way. And this way. Cool. That's power, and they will also be auto-built. Very important. And uh, just the small the small wires that we still need here, and then we're good to go. Let's see. Do this one first. <clears throat> I saw it. That was a green one, which is all I want out of this. That one's connected. Great. Um, let's do the next one. I'm a sucker for this. I, I think it looks pretty when you stack them, but it takes so much extra time when you do it. Um, the problem is the game, if you don't do that, will just not place a pillar and your lines will go really, really low. And I am not a fan of that. Looks like even here we had a couple that were a little lower than they need to be. F3, can I see this a little better? No, no. I think it's right there. There. Stop, stop snapping. Here's what we're gonna, no, stop snapping. <laughs> it's not gonna let me do the thing I wanna do. Ah, uh, come on. And even if I turn snapping off, which it was off the whole time, it's not gonna let me do the thing. So there, there. Uh, may have to go on the inside of the roundabout there. Is that acceptable? The alternative is going over on this side. That's I think that's a much better option. Okay, I want you to go from there all the way to here. Disconnect that one and then try to go over here.
Oh, that monument is in the way, of course. Uh, we can't go that way. Okay. Hmm. Still that, that stupid pond um, fountain. Okay, one more try. Let's see what we can do from here. Oh, there we go. That's what I was hoping. Uh, for some reason, the game has to do really sharp turns, and I, it might have been Dennis that talked about that a while ago, um, but I guess it's fine. So all of those are connected now. We have power. We have all those power connections here. This is the time where you go, all right, this may be, this may be real now. Stream three. Uh, and we can in, uh, import some people. I had power, sorry. I had automatic imports of resources turned off already. That's good. Um, I have import of citizens turned off. That should also be good. So, yeah. Don't don't forget, auto, like fast build is still on, which is why this just went really, really fast. I think this one we decided we still want. Um, batch automatic robots. Not even using any dollars yet, because that's something for later to figure out. Um, but this looks good. We have all of these things. We need to start importing some of uh, some coal. And oil should flow here. Is there any oil in here yet? No, not yet. Let's just do that. Doesn't Shouldn't matter. But uh, now we have it. If we ever have rail connect to these oil fields, there shouldn't be enough to um, do anything silly. Let's run our resurfacing thing. We have no power, no one lives here, very good. Let's set this one to something reasonable before we invite any people. I'm very glad that we haven't invited anyone. You're, you don't have power, you don't have people or drinking water. Yeah, that makes sense. You need chemicals. Okay. This looks like a super simple little town. I like it. I like the town, right? Look at that. There's all the things, okay. We could import all our vehicles right now via uh, via the ship, but we're still in the preparation phase, and I think it's okay to not spend that time doing that right now because that's a lot of micro. Um, that is, we're going to have a lot of that anyways. We need a couple garbage trucks. Let's give me two, two of these um, because we have residential buildings too. We definitely need some snowplows. Give me two. And then we need one water and one sewage truck. Three and a half. Gosh, there, nine and a half. One of these. And that's all we're going to do. That's all they're going to be allowed to do. Um, all our stuff is going to go here for trash and here for sewage. Uh, our water source is going to be this building. Uh, should be fine. Should be full at some point. Um, and then they should be okay with that. We obviously aren't producing anything yet. That's totally fine. Let's make this one more obvious for me because I'm blind. Let's do that. Okay, you should only allow coal. Shouldn't be a big problem to make the, to enforce that one. So that should be good. You're waiting for uh, power. Okay, the next phase. What time is it? 11.47, it's almost giveaway time again. Don't forget about kindergarten. Thank you very much. I did forget about kindergarten and I see a perfect space for it. <laughs> okay. Um, here is the next one. Kindergarten. So the middle one, uh, right here, around the trash. Let me put it, let me put it here. Thank you. I know you want to. You don't have to put all of the footpaths on it, just most of them, please. This one? Cool. Should be connected to everything that we care about. Um, so that one can get built. Yes, I did forget about that, 100%. You technically have trash access and sewage access and water access and heat access and power access, so you should be fine. What is your estimated consumption? It's just 50%. That is perfect. So, well, it's about 50%. Um, and in a city, you can go to about 150%. Um, but if we can not avoid that, that is fine. Missing staff. That's good. This building there. Should I give myself an end station? Well, <laughs> let's see. Um, let's do this one. Yes. And then can I get a pre-built end station? There you go. 
because I think an end station in that spot would be really high. You don't build high school. You didn't build high school. Yes, I did. Um, the high school is right here. See? Yeah, wall school. I don't know why a wall is the word, but okay. Um, it's right here. And I should probably also prep this stuff, but I can do that after I send the first couple trucks out and about. But yeah, we need an potential we need an end station at some point for our buses. Uh, and that end station has to exist somewhere here or here, just in, on this side of the road, which apparently I put all the power lines there, so that's cool. Um, but yeah, just have to build that. We need some fire protection. Got it. Uh, give me two trucks. Thank you. We need at least one uh, one of these. Cool. Um, we don't have police yet or anything like that. There's the, the kindergarten. We don't have any fuel in this area at all. That's going to bite me at some point. So let's build a real gas station. Um, as long as we have some power connection, that should be fine. Actually, if you flip around, do fit better. Not really. Well, you can pull. That's fine. Uh, so we get fuel there. Uh, because these guys are not going to get fuel for a little while. Should I put the fuel station a little closer? Yes, you should. Uh, why? Because driving distance matters at some point, especially for your emergency vehicles. So don't keep them too far away. And this is fine because I'm not sure that I'm going to use a lot of this space for residential or any city buildings um, specifically. So that should be fine. What else? I think I got it all. We just have to start transporting stuff. And to transport stuff, we could use this, um, the building that's already already here so i want you to load from there and unload here the rest we just need real people for you can go that means that the two helicopters that are currently tourists <laughs> we, don't, we don't allow tourists buddy sorry no tourism allowed um let's tell our, our helicopters to not be silly so you guys, at the border, load just workers, please. Everyone else is useless. No passengers, all workers. Yes, that looks good. No unload here. I want you to unload and actually transfer so the workers stay here. With that in mind, and this is why I don't like to do this, we also have to tell them where to go work when they're ready, which is... Oh, did I not buy fire trucks yet? Or did they... Electricity problem, new vehicle, electricity, traffic jam. I don't see any burned down messages yet, so... Not sure what's going on there, but now we should be able to tell them... Go here. Cool. Um, yes, so that's the first one. The second one would be get a coal truck. Yeah, we're just going to use this existing depot because they're not that exciting to play with. Give me a coal truck. We're just going to start with one, and we'll see how that goes. Uh, you need to go from here, load, wait until loaded. I want you to just get coal. And I realize that we may not have a lot of coal stored there. And drop it off here. Wait until I'm loaded. Good. You can go. Um, then we need a couple trucks to bring city goods in. Uh, which this one is the first one we really want a distribution office for. Do I want a free distribution office for the time being? I think... Yes. I think yes we do. So let's do the... Uh, free distribution office because everything else is disabled uh, for city distribution and if we do that we're actually gonna that was weird um, we're actually gonna put this really close to the source because that is the most effective way to use these guys and there's also a fuel station nearby when they need it so we need what do we need we need at least a couple covered trucks one two um, and for city delivery let's call it that city let me type City delivery. Okay. For thinking, thinking. For for city stuff, do we need anything else? I don't think so. I think city stuff is just this, and I would like to fill up the city with goods before we do anything crazy. So let's pick up from here. Definitely food, clothing, electronics, booze. Sure. I don't know that we need to turn that on yet, but. Uh, having that will be good. And a meat truck. Got it. Mistake. Uh, you go over here. Because we're going to use you later. Um, and then purchase a meat truck. Nope. Actually, meat can be can be separate. 
That's fine. That's just purchasing me a truck right now. Um, don't worry. For the construction, for construction offices that we still have to build. Um, also, we have to auto build those. At least I have to build the, the, the vehicles first. Sorry, uh, the buildings first. The vehicles we could import, and that could be our first micromanaging task if we wanted to. How's there still no coal here? Can you go away and leave us alone for just a little bit? Uh, that we can get some coal stored? That'd be great. Are you unloading yet? So confused. It's still trying to push gravel in there. How much gravel do you have stored? <laughs> uh. Well, at some point I need you to bring coal in there. Oh, uh, that'd be good. So yes, you are going here to pick up all those things. I also want you to get chemicals. Very important. Uh, meat will come from somewhere else. I want you to bring all of that. No, this is not totally necessary anymore, but that's fine. Uh, bring all of that here until that is full. And here... <clears throat> until that has something. And I think that is all for right now. So they can start moving. Uh, let's bring this truck in and you will be our meat deliverer. You can be wait until full there. You can go here, wait until empty. Okay. Um, it's elementary school. Yeah, but it's, it's the same thing. But, uh, the kindergarten, then elementary school, and then they go to university. There's no, there's no extra school in between there. Oh. Uh, Three steps of edu education. If you use the simplified education, uh, it may only be one, maybe two. I don't know which which step they're skipping. I know, know the goal is to uh, so, ugh, I know the goal is to survive the island. Um, but do you have anything you wish you see? Um, not sure. I'm following. And it sounds like I can get myself a. Um. An end station. Okay, let's add that somewhere here. Actually, don't have to pause anymore, I think. They are a depot. And then an end station. Do a larger one, because a smaller one just causes trouble eventually. Uh, not there. Clearly right here. Actually, this is a good spot for it. Uh, and you have some power available. That's great. We just need to give it some fuel. But I don't want to use um, the fuel distribution office that we have on the on the peninsula so we're gonna leave that alone i do want some coal here but that's not gonna happen for a while uh, those trucks are gonna start delivering stuff you are waiting for fuel you don't have enough power okay what is i don't understand it. it's like there's some gravel stuck on the inside but not enough to actually make a difference. And it's always like transporting 0.7 tons, which is super. So yeah, we just, we need to get construction going. Where should we get construction going? Um, okay, that pole is over. It is 11.57. We have one more pole. Uh, cons and uh, let's see here. Start pole. Uh, build CO in uh, base. And that question... There's a new poll. <laughs> um, should I build the construction office in the base? The question really is, most of the resources are here. Should I build um, the construction office here where the resources are, or should I build it closer to where it's actually going to be? It's probably going to be in this area or slot um, where it also makes sense to have. They will just have to drive a little further to get stuff. And honestly, there's just a little bit of... Maybe I have to take that question back. Um, there's just a little bit of stuff that I have to build here. Uh, precisely, it is the um, power setup for, for this. And it's just going to be one power line, honestly. Um, it may not be worth to have any construction set up here and spend money on that. So maybe that was a stupid question and I should just say no. No, do we not want it? Well, I I'll let you decide because I put it in there. And when you're um, when you're done deciding, we can throw a for a giveaway at it because that's fun what are you uh yeah you need some waste that's fine can we separate out stuff here i don't think we can because those are different containers these are not industries so they won't let me separate it we do need fuel 
in places. Okay. Um, I do think I can use one of these fuel trucks. We don't need 80 of them driving around. Give me actually the biggest one. Where's the big one? There's the big one. Um, to do stuff. I want you to come over here. Thank you. And then you will become part of my process. Go here to load fuel. Uh, definitely wait until load it. Otherwise, it'll be stupid. Then take all your fuel first to this fuel station. Okay. Triple checking. Then there. Then there. Um, then there. And then there. Yeah, that's good. And uh, they don't have to be alternating here. Just unload. None of them need to be... Oh, interesting. I was actually considering be part of that unloading station, a bus station. Uh, end station is what it's called. And then, yeah, don't go there. And now uh, load all those, those places up. I think that's good. 55%. Huh. How many, how many participation that we have? 40 votes. Okay. Um, well, you're, you're technically saying yes. So let's build one distribution office right, sorry, construction office right on the base to get our things going. We don't have cement, right? We don't have cement and we don't have any of those things yet. That's going to be a small problem, but that's okay. I'm going to build this in the base, but on the edge, <laughs> just, just because, um, why not? Uh, plop you there. And then what do we need? The first construction thing is, is what I said we're going to do uh, just import, like the actual vehicle import, right? We are... I'm going to start this after this. There. <laughs> we're going to turn realistic mode on here in just a minute, probably after the giveaway, honestly. Uh, what do we have? Buy a new vehicle mechanism. Yes. If I... Let's plan this. Let's plan this so I know what I need to do. If I want to run power lines out from here, then I probably just want a switch, medium voltage switch, somewhere out here. I don't know that I need to use these guys anywhere else, but we can probably turn off that built from construction or built from resources because I also care about what we need. It needs concrete. <sighs> Which means I have to build the concrete thing first before I can do any of this, which is fine. Um, so if I build this here, let me just connect to the other places and then build a triple switch here because how many do we have? We really just have two power uh, connectors. So it would be pretty easy to plop this one down here get an electric substation that is here that connects to almost everything. You're not connecting to this building down here, but which one is, is this one? No. Interesting. So we definitely want one here. And then we want one out here. But we need... I guess this one may be covered with the existing um, small power plant there. Wind, wind, wind turbine. <laughs> it's not a power plant. Uh, and we could put the substation here. Unless there is... This one. Yeah. This one works. This one's a good one. So this can go there. We only need the small wires, honestly. So have you come here? Yes, and yes, I'm trying to leave the space open. I don't know what I need it for later. Uh, it's like hoarding wood when you're in a wood, uh, wood shop. You're just like, well, this is a cutoff piece, but I may still use it later for something. And you're just like, no, you're not. I'm like, But maybe. And you're like, no, you're not. And you're like, you're right, but I still want it. <laughs> Four years later, you finally have a have a reason to use it. And you're just like, see, told you. Uh, the the person that you're telling that is obviously just yourself. There's there's nobody else. Um, okay, so this is the old world. So we have no problem defacing uh, the entrance a little bit with some power lines that are totally absolutely necessary. Uh, you can connect in there, and then we're just going to do a big one right here. Uh, you have to go around. All right. There and there. And now that all should be able to connect to our thing. We need at least asphalt. Uh, well, we need at least concrete and asphalt. We need both both constructions, um, which is fine. Okay, let's do that. What is it? 12.03. Okay, let's build. Should I build these? Yes, I should. Okay, where? Right here. Construction 
construction zone is going to be there. We already have some power here. May as well put a, a quick drive through right here. How much gravel do you need for this? We're not going to build the gravel right away, okay? Calm down. Um, leave it there, and we probably have to click a button. Um, construction. Yes. We need asphalt and concrete. Okay. We also need buses to, to bring the, or to do something with these. That is true. Do you want to connect these to a gravel source? Yes, I kind of do. Okay, that means that can go there. Asphalt. Sorry, I'm totally speaking with myself, but I, I have a plan, I promise. Um, put this one here, then get our aggregates with a triple out. Very good. Uh, T for flip. Then we put you like this, and now we have at least the option to put a some storage here. Doesn't have to be a big one or the small one, just a storage here. Uh, I'm gonna flip them. No, actually, yeah, I want the road connection on that side. Um, this is fine. Now we could bring gravel in here if we really wanted to. However, we're not gonna build this. We're not gonna we're not gonna build any of these niceties. We're just gonna build the absolute necessities, which is the asphalt and the concrete plant. Good. Um, gravel road, we need this connected, and that is already there as connected. These two are not going to be connected to anything. And I think we didn't have power connections out here, right? Mm, you don't have it, but you have it. Okay. I think it'll be worth not wasting power. Or a power connection. So let's see if we can add that to this. Yes. Like so. Okay. Just needed that conveyor belt to actually connect. And it did. So we have this one. Great. Um, never deliver your workers directly into either of these. Because at some point everything's going to be stuck. Because someone's going to wait for something. And um, it's, a, it's a bad cycle. So we're going to add a quick bus stop. Right here. And I'm going to let them actually just back out of this. Cool, that's fine. We can go there. We could connect this to something, but I don't think that's necessary. So we have that one done. We need a tiny, tiny vehicle. Honestly, this car is going to be perfect for what we need uh, to do that trip, which will be from here to there. It's not done yet. Got it. Okay, now there. Okay. And then fund from stuff. Looks great. And now you can actually drive. Very good. That's going to get fuel from here. Okay, we still don't have citizens, but I think we are getting pretty close. And the night mode is actually visible now, so that's awesome. So we have those two. We need we need to be able to deliver stuff to these guys. Okay. Um this is a this is a fuel tank. Hmm. Am I gonna break my rule and say I can use the um initial initial distribution office that we already have? Feels a little wrong. Feels a little very wrong. No, no, we're not going to use it. We're going to waste. We're going to start wasting a little bit of fuel because we don't have all the efficiencies that we need. Um, there's no reason for that. Build another free distribution office. Uh, we, they're limited, so there are only a couple more that I have. And if I want to use them on this, then that's my decision, right? We need um, bitumen and cement out of this. So let's just do that. I need a bitumen one and a cement one. That one. And uh, oil tank. We have a lot of oil tanks here, right? Are you empty? You are empty enough. Um, let's move you here. It's just, there's no reason to keep moving them around, right? Let's take you. You're going to get cement from there and uh, bitumen from the middle, I think. I can't read it, but you're not called anything. That's not helpful. Uh it. Oil. So they actually show up in the distribution office menu. Fuel. And we should have some bitumen here already, right? No, the ship has just left. Um, hasn't done anything yet. Okay. Um, so you go there and at bitumen. You also load bitumen. And you bring that out here. There and there. And obviously these two also need... Um, excuse me, water and waste taken care of. So we have that. And then there's trash that will also happen here at some point. Um, 
Do these have large trash containers? Six and a half tons. Yeah, when you're full, you're full. But that's fine. That's fine. Yeah. Um, we don't need to build a free trash container uh, there right now because it's already kind of taken care of. All right. So, you. Where do you get your stuff from? You get gravel from here. Got it. You get asphalt and concrete from here. Got it. You get most of your other stuff from here. Cool. Uh, no power supply. Missing dumber truck. Okay. Um, you can get one of these. Um, let's see. I, I need to make sure that we have everything we need. At least an excavator, a dumper truck. Uh, it needs a very small bus or personal vehicle. This one. Oh, it's a new one. Pretty. Uh, you can get that one. Then you definitely need a crane. Let's see. Road crane. Um, we have a 23 or 26. 26, you're the winner. Uh, then you definitely need a... No filter, please. An open hole. Yes. You need a concrete mixer. <sighs> How do I know all of this? Don't ask. That's a new tower crane. That's a big one. Uh, there's a new concrete mixer. And... Mm -hmm. Yes, I have not used any of my NATO money. And we can't spend it on vehicles, actually. Because I don't have a NATO border. I'm not planning on adding one. Um, do you need anything else before I let you go? Honestly? Let's just give you some tasks. And once you have some tasks, you should be fine. Uh, what is a road? A road is that panel road. Where is this panel road? Panel road is down there. Oh, okay. You need gravel. Missing resources. Gravel. Gravel is right here, but there's no power. Without power, there's no gravel. <laughs> okay. Uh, where's a dump truck? I may give myself another dump truck. You transported 0.15 tons of gravel. <sighs> and you're bringing that to a different site. I don't like the sound of that. Uh, because you also need a lot more gravel. <sighs> I'm not going to turn off power needs. No, that's wrong. Um, okay. Okay. I'm very tempted to turn this power on. Like, build this power for free right now. So we can actually start building. Because if you're always only going to transport nothing. Then it's not going to be helpful. Here's the thing that we can do, I think. Um, if I tell you that your gravel's actually coming from here for the time being, hey, there's coal. Uh, that gravel's actually coming from here for the time being, you may be able to actually pick that up fast enough to, to matter. Let's see what happens here. You are going to refuel and then you're gonna do something else. That's fine, sorry. We're just gonna move fast so we can get this done. Yes, you're actually loading up in here. Good enough, good enough. That's gonna do just fine. We don't have to build anything. Cool. Time for giveaway number three. Yes. And then we're going to take a short break, I think, and follow these guys around until everything is full. Um, let's see. We need to go over here. Click on the Nightbot. Um, that's a lot of stuff that's catching up. I don't like it. But that's fine. Let's close this pole. Um, okay. Okay. Um, Brittany, there's also a command, um, if someone types in WRSR, Workers and Resources, beta, um, it will show you exactly what you have to do. Okay, so, uh, what is our next keyword? Please and thank you. Plus, it's in the description, so it's everywhere, really. But yes, what what do we want to be as a keyword? Mm -hmm. Ah, honey tea is great. <laughs> Am I sick? I've been sick for like three weeks. It's super cool. It's just a runny nose that goes in my throat. But hey, one, today is one of the better days. I'm hoping my, uh, my, my voice is just still alive tomorrow. So we'll see. Banana? Okay, I like banana. Mural Joe, the keyword is like. You should click the like on the stream. <laughs> Ooh, okay, okay, okay. I I don't hate. Okay, um, here's the thing. We're going to do like. But you actually have to click like on the stream, otherwise you can't win. Yep, yep, that's what we're going to do. So, hope that's going to work. So, uh, banana, banana rama. Yeah, that would work. 
Uh, but this is what we're going to do now. Ah, okay. The music is gone, so I'm, I'm a little confused. Let's go back to here and let's let the chat do. That's the keyword, okay? Like is the keyword. Let's let the chat do what the chat wants to do. Um, Har Harley won in that case. <laughs> you have to like and say like. Yeah, you don't need another game. I know you. God. <laughs> um, it's fine. But yeah, just make sure. Don't only play if you actually want the key. Uh, for you or for a friend, it's totally fine. But um, that's how you enter the giveaway. Super simple. What are these guys doing? They are moving around. Um, I think I'm going to get one other dump truck. Uh, just to speed up things a little bit. Are you actually loading up with coal? A little bit, yes. Are you doing something here? You're supposed to wait until unloaded, so that's good. Are you definitely unloaded there? You have a little bit of coal here. That's great. We have some people actually coming in, not coming in yet. Very interesting. Let's follow this guy. Maybe he's doing something interesting and nefarious. Um, very good. I think I closed all of them, right? Like, I have to close one before I can open a new, uh, new poll. Um, just... It seems to be the thing. Oh, that's pretty. Look at that. Who built this? <laughs> um, and then the old panel rows. I like this. I like this a lot. This is good. I'm happy with this. I don't know if you can tell. Uh, let's click this button. Stay a little closer. And it's busy already. We don't even have people yet. And it's busy. It is May. We can still invite people before the end of the winter. So that's kind of cool. Are you going to get someone? You're not going to get someone. That is unfortunate. Do you have someone? You have some number of workers waiting here, but it's your time. Yeah. Okay. I don't know if you saw that, but they kind of just disappeared right away. Um, actually, no, they didn't just disappear. The problem is that we have too many workers needed here, and we don't have enough... Um, sorry, the... The numbers that you see are because of cheat mode is still active, if that was confusing. Um, we're going to do one more minute, then we're going to do the giveaway. But if I want to do this, I probably need at least one more helicopter, otherwise we will never have enough workers. Because look at this, it's already empty. It's effectively empty. And uh, there's not going to be enough workers to go anywhere. Okay, for a short period of time, when we get citizens... We will just turn that off and so the, the, the people can just wait here and not be annoying. I think that would be helpful. Yes, I think I think that's what we're going to do. We're just going to honestly just disable this fire station. Okay, how is the city going doing in general? You have chemicals. Very good. You have all the foods that you kind of need. I would like some more food, though. Um, what is this guy doing? Because I saw you just parked here. You're at least not blocked. Are you driving? You are driving. Bring in some more food to the city. Okay. Honestly, with that in mind, we can almost turn on the city, but I want to do that after the break. Um, Weld, Trubbies, really, Rye uh, Oil, Fire. What? Um, yes. You need a gas uh, station pump for workers to stay and limit the numbers of firefighters. Yes, uh, I try to avoid that. Just, um, I only need this to turn on the, um, power plant once. That's all. Hmm. Um, yes, so... What's this? Interesting. But yeah, we, we have everything that we need, at least. So, why are the trucks parked here now? What's happening? No power sign. Uh, can produce asphalt, can uh, no selected source of workers. Very good. Um, this is probably a free, free construction officer I should build quick because this is a really long distance otherwise. And I need some workers. So once I turn the city on, we can actually do construction uh, with this thing, with the with the little car that I, that I added here. You. Okay. Um, and maybe I'll just give myself one more car. How about that? Sounds great. So you, you, personal car, this one again, sounds great. And then you will be this as a source. Construction office group, um, I need this one and I need this one. And you can do things together, assign construction, 
Honestly, all we care about right now is these guys. Um, everything over there. Actually, they got some gravel done. They got they got at least one gravel road done, so they weren't completely lazy. Proud of you guys. Okay, that's all assigned. Let's do the giveaway. Then we're gonna do a short break. Um, actually, let's do this. Yeah, and we're gonna do a short break, uh, like five minutes, and uh, then we can rejoin and get some citizens, right? Looks like chat has slowed down a little bit, which is fine. Let's see what we're up to. Are you building modders interested in Brazilian monuments? How to join the giveaway? Emily, just type the keyword. Keyword is like. Um, nice. My family has a trubby, but he stayed in the back of the house. Rejoin and rejoice. Cool. Um, yeah. So Emily, just, just type like and uh you can join the giveaway and then again for everyone that wins please um look at the description there is contact and for just type contact in the uh, like exclamation point contact in the chat and you can see all the ways that you can contact me but please the winner contact me within about five minutes so i can give you the key uh and life is good that's all i'm really asking for cool all right let's do this um roll it edward uh congratulations edward you are the winner of a brand new fresh little key whoop that's the wrong one no i didn't where's my where's my thing so if you want to claim it please contact me within about five minutes and i can hand you your brand new uh key just for yourself cool we will take a quick break and at the end of the break edward please make sure that you've contacted me so i can send you a thing Yay! Why is it not saying that you're messaging? I see you're messaging. Why is it not pulling up in here? That's annoying. About just inhale food in five minutes. Yes. <laughs> I had a really big breakfast. I hope I don't need that. Um, but here's what we're going to do. Um, let's see here. Click out of that. We can hide this again. We go over here. And we're going to see if there's anyone that does a lot of work. There are some construction vehicles here that are moving around. That's nice. This fuel truck. This fuel truck has an actual line and he's not going to go anywhere. So we're just going to follow him until I come back. I hope that is okay. We're going to go double speed so you're actually getting somewhere. But uh, yes, I will be back in just a few minutes. And then um, I hope... Where's my thing? Break screen. There we go. I hope nobody goes anywhere, okay? Uh, there will be more giveaways later. So, see you in a couple minutes.
you thought I left you, didn't you? Um, but yeah, the pause is probably a good indicator that I was doing something silly. The pause in the video. Um, but there you go. Does it do something if it doesn't have power? This one does. <laughs> I think that's the only one, though. All the other ones don't let you fill up if you don't have power. Why? I don't care. It's, it's the way it is now, so... I think it's also filling up slower. I don't... I don't know if that's a security... Uh, consideration or something else. But there you are. We did it. So, um, thanks for showing up. Who's still here? Say hi. Polytechnic. Is that a university? Oh yeah, university is for later. We're we're good. Um, that's one of the first construction things that we'll do after the harbor has some power. So that should be good. Um, did they do anything useful? Some prefab panels and gravel. They should have that. You technically even have some power. What is? What are you complaining about? Now it's for a concrete covered hole. Okay, where's our excavator? You have to be somewhere. That's what we're trying to build. Oh, you're trying to build this building. Okay. Um, if I could have just told you to not worry about this one, it probably would have been fine, but no. Here's what, we think, what I think I'm going to do. We're going to just get a couple citizens, turn the power on, and then get more citizens with that. But we need at least a couple buses that can handle that, and we have to set our our things. I think 10 people here. Uh, that's very conservative, uh, like very over overkill. Uh, and then five people here, that gives us 10, 15, and 5, so 30 people. If we can get, like, two buses with 30 people, that should be good enough. And then I think we can actually turn on, um, turn on full realistic mode and go from there. 80, 60, 40, 50. This one is just too fast what we're doing, too expensive. You do 52, you do 60. We're going to do two of you. And here's how we're going to manage that. We're going to tell you to always start here, because that's important. Actually, end stations don't like to be at the front. Uh, you're going to start here. Um, then you're going to go here. And then you're going to go to the end station. Very good. And then at this platform, I don't want you to load 100% of your capacity, which is 52 I need about two thirds, which is uh, 66% ish. Uh, you don't have to unload anything. Well, I do want you to unload stuff here if you have too much left over. And now it should just load about 30 people. And about 30 is enough if it loads 32 and then whatever, that's fine. Um, but are you, are you gonna go? You're going, good. So those two buses, once they're there, we can actually get some stuff done. Nothing is going to happen until we have power, though. So here's the other thing we're going to... Well, they are there for power, technically, but I think I'm going to do this for right now and get our little bus... Sorry, our little vehicle. Is it this one? Yes. Where are you? And it's raining, so it's probably speeding us up a lot. Um, but have you go... We need double speed, otherwise it's not going to work. But have you go... And this is the last time we can use super speed... Um, out here. Thanks for the sub, G Dog. Um, you can go out here. Did you get some workers? You did not. Okay, perfect. Try again. Turn around. Try again. I need to get some workers. Okay, try again. Once we have anyone here, we're gonna we're gonna keep playing this game. Nope, stay close. It would be nice if I could actually stop him, but I don't think that's a real option. Where are our helicopters? I haven't heard them in a little while. Helicopters? Where are you? They don't have a real end station. There's someone coming, at least. That's that's good to know. Um, no, no. Stop. Go away. I don't want to see your messages over there. And turn around. <laughs> it's going to work. 
Uh, uh, so my really important question is, with a population of zero, who's driving the bus? This is very advanced Soviet, um, undisclosed, secret, super secret um, technology that, don't worry about it. Oh, both of them bring them at the exact same time. That's perfect. So now you have four workers. Great. Um, that means we can turn this one back on. And once we have our own workers, we can probably man um, the workforces down here by ourselves. And that'll be fine. But here we go. A couple workers are coming in, which is what we need. I need you to... Hold on. Do we have some oil? We should have some oil. Yeah, we have some oil. Good. <laughs> Without oil, we had another problem. Are you ready? Are you ready for citizens? Maybe. <laughs> okay. Um, let's see. We're going to invite 10. And we're going to... Hold on. Before we do that, pause everything. Because we need to make sure that we don't have too many workers working in places where they don't have to work. Like here. 5 is fine. Uh, definitely not 15. How about 3? Sounds great. Uh, pub? Not in the beginning. Uh, hold off on that a little bit. Here? No. 3. Here, less. Uh, how do I determine what the numbers are? In the beginning, I just reduce them. It doesn't really matter what they are. And then later, I come back and check. This is the only one I will not mess with a lot. Because once there is a fighter, the firefighter numbers are actually the thing that put out the fire. And if you use them for six months and nothing happens, and then one month your most important building burns down, um, then you know why it was important to keep them at the level that they were on. Okay, uh, kindergarten, should be the last one, probably just eight, and now we should be okay, I think. Yep, uh, click the buttons. I know you don't have a power supply, but we have a couple educated. There's, here's the race. Buildings, no fire supply, fire supply, workers without a job, children can't go to school, workers can't work because there's no kindergarten, currently without power, without drinking water, everything is terrible. Who would live here? And uh, where is our little car? I think it is this guy. Are you the savior of the Republic? Yes, you are, as long as those people don't go home. So, once power is on, these people should be relatively happy. And I'm just doing it on this level. 166 people get invited, if you see this, and 110 only live in that building, uh, just in case you're curious. But once we turn this on, uh, this is good. 83 people are looking for a job. Um, that means stuff should be working. So... Power plant is on, which means we have power running there, which means this thing is doing something that's great, which means all these places should technically be doing good things. Where's our bus? Our bus is right here. Um, I'm assuming, yes, there's nobody here yet. I could send people straight to, not relocate, no. I could send all the workers. There we go. Excuse you? <laughs> what? What? I'm gonna I need to try something. I click this button, this button. You can connect to that. Okay. What are the odds? Does does everyone see what I'm seeing? I'm gonna give you a minute. You can point it out. <laughs> you can point it out in chat. I'm gonna wait. What's wrong? What did B-Ball Joe manage to do? How did he screw up this time? I'm waiting. Uh -huh. Yep. Hmm? Hey! <laughs> I, don't, I don't know how I managed that. Um, but yes, there's just, there's no footpath to anywhere. So there's just like, what do you want me to do? I can't get out. I'm like, how did you get in? Ah, uh, we don't think about that. Okay, so now um, all of these are trying to go there, which is great. Now we have passengers waiting here. It's not perfect, but it's fine. Um, I would like, I would like to see a couple workers. Once we have some workers there, we have a little better spot. So... Uh, connections to this building, buildings to distant. No, it really shouldn't be that problem anymore. What are you talking about? There we go. Um, what do I miss? I missed, I missed the thing. I missed the thing. Where's the thing? Hold on. I heard a bang, but I didn't look over fast enough. And my chat has to catch up first. 
Uh, do, 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 do. You? You have nobody. Okay. But now we have some workers sitting here, which is important. Um, Mark, thanks for the sub. Okay. My chat preview, my, my YouTube preview is like an hour behind. That's cute. Uh, yes, so now we have some workers waiting there. It doesn't happen, this is too low. See, they already tanked, and the problem was most likely that I had them locked in. But that's fine, because once this bus picks up and brings some people to the source of work, everyone can go to work and everyone should be relatively happy. Load up a couple workers. 30 is perfectly fine. Go fast. If you don't go fast, we, we lose a lot of people. But right now, we haven't lost anyone yet, and they should be a little tolerant for a little while. But uh, we're already pretty low here, so um, that's dangerous. But let's see. This is what you have to do without... Can we have 45 minutes of waiting for someone to use a bath? Gosh, that was an excellent episode. That was... I cheated. I cheated. I watched most of it, but I was just like, I know exactly why this is not working, so it's not going to change. So I knew... I knew too much. It wasn't, it wasn't, it wasn't that thing. But there you go. You go in here. And now the next thing we have to figure out is when another bus arrives, do we have... There we go. Look at all the buttons go away. And now I'm, I'm hoping that this number will go up because everything should be fine. The most the, the worst thing is that the shopping center was closed without power. Uh, but now we just have to figure out our... Um, no drinking water. We'll figure that out. Oh, well, we didn't have drinking water. Okay, they, they, can, they can do that still. We don't need a lot of power is the thing. Um, that bus. Do you have workers? Why do you not have workers? You should have workers. There's no reason why you're running around empty. Uh, but that's okay-ish. Um, how long have you worked? This was just about four hours. So when the other bus arrives, if we're lucky, we are just fine for um, for the shifts. But I don't want these to just be empty. We're already at eight. Okay. We're seven hours. So, sorry, we're at eight people working, eight workers. We're now down to... Four, three, there. Nope, that's the fuel tank. Um, where is the other bus? Not that one. There's the other bus. Okay, that's telling me that we probably need a third bus in there. Otherwise, we can't get our frequency right, especially in the winter. So before we run too much further into um, ruin, let's send another one out there. And then it should be fine. Because right now they're turned off, which means everyone over here is pissed again. Um, how do you not have no power? Well, there's one, one person left, apparently. There you go. There are two, two people walking in. <laughs> that's not good enough. Uh, we need more than that, but that's fine. They, as you can see, we don't have any... Not really production, because we don't need a lot right now. So that's fine. You have 11 workers. That's cool. But yeah, um... Drinking water is still a problem. We have no building of drink, no missing water. What? What? I never, I'd never built that power supply. Oh, you fool. Um, there we go. This is why we don't have realistic mode on just yet. Just build it. Get our water going. Thank you. Uh, you're good. You're good. And now you people should be happier. There's still a couple that don't have food and stuff. Uh, 74, <laughs> actually, but that is fine. Uh, we just don't have enough workers now, and that is okay. That part we can fix easily. I'm pretty confident now that we're good. So we're just going to increase this. Otherwise, I'll be screwed a little bit. Um, you can even walk all the way there. So this is a fountain that you can walk through, in case you weren't didn't know that from before. Um, let's invite all our citizens. Our happiness is up to 70% again. Look at that. Uh, giveaway? Every hour, every hour around the hour, not on the hour, um, we'll have a giveaway and we're going to do exactly uh, what you saw last time on that test stream where we use the Nightbot to use a keyword to um, do a giveaway. So that'll be fun. Yes. Okay. They are dumping some sewage. Beautiful. You're actually doing things. And I am assuming that, yeah, the new people... Just don't have work, which that is the that is the easiest problem to fix. Um, what is a good number for unemployment? Asking asking the chat. Uh, just put it in the chat and let me know what you think. Because I'm going to drink a little bit of cold coffee because I can.
I also have to check that things are going good enough, which is what I'm trying to do right now. But we also have workers doing things. Uh, what is this? If the excavator is here, this should probably be high priority. Uh, concrete and asphalt are missing. Got it. How are we doing here? No drinking water, no gravel, no water. Okay, I haven't delivered gravel to that place yet. That's stupid. Um, you, get me a dumper and that... Dump Actually, no. We're going to do it like this. Because if I do a dumper from the distribu... That's the wrong one. Uh, if I do a dumper from a distribution office, it will only take uh, gravel to one place at a time, not to two. When I do an actual line, it can be a little smarter than that. Uh, we don't have power yet, so you go here, you load the gravel, wait until full loaded, um, and then bring them down here. They're both equally important, but we're not going to use them or overuse them for some time. So this should be okay. And then once we have gravel there, they should actually start working for real. The YouTube chat is behind again. Gosh, this thing is annoying. Um, no, 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 no. <laughs> I clicked a button and it's like, you want to put this user in timeout? I'm like, no! <clears throat> Been obsessed with the game for a while, but just too damn slow on realistic mode. And the game is already too complicated. It needs a manual to run uh, way faster. Well, yeah. You know, it is. But I would not recommend realistic, like... My opinions. Um, so what do we have? I have three to five percent unemployment, fourteen percent. Uh, next keyword: coconut. <sighs> Too soon. Um, Ten says Paul. Seven percent says Fixin. Uh, there's barely any place to work here. <clears throat> yeah. Um, which is good. YouTube is lacking in the chat front, indeed. So, yes, double star. Um, the only thing the difficulties do in this game is make the game a lot slower. Like, really slow. And once it's really slow, what do you do? Um, you just have to wait. There, there's no way for you to get around that. And the higher the difficulty level is, the slower the pace will be in a lot of places. So, if the pace is your main problem, the only real fix is really to... Um, not play those those difficulty levels because that's that's all they're designed to do like if you play on easy like effectively what we've been doing so far you can do everything in a click of a button if you play on realistic you can't do anything on a click of a button you have to click five buttons before you can do a thing that then sets something in motion that does the next thing that eventually does the thing that you want to do which is fun for some but not for everyone so if if it's really something if the speed is something that bothers you um, just, just tweak the settings until you're happy with them, I think, is, is what I would say. Alright, we don't need that many workers here, we just need enough. Uh, trucks, by the way, are smart enough to understand that once they're empty, they can go back and, um, refill. They're not, they're not gonna go to the next stop. What is this guy? You have zero workers. Oh, you're also smart enough. The bus is just like, well, nobody's here. And I am a... Oh, this is the construction office. Now you have four workers. Got it. Um, where's the, the vehicle that's supposed to go here? Did I not send it yet? I don't think I sent it yet. Okay, let's send it. Got it. What's happening over here? Um, you can't play with it realistic anymore. It moves too quickly for me. Indeed. Which, hey, let's argue. It's been three hours to get to this spot. Was this too quick? <laughs> we haven't done anything else, but it's been three hours. Was it too quick? Um, do you have water in range there? Yes, you do have water in range. Where are you bringing water to? Out here. Very good. That's why I wanted it. And you're actually dumping the whole thing. That's great. And then you can do that without issues. And we have that thing. There's some pollution. We have a couple pipes that are not fully running yet. I think we're doing okay. So the next thing that we can think about, three hours and still 1960 is pretty good. Yes. Only pause for about two hours and the first winter is about to be here. So we will see how screwed I am uh, with that because that's that's the first real test. Um, I don't think you need to go to the bus platform anymore. We should have enough work. We have 3% unemployed, really? That means there's too many people working. Uh, make this one five, make this one two. 
make this one their students in the schoolyard so that one is borderline we don't need booze yet we're at 71 percent happiness that should be fine sport wise two two is probably what i want to do 33 people yeah that's pretty good uh doctor definitely don't need that many but we do have to make sure that we get our next group can i really not say three no i can't i pressed f2 um we need to make sure that we don't run out of doctors. That is the big one. But yeah, we cannot. I'm not going to take firefighters away. That is a stupid thing to move. Um, here looks like we have more than enough workers. Um, but yeah, we don't have unemployment, which means everyone gets picked up to do something. Uh, this one, obviously, we don't have a lot of mixed ways sitting. What the heck? Look at that thing. <laughs> My three-year-old just started saying that, so I'm going to say that a lot. Um, mm -hmm. Game here is hot. In the game, there's hotkeys. You uh, put up, must like uh, killing to double speed or on screen, then numpad control and press one or two to speed up. Yes, don't use those. Once you have once you have workers, once you have citizens, don't use those buttons. It it breaks the simulation on so many levels and will just not let you do the thing that you want to do. So uh, be aware of that. Okay, you're still missing gravel. That's fine. You are slowly filling up gravel here. That's also fine. We have workers now. We have no unemployment. That is a little scary. 2% is actually a little low. We need a little more than that uh, before I even feel confident going into our next stage. Um, oh, cheat mode. You still see government loyalty, by the way, if you didn't know that. Um, criminality, already 1%. Are you kidding me? Did you just come in as criminals? I don't want to build crime setups yet, but let's get one more group of employee uh, of, of citizens. And this building is completely empty, and we can expand a little bit in just a minute. Um, yeah, there will be a wave of new people that need to go somewhere pretty soon, but not yet. I would like there to be a main road here because I don't need anyone to stop. When you see vehicles stopping, you just have to start doing that. Um, trash. How much are you transporting? Well, that's hazardous waste. That's different, but it also reminds me that... Are you in range of hazardous? Yes, you are. I would like you to have a couple hazardous spots uh, for, for this guy, because I think it is capable of separating that out. Let's see. Are you, are you actually filling it? Not yet. Okay. What are you doing? Uh, you're doing mostly mixed ways, compostable, burnable... Nothing too interesting there, so that's fine. Um, yeah, I think we're good. I think we are doing what we need to do. There's coal. So all we need now is for these guys to actually finish these hulls. And once they're done with that, we can go into more construction, uh, which is exciting. Let's see. What vehicles can we provide that would speed up things a little bit? Um, it looks like everything but the dump trucks are currently out. This thing has been worked on, and you just have workers. There's no mechanism space to even do anything with. So that's okay. We just need another bus, potentially. Um, the voltage switch times five. Those things are all okay. I think I'm going to do this. Give me two more excavate. No. <sighs> no save. This is the last save before we turn on realistic mode, because right now... There's no way back. Uh, realistic mode. <sighs> Boop! <laughs> Is it cheating if you export oil that's next to the border via for, uh, foreign pipeline? That's a sandbox mode. <clears throat> How do you cheat yourself in a sandbox? How? Um, as long as you're having fun, it's totally fine. No worries. What are you doing? You are still kind of full, which means I did not give you the command to wait until unload it. I don't want you to... Um, just drive around unless I tell you to, and there's nothing that I can see that you need. That's okay. Here's our fuel tanker, how we're doing on fuel. Um, I would love it if you tell me if you were at 10% full, not at empty, but, uh, this is the best that we have when there's still 600 tons. So that's pretty good. Bitumen. I don't think I have anything delivering bitumen anywhere yet. No, this guy's supposed to. You're loading bitumen from here and you're unloading stuff there that's nice let's make this a little fuller uh because they, they don't have to sit here idle and not do anything um gravel okay gravel still goes through there coal is actually at least empty that's good uh but not empty enough let's get a couple more vehicles what do we want so that you can see the mechanics i think what i want is ooh, two more excavators 
another mixer and uh, maybe two more small cars let's start with that it's pretty easy actually because this setup actually works um pretty basic for this is interesting that is very interesting i've never seen this many workers here but just pulling them with a small car seems to overload them garbage containers overfilled health risk I don't really care about these guys. <laughs> they, they just want to hang out here and not do anything. That's fine. Um, so here's what we're going to do. We're going to purchase some... I don't have any repair set up. <laughs> Otherwise, I could use some of these. Uh, but no, we're not going to do that. Uh, what I said is I want two excavators. I also want um, a couple more personal vehicles and some mixers. So let's find those. Uh, these are fine. And then a concrete mixer. Is a concrete mixer or just a mixer? I never know. Refrigerator, open hall, concrete mixer. Cool. Uh, two more of these. And the thing that makes it really easy is just click this button now and tell it to go here. There's, there's a car. There's a car. Yeah, you guessed it. There's a car. There's a car. There's another car. There's another car. And that's it. Um, that was my 45-minute, uh, the path thing. Finally, after four hours, we have realistic mode on. Indeed. Indeed, we do. It's because you have only one custom house. Um, not following that one. What do you mean by that? Also, these guys can start moving. Uh, okay, so there's our ship with our extra equipment. That should be good. And then uh, we should be able to turn on more things. What do we want? There's a car. <laughs> uh, what should we do for first industry? We need an export. We need it soon. We have two and a half million left. That will probably last us as we are right now for a couple of years. Several years, for sure, if we don't build anything. 12% uh, unemployment. That looks much, much better. You have some gravel. You still don't have gravel here. Makes me a little nervous and makes me think I need another dumper. Okay. If you need another dumper, should you just put it on this ship real quick? Yes. Yes, you should. Uh, come back. Come back, ship. Um, give me... And honestly... Give me a couple of these <laughs> to make this a little... Uh, less painful um, to come back later. I mean, there's like 30, 30 or so vehicles that I can fit on the ship um, with no problems, so I may as well make use of that. Okay, what do we do here? You are my uh, construction truck. That's good. You guys are doing okay. And what do you need? You need asphalt and concrete mostly, which we don't have. We don't have yet because, well, we have concrete, but we don't have asphalt. All right, here's something we can do. Uh, the truck that is currently trying to deliver to these guys, how about instead of dropping everything everywhere, uh, you just do, stop it. Do 50% here. Sorry, I meant to do this one, but then I moved. I hate when UI moves. Oh, there's a fire. Um, and then you're fine. Fire, where are you? Yep, it's in this spot. Is it gonna, are we gonna get it done? No fire trucks coming to deal with fire. Okay, why is that? Is this one? This is a sign, but we don't have any workers here. Okay. Oh, okay. So... F for store. <laughs> okay. Don't have any workers here. There's no way I can get enough workers in before this thing is burnt down. Um, no way. This is our only source of material right now. And the... Where are, where are my helicopters? These guys. Yes. Where are you? You and you. How close are you? Because you're right next to each other. You're actually really close. I think we may be lucky. They're, they're both back-to-back, -back, which is not a good thing. Um, and I'm going to add a little bit of distance between them, but there we go. 
Um, is it this one? No, no. 25%, yeah. 44 people, that's good. I would like... One of these helicopters has to park. Actually, can you go over here just until I see the other helicopter being full? Ah, uh, no, 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 no. No, 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 no. Is this not enough workers? Do I not have enough to deal with the fire in the big building? Oh, don't say that. How many how many firefighters are on on duty? 44. And you telling me that's not enough? Oh! <laughs> I, <laughs> oh, that was two vehicles on the way there. Okay, we got very lucky. Very lucky. But let's time this a little better. So this guy is currently waiting right here. And once this helicopter picks up any workers, I want to send it. So we have a more consistent um, source of workers everywhere. That could have been pretty cool. <laughs> right away. It's, it's one of the most important buildings right at the beginning. And it's full. Okay. Uh, you, you can start now. And then everyone's happy. It's one of the most important buildings, clearly. And I almost screwed it up. So I'm glad I didn't. The other thing that we want is the little car that's been currently driving here. You are no longer needed um, to do this because it's completely useless. 11% unemployment. Oh, I never answered the question, right? Um, I believe the best unemployment is somewhere around uh, 10%. Once you're, once you're too high above that, you're feeding too many mouths that don't do anything. Once you're too far below that, you're starting to run into empty transports that shouldn't be empty. So, um, yeah, it's, I, I think somewhere in between is just a, it's a good spot. Cannot store export asphalt or concrete. Perfect. So they are happy. Yes, first industry, certainly um, grain-based is not a bad one. Um, there's the question of, should we import fabric? Or should we... Um, well, shy away from that. We don't have fabric right now. I haven't imported it yet. I wasn't I wasn't sure if I should be planning on that. What do we have? We have room for crops, for sure. There's a lot of space up here, which I have no other plans for besides crops. It takes a long, long time to build um, a farm... And it builds a longer time to build any storage for grain. That's a problem because we don't have storage and we probably need two. What we can do, however, is, um, well, we could, we could reduce food dependency. That's not a bad one. It's not a bad one at all. I'm going to try to resume trying to save my own republic from an impeding financial disaster. I'll be listening. Excellent, Emily. Excellent. That's how we should do this. It's one o'clock. Oh my goodness. It's on the hour. Okay. Let's find something. Well, we're not going to really see much, uh, but we will have another giveaway because we said we would. Hey, guy, where are you going? You're saving someone? I'm so proud of you. Um, but yes, let's have another giveaway uh, while they're doing their thing. And uh, then afterwards, we can plan a first industry. And honestly, I'm a little surprised that we're this far because I did not expect uh, industries to be a concern today right away. But here we are. What should we, um, what did we say? Earlier we said something. Let's just do fire. I think fire is a good keyword. Uh, so, love the smell of burning electronics in the morning. Uh, well, the, the, key word, the key word always changes. Right now it's fire. Um, I'll just put that in the chat so you can find it. Uh, <laughs> the password? <laughs> no, no password. Uh, but yeah, I'll give you I'll give you all a couple minutes um, to do this. We're gonna put this window up here. There we go. Nope, still not doing it right. I'm gonna get it. There we go. Nice and small so that you can see that something is happening. Um, but yes, we need an industry. So are we gonna do an industry where we produce our own grain that we can offset some of the more expensive imports, or should we do something else? We have a road that already leads to this spot. Okay, let's go look. We had citizens now for a little while. I'm going to pause because you never know uh, how long it takes me to do math wrong and then correct that math and then go back from there later. Last month, what did we consume? Domestic production consumption. That's a better one than the than the import-export because the import-export is skewed, especially if you have ships, uh, ships running around. 
Consumption of resources, citizen facilities. You need it. Some water, okay? Some clothes, a ton. Um, let's call it 10 tons of food. Uh huh. And then a lot of electronics, ouch. Some meat, some power. We should also build a university soon. Um, but there you go. We need, we need a lot of this stuff. Okay, okay. Why are we all saying fire? <laughs> um, I had to, sorry. Um, so yeah, we need about 10 tons of food a month, which is... <laughs> How fun be well, Joe. Looks like it's snowing in my room now. <laughs> it's annoying. Um, okay, so... I'm sitting in this little box, and if you run an RTX 4090, it gets really hot. <laughs> so, um, there we go. Well, we have, I think, 10 tons of food. What do we need for 10 tons of food to be able to produce that? And then clothes can be the next one, but 10 tons of food... If we replace that, what does it really mean? Food factory got a new face. Cool. 20 tons of food per day for 42 tons of crops. So for 10 tons of food, all we need is 20 tons of crops. Can we produce 20 tons of crops? Sorry, we need 120 tons of crops because it's a full year. So we need 240 tons of... 120 tons of food... 240 tons of crops. That's one large field without fertilizer. Okay. Um, speaking of fertilizer, I think at this point, if we're already considering that, we can turn this one into a liquid fertilizer because it's easy. Tell our ship over here to uh, go out there, get liquid fertilizer. You can make it a little fuller and then just go and rename this one to Furt. Because we have oil now, and I'm not planning on being oil dependent. Uh, Furt. Very good. Uh, and we can check that by making sure that this is not emptying. <clears throat> it's actually filling, which is exactly what we want. We also want to do something with this. And chemicals are not a bad thing to export right in the beginning. So, um, well, they are, but they aren't, because we need a lot of them, actually. How much, you ask? Oh, that's easy. Let's look at our economy for last month and do production overall. Why is there no chemicals in here? S construction? No. Oh, that was uh, consumption. We are consuming a little bit of chemicals. <laughs> Not a lot. A little bit. Okay. Water is really the big one. And I'm actually surprised to see that our um, industry facilities are consuming this much water. Because that's telling me we probably want to do um, a little bit, a little bit of something. That also reminds me, we wanted to do a gravel industry. We have all these gravel patches out here that we can totally use to replace the gravel imports via ship. That wouldn't be bad. That wouldn't be bad at all because that means we could free up that ship to do um, a lot of stuff. But food. Food costs money. Gravel doesn't cost that much money. They both cost money, uh, but don't know. Okay, fire. Fire it is. I honestly completely forgot about it. But fire it is. Let's go back to that. Um, I hope everyone that wanted to has an entry. I see a couple blue dots. That's perfect. And the fewer there are, the better for everyone. But here we go. Sorry, I forgot about that. I, I feel terrible. Um, whoop. Fixing 77. Um, well, you know the drill. Please come on and um, message me within five minutes-ish to, to let me know um, stuff. And uh, I can send you a key, because that's what we do here. There will be at least one more giveaway today and then tomorrow. And then Friday. Assuming my voice works and all that stuff. Uh, Discord is the easiest, but if you have any other ones, that is fine too. Thanks, thanks for playing, as they say. <laughs> uh, but yeah, please just uh, contact me so I can give you the key. That'd be great. All right. Where are we? We are here. We are building industry. We are making food. Okay, let's let it run because there's still power that they have to sort out over here. How many fields can we fit here? That's the first thing I want to start with. We don't need a lot, to be fair, 
but the more the better and look at look at the size of something that we can put in here love it um we're just gonna start there one two three four uh squeeze five how much is it 4.3 hector versus 4.8 oh yeah that counts that counts as a full field we're, we're not gonna fight that so that's five that's perfect that is a lot. You remember the ratios that I did in any of my uh, farm tests? Because I don't. Uh, one, two, three. Can we all count? Probably not. Four, five. These two are a little short. 3.73 hectare. Um, okay, that, that should be fine, I think. They, they should still be functional. Um, the a problem that we may have with this much crop if we don't consume it right away and this is a big if we don't um is probably moving it but i think we'll be okay one two three four let's just add a couple more and then we can add something useful one two um three because i think the farm is going to be on the south side and then we're going to actually connect industries to it because that would make sense one two three four Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen. 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. Uh, there's no reason to not do 18. Um, so let's do that. And the rest we can figure out next. Um, let's get a quick road connection. Gravel at the minimum. One goes through here. One can go through here. It's a lot of gravel we have to spend. But that is fine. They're really easy. Gravel roads are easy to build. So it should be okay to do this. Um, that looks fine, that looks fine. This one can connect up in there. And then down here, I think we're just going to do a quick crossing. Okay, so that's six excavators that we need, plus everything else that goes with that. Uh, what do we have for the large farm? We have, how many spots? 30. So six excavators, and I think the ratio is three to one. Three excavators, two trucks, one tractor. So six Okay. <clears throat> that didn't sound right. <laughs> what what is the three two one? <laughs> um do, 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 do. to have fields you should have trains. Well, I'm not I'm not planning on moving the crops very far. Excavator in a farm. That's that's smart. Um I think most of them still have those. Let's see. Three two one, three two one. So one excavator can do three fields, but Hey, there he is. Um, except. Here you go. Thank you, Fixin. Got you. Um, all right, that's fine. Yes, so th I think I think one harvester would like um, two trucks. No, three tractors, one truck, one harvest, two, three, three tractors. Sorry. Yeah. One. I can't remember. Can someone? Three trucks, two tractor, one harvester. Thank you, Tommy. That's I, that's what I was thinking, but I wasn't putting it in the right words, so I needed that. Um, let's assume that that's what it is, because I don't see a reason why it wouldn't be. Um, we need three, two, one. So I want this to be. Honestly, this one doesn't matter. It can just be close to this thing. That should be fine. And then we need a silo. Gosh, these things are stupid expensive. Uh, but we need to store this stuff. Th uh, 32, 56 on our tons. Let's, let's figure out how much we can actually produce here. Um, 18 times, let's just say 300 because everything else is too complicated for me. So 18 uh, times 300, 5,400 tons if we're lucky in a year. Um, add on top of that for... Um, for better yields up to 150%. So times another 50% on top of that, which is 2,700, gives us 6,100 and then a, yeah, almost 8,000. So this is the right grain storage. The problem on this thing is it costs 758 tons of concrete. Ow. <laughs> Put treks into road offices, yes. Um, so... Do I want to build that one? What, what what options do we have? 750 tons of that. Um, 
eight of these would not store that much. So yeah, this is the right storage. We could add this, it costs a little more steel, um, just in case we want to do any rail connection at some point, but I really don't know. So uh, they have one-way connections, which I'm not super fond of. Let's see, you can at least come out that way. All right, could also do it on this side. Yeah, I like this one better. Okay, so if you come out on this side, give us some room, actually flip you, because I want most of the factory connections to be on the other side. And, oh, this is annoying. The road connections are on that side, um, and the other connections are on the other side. Can I, in the 30 spots, fit enough trucks? It is three trucks, <coughs> so I would need 18 trucks, um, 12 tractors, and no, the answer is no, I can't. Uh, but I can, once I have distribution offices unlocked, I could make this happen. So it's just a, it's a problem from on that side. Um, I am, I am not 100% sure how I want to do this because again, I would like the extra factory connections on the other side. But then again, I probably only need one of each, a factory connection for um, food and one for clothing. So it really doesn't matter what I'm doing. I uh, just put it in here. Pull it out a little bit, that's fine. And now we can store 8,000 tons of, uh, of, of grain, okay? All right, uh, concrete is such a bottleneck, I love it. Yes, indeed. It it does make things like this worth it. This guy's bringing, no, you're not. Where am I, where am I? Oh, I haven't sent you out yet. Oopsies. Go to your next stop because I would like you to unload stuff. Um, How's it going over here? You're fine. How is construction going? Well, I didn't really let them continue much, so nothing is going. So yeah, if we assume that we do this, then let's 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 build out the whole the whole chain. One, we need food. Food needs a lot of water. That's important, but we can figure that out later. Uh, food needs to just go somewhere, and you can consume seventy t what forty two tons of crops a day. We're not going to get close to this. Not even not even a little bit. So if we need to at some point uh, produce more crops, they just have to go to this guy. Um, there is something to be said to import crops via ship. There was a comment about that just a couple minutes ago. I didn't ignore it, but it didn't fit yet. Um, and this is not a bad place to do um, shipping things. I'm not going to have a train for a very long time because I don't think I have any vehicle that can transport. Well, no. I think some trains can be transported. Let's let's triple check something. Um, not this one. I don't have an open hole that I can look at right now, um, which means I don't think I can see. Yeah, I can only see these when I actually click on them. Um, it doesn't tell me what can transport them before then. All right, we'll just leave that alone. I think I can import trains. I think I can import some trains via the vehicles that I have. So there's that. But I can't. Well, I can import the small rail builder i cannot import the big one okay shut up let's move on <laughs> uh just tuned in do you think you could do a tour if you haven't done it for a while sure lol brother um we are on the uh, map that i adjusted just a little bit it's called uh, um just command map in the chat will tell you what it is and there's a link to it but um these are resources we have a little bit of bauxite we have a little bit of this is this broken. Can I not undo this anymore? What What the? Whoa. All right. Apparently, this is just stuck now, and I cannot select the other resources. Uh, just trust me. There's a little bit of oil here. <laughs> I don't know what's going on. Um, it's probably going to crash soon, too. But there's a little bit of oil on the map, and we have a little customs house right over here. And this little customs house is just there to allow us to get vehicles. That's the only reason this exists. Um... Then uh, over here, we built a little abandoned military base that we are using to ship things into our island. This was all built without realistic mode just to get stuff done. Um, if you ask myself, I think this is a pretty nicely designed uh, space, including uh, every military base needs a double fence. Otherwise, you can't get in and we have some normal fencing and some uh, fancy fencing. And then, of course, some monuments to let you in. But we get all our resources for here. We already avoided uh, one big fire at this warehouse. Hopefully, we're good on that. Um, then we have our little starting utilities, which is an oil, a gas-powered power plant, oil-powered, 
Um, there are some oil rigs right here. They got us oil we have an incinerator um, that looks like hasn't done much or anything off wharf. There's almost a little bit of mixed waste there, um, but that's it there. A little bit was burnt. Perfect. And then we have our heating tank or heating plant right here. And I'm actually going to increase the number of workers there because we're close to winter. Then we have built a relatively small town. We are at 15% unemployment, which is fine. Uh, this is just there to keep us moving for the time being so we can actually start expanding, building industry, building more cities, etc., etc. Um, and yeah, it's pretty good for now. The thing that we're currently working on is get a couple things built over here uh, which are taking a very long time as usual but at least there's some workers in that spot we have a construction office right here um yeah if we just set some high priority to some of these buildings maybe they get done but we have issues unloading our stuff at a decent pace so um, we are getting some power into this area and once that is running once we have power we will um go on to new endeavors whenever that happens also there's a giveaway um every hour ish so if you want to stick around for that please do so it is keys for uh, workers and resources okay so this one is set up i think we're okay there and i was talking about adding something that would allow us to ship in grain because it's the only way that we can get outside grain in let's see how that would work we could potentially use a medium harbor max ship length 156 Okay, what ships do we have available that would fit that, can't buy anything there, uh, that would fit that criteria? Cargo ships. Container? No. I actually considered just bringing in containers, but that would require a lot of extra logistics that I didn't want to deal with, so no. Um, not this one. Hopper? Definitely not that. Not an ore carrier. Cargo ship. Okay. 136 tons of crops? That's not even worth considering. Um, the LOS, no, this one, 2,000 tons of crops, that is close, and we have this one, um, almost 3,000 tons of crops if they want to come in, okay, how long would it take for our current covered halts to empty that whole ship, it would be, well, 300 trips, is that a lot, yeah, well, depends when the second ship comes in, right? And I don't know when that is. But two trucks can probably do it. 150 trips? 100 trips is not bad. However, 100 trips with fuel are not cheap. Speaking of fuel, I probably have to check this more often. But that looks fine for now. Okay. So, I'm going to let this run for a little bit. Because we actually need some stuff done. So, and I didn't look at the stuff that I actually wanted to look at. So, uh, stop distracting me. Uh, you are... The wrong one. This one. You are 140 meters long, so this one would certainly fit into the grain storage, and I don't even know if the game has bigger ones than that, but 3,000 tons uh, that can fit into this harbor is probably pretty good. So, small cargo harbor, 156 meters, yes, we can fit that thing in there. Look how tiny this is. So this could work. If we pretend, I'm surprised that we actually have an excavator available for this. If we pretend that it let me build it, uh, that we put this here, just storage-wise. Um, it could, we could move our whole operation for the, um, for the farm over here, that everything kind of works there. So we're going to remove one field. Honestly, it probably would be smart to remove, stop it, uh, to remove three fields, because that removes one full track, uh, one full uh, harvester, which removes a lot of vehicles. And that's not a bad thing, because right now we don't have more space than that. And we don't have a distribution office, so we're not going to use much of the farm land for a while. And once we can, we can expand the farm to another spot. So, there's an option. Um, if we do this, then we could add a grain storage. And this one's a little bigger, but only costs like 200 more tons of concrete. Other than that, gosh, look at the steel. 200 tons of steel versus 250. But I would like to have a bigger storage. And then once we do this, it would be foolish not to at least try to get it in with a... Um, with a... This is called a rail connection. Thank you. Um, so we'll see. What can we do here? Can I... 
do a little bit of flattening. I didn't know we had a bulldozer. <laughs> I really, I really didn't. Must have bought one at some point when I wasn't looking. Um, okay, so we are at a little cliff here, but that's fine. All we need to do is just have it flat enough that we can actually get the factory connections from the harbor to the silo, which I think we're pretty close. Or still really far away. Hard to say. Come on, you can do it. Would like to not to go to cheating uh, landscape mode if we can avoid it. But that that looks that looks like we're closer. Um, let's look at our silos again, like this one. Yes, you would like to connect now. That's that's a good sign. Um, we actually would want to. Well, no, we don't turn you around like that. F three, no. F two, yes. Um, factory, no. Grain storage, yes. T for flipping. R R for rotating. And this is what I wanted to see. I wanted the... Almost. I wanted the road connections on the south side. Too steep of a descent. Okay, you can go in there. Fine, that's that's okay. Well, we'll survive that. Um, let's pretend that this is the thing that we want to do. Okay, then we still need a farm. The farm has to be connected to this thing somewhere. Uh, and somewhere could be here. It's not ideal. Let's flip it and reverse it. And have you come out that way. Okay. Still not perfect. But certainly doable. Okay. So now with ships. If we have excess grain. Which we probably won't. Uh, we can bring. We can take that grain somewhere. If we don't have excess grain. Um, we can actually import grain here. And that will be an option for all of that. That's, that's a good thing. Um, this is a little off centered. Because there's more uh, farmland over here. But. Um, this would reduce driving. Uh, well, the road can go over here because I still need to put some factories out there. So we'll see how that goes. Um, this would be something like this from a road perspective, I think. Um, you can connect there. That's fine. And yeah, this thing is just going to take forever to build, but it is what it is. Can't really change it. And it would be nice to have a distribution of a somewhere close by that can drive everything to there. So this is okay. This would connect us to the outside world with a harbor. And this harbor is a cargo harbor that we can do other things with. There's one more factory connection. The question is, should we use this? And the answer to that is, I mean, technically, it would be stupid not to. Practically, how easy is that to implement at this point? Um, not very easy, I'm pretty sure about that. But let's see what we can do. If we... Lower more stuff around this and get at least a... Hmm, what will we even produce? I don't know what we will produce. Oh, food. Of course. We could produce another a warehouse worth of something. What, what will we produce in there? I have no idea. But some warehouse size of food would not be a bad thing to have here. So we could put one of these guys here. Um, RR to rotate that road out of there. Um, I think I'm getting into a uh, this is going to be hard to build kind of stage. Uh, but it's okay. That's okay because as long as we get that one in there and as long as we get this one out here, life is okay. Uh, we could build a cargo train station in here. Yes, we, we totally could. But realistically, we can probably move enough food to wherever the cargo train station needs to be uh, from this stage. Um, also, if I can actually get you out here... Um, the rare connection can't be there. Okay. Huh. Why am I pausing? Because it will be great if I can connect the industries that we're going to have, which in this case would be fabric and food to feed straight into this warehouse. It's not necessary. It's not necessary at all. Um... So I could flip the harbor. Yeah, no, it's not necessary at all. Let's see how this how this comes out when we're done. Um, industry, 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 right here. Food? Food's here. Okay. Um, food factory. Yes. We can plop one here, and it'll be relatively happy, and we'll do the thing that it needs to do. Cool. This is just for food. We could do... 
<laughs> you could also move the food around. Wherever it comes from, doesn't really matter. We could move it here, just hypothetically, because the next one that I'm going to build is going to need this connection more. Um, and it may be beneficial to have actually the bigger warehouse. Let's see what happens here. And we don't, this, this one is not needed at all. So go away. Okay. Uh, the next one will be clothing and we would start with, what is it? Two to one, right? Two fabric factories produce one clothing fact or have enough for one clothing factory. No, one to two. Oh, that's even better because that would mean <clears throat> this one would pull in crops from there and um grain from here that's great and then some water and all that stuff nobody cares uh, but this fact fabric factory right there would be able to supply all the clothing that is needed for two clothing factories on this side of the of the edge let's see if you go here and you go here then we have a pretty decent warehouse setup um that would allow everything that we care about now the problem is what is a size of a good ship because i think i need the bigger warehouse uh, but we can get to that so the warehouse the ship that i'm considering was the loss no was the uh Volgodon. and you can carry 2,000 tons of food or um 2,000 tons of calls 1800 both both about the same okay well the warehouse that I put there cannot handle that. So it would be nice if uh, when the warehouse comes back, sorry. It would be nice when the ship comes back, not the warehouse, that it could actually load up right away if we have enough production. Which it should take a couple months mm -hmm. to come back, so... We should be able to get close. We're not going to get it full. I don't, I don't think that's realistic, but we can get pretty close. So we may as well try. So what other warehouse do we have? Currently, I have this one, I think, 560. The biggest one we have can get us up to 800 tons. Even that is still small. Okay, but even, like, that is still small, but it's still better than what it's doing right now. So we should do the biggest one and try to not catch it on fire. And everything should be great. So you still have to connect to um, actually not that uh, factory connection at all. Let's see if this is still going to fit because it's it's not doing quite what I wanted. Too steep of a descent. Of course, can you snake around here? Yes. Yes, you can. Oh, come on. You had it. <laughs> then you didn't want it. Um, okay, we may just get you a little closer and then try that again. Hope all of this makes sense. I, I don't think any of this is complicated. It's just, I got to do it. So if we do that, and then we know that you don't belong here. Well, you belong here, but you're not needed here. Then get this factory connection back to sharp of a turn. That is pretty easy to fix by just moving that one up a little bit. Um, did anyone say b Joe likes to uh, produce way too complicated and over uh, producing um factory layouts uh that person would be right i think we're actually gonna move it this way okay don't like that just how it looked this is better um because now we can use this one uh and all the others that can all po point the same direction to produce our clothes uh so one goes here and then just for fun i'm gonna flip this one around and one can go here uh, I would l prefer if we don't use the last spot <clears throat> just because there could be another thing that we want to put there. But that technically works for everything that we need. And we're just getting crops in here. And I think all fabric needs is crops and chemicals and water. So that's perfect. Um, <clears throat> yeah, how I'm planning for, you know, 10,000 people and we're here. <laughs> yes. That's perfect, right? That's exactly why we're here. So yeah, that works. We have now food. We have this. We have another thing where we can do something with crops. We can even just have a cargo station connected to that thing. Um, I like it. Is this going to work? Who knows? And uh, we could even connect this thing to the existing um, connections there. All right. How many workers do we need for this? Asking stupid questions, buddy. 
Uh, we need 100, 260, and then food wants uh, another 170. <laughs> Uh, 260, 330, 430. So that is four big buses. So eight, eight big buses. Could work. Okay. Um, do I really need the, the rare connection in here? Honestly, having it makes me feel better. I don't think we're ever going to do anything with it. Um, but let's at least plan it. F4 for the snappage right there we're gonna press this button so it's it's actually there as a reminder and we'll see what happens uh yeah food cool and then food also has to be fed into something obviously ha 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 um and we're gonna do doesn't need a huge warehouse but 350 tons 200 tons 350 is probably fine and if we want to if we have to we can just move it to uh the next stage um right here looks fine and then we can just see if this road cargo connection does the thing that I want it to do, which I think it might. <clears throat> Ooh. Ooh. Didn't realize this because we can probably cannibalize this to do our uh, chemical delivery and don't have to like take anything in there. I like it. Uh, move ferry workers at most right now. Inspect the optimism. I respect the optimism so much. <laughs> yes. Um... Indeed. No, for sure. Uh, once the city is big, it's 7,500 people, and then we're barely going to be probably big enough to make this thing work. But this wouldn't be a B-Ball Joe stream if it's not Grüßenwahnsinnig. So, uh, cool. Um, honestly, if you could go back all the way here, you also go back, and then we're just going to run along this um field i think we'll feel better <clears throat> okay no what was that okay okay and good enough all right and there's more room for fields here once we have room and distribution offices and i can put more more of everything here uh, so we're in a pretty good spot so it's gonna be very expensive to build yep uh but i think we're okay we have no fact we have we have industries that could do something. Um, <clears throat> sorry, that's just that. Ah. How could you get a train? Uh, you would just have to go through the custom cells that we have um, to connect to anything there. Is our ship still not here? No, a ship was here. I just have to move stuff around. Okay, um, I think one of these at least belongs here. Um, this one and this one should belong here and here. Then there should be a mixer, two mixers actually. Cool. Uh, I I don't remember what the other ones are for, so if you can remember, uh, remind me, that'd be great. Uh, but I don't fully remember. Also, I don't think I have a closed hull in this one, so you are my friend. Go there. We're trying to build power lines, and I don't have closed hulls anywhere. That's that's smart. But okay, this one is done. We have industries now. Great. This is not going to get built this year, potentially even next year, because we need more workers, we need more space. This is already a third full. That's a little scary, but okay. Um, happiness is still tanking. No alcohol. Okay, starving. Just one person. Shouldn't really be a thing. Crime is taking hold. Uh, uh, praying is taken. Well, praying is always a thing. Okay, it should be it should be okay. Low government loyalty, yeah, we can make that better. Uh, what's this electricity problem for? Just a, a thing over here. Okay, you are still getting ten tons of coal, so that should be fine. Are you guys full of gravel now? Yes, you are. I think that is just an indicator that we're not building enough. Oh, I think one of the cars that is sitting here was for the um. For the free distribution office right here. What do you need? <clears throat> Electronic components is the next thing. And yeah, the, the 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 one vehicle that we just send in. If it had room. Yes, it did. It's actually doing some rounds right now. Okay. Let's catch up with the chat. Um, are there heating pipes? Yes, there are. I'm just trying to build a little farming village. I hope I can pull it off. Yes, you gotta start with a little farming village almost everywhere, right? Uh, dynamic follow. 
let's run you a little faster because our frame rate is still close enough to what we need it to be to get a couple things done. That was good. You got something, do 4% of that, and you get that somewhere, and we can probably actually get a couple things done. That'll be exciting. What's our happiness? 69%. Stop running super fast. Whew. All right. Um, yeah, this is now the part where I hope that I have enough money to make this work. Another thing that I probably need to do is plan our next construction. <clears throat> First five-year plan has been planned. <laughs> Yeah, well, we're not stopping here. This is not where the where the beat drops. Um, but yes, we need a construction office zone. I like this spot. I like this spot. I like that I already started here. Um, so let's do something. Because the, these will be our next things that we have to get done. Um, okay. And then this one is just to pick up. No, it's not to pick up gravel yet. Okay. Build a thing that you can pick up gravel with. Got it. Aggregate loading, truck aggregate loading right here. It already has some power. Make the pillars go far enough apart. That looks good. Then you, this is just for uh, fire protection access. So that's good. And then you go in here. Very nice. And then we really just need one construction office in this spot that supplies everything that we need. Should I plan some um, some rail? No, that's, that's too optimistic, buddy. Okay, just one construction office here. Um, that is going to be dumpers and cement mixers, like eight dumpers and four cement mixers, and that's it. That feels good. All right, then another construction office probably here that's going to be covered and um, closed hulls. Let's see if we can actually fit this in here relatively nicely. I, out of the power range. This one? Thank you. <laughs> Glad I looked. Uh, as in, I looked at the chat. You looked. You told me. <clears throat> there you go. Wonderful. So, yeah, that, that's taken care of. Thank you for that. Um, we have this one here. I just need at least two, maybe three of the open storage. Just the big one is 12 tons of steel, the small one is 10 tons of steel. Everything else is effectively the same, so we're just going to go with the big one because that's that's the one that matters. Um, let's do four of these. <clears throat> one, flip you around. Two. Three. Honestly, steel and boards. Well. This works. I was going to say steel and boards probably don't need to be. What is beeping? Something was beeping. I don't know if that's part of the song or what's going on, but something is beeping. I'm not a fan. Um, let's say this one and this one. Yeah, there's too much of this probably, but we'll be okay. And that one. Cool. So they can figure out where they need to go and what they need to do. I think that is fine. Uh, this is okay construction-wise. Yes, these have to go for here. We do need a warehouse, and it wouldn't be bad to have a way to actually drop off to all of these. Um, the problem is, it's not completely impossible to fit that in here, because that thing fits in there, okay? Um, even if we have to turn it around, T to turn it around, because we will have to import the stuff. What the... Uh, we're just, we're just off by a little bit. Hmm. i do that. I could do this. Okay. Easy enough. Now, all I have to do is move these two in the middle, a little forward, and once they fit, they fit, and then life is good. Let's see. Hi, Snow. Always nice to see you. I'm kidding. Um, we had some nice snow for Christmas, so that, that was exciting because I got to use my snowblower. It wasn't completely necessary, but it was very wet snow, so I wasn't sad that I got to use it. So, now we have something to drop off here and something to pick up on the other side. That's pretty good. We still need a warehouse. This one really just needs a tiny one, so let's see. Um, I don't think we have a tiny warehouse. Oh, no, we, we, we do. We do. That's good. We don't have an extra spot there, um, but this warehouse is literally just 
just for looks. And if you want, you can totally just be in here because all it needs is a little bit of electronics and a little bit of um, the other stuff. They want you out here or they want you out here? Ideally, you share the same node with the construction office. Okay. Flip it. Reverse it. There you go. Is that good enough? I don't see a real problem with this because they're not going to pick up a lot from there. It's just going to be every once in a while. <clears throat> uh, it's an oil plant. Yes, you're right. Thank you. Okay. So there's snow. There's 69% happiness. 835 people. You are... Don't have workers. That's fine. And you're currently not working on anything. Interesting, but he got a lot of stuff done. That's great. Let's do half of you as high priority. Um, I have a problem because it looks like none of these are going anywhere. Okay. Um, what are you doing? You have vehicles going everywhere. Interesting. Where are you currently? Maybe four workers is just not enough anymore to do the thing that I want you to do. Uh, you are bringing city things. That's nice. Uh, that was a thing I actually considered and I then completely forgot about. Put a warehouse closer to the city uh, because it does take a long time for this guy to go through here if we don't have enough snowplows. So there's a problem. How's it going over here? 24 to 25 people. Nice and warm. You are at 45% capacity. Beautiful. Everyone here is relatively fine. And we have 22 people now without work because in the winter, everything slows down and uh, you just can't do much. So once we have these construction crew things done and we can st get started on all of this uh, general gravel construction, I don't need that pipe yet. Um, we should have something that we can do relatively soon. Okay. University is the next thing. But we have to get past uh, past winter. And here's the thing that I'm going to do. I think stream four is our next word. Yes, stream four. Uh, because I would like to sprint through this uh, without losing too many citizens. Uh, we may have to reload this, but I, I don't want to sit through the winter right now. And I'm not going to turn the winter off. Uh, six day percent happiness. Could be better. Could be worse. Are you trying to get coal? Are you out of coal? No, just didn't work. It doesn't work on, on super speed. Uh, that's not surprising, so I shouldn't do that. Otherwise, we're completely going to run out of coal, which would be pretty bad. Uh, you are just half full, but that's okay. Yeah, no, I don't want to sit through for, for winter, but we have to have something to do. Didn't melt mechanics garage so your vehicles rot. Yes, um, true. That's one of the things, but I you usually don't need it for five years. You have a couple years um, of time before you have to worry about that stuff something i should do right now though because look at all the snow is get myself a few free technical services and um move those over here let's get five snow plows you yes you yes snow plow good one two three four five six um, move you all in here slowly but surely and once you're there i can deploy you on all of these paths um, because the, we, we can't afford having these paths all unplowed. So let's get a couple free technical services. Uh, one here. This dirt road is fine. And then, <clears throat> looks like one, one near there. This is our main road that we have to handle. And this one, honestly, may be enough. It may be enough to handle what we need to handle. So let's just get our ship operational. Are you full of snowplows? You are full of snowplows. Cool. Uh, go over here. Thank you. And get that to work. Huh. How's, how's everyone going? Um. Happiness dropped to a nice percentage at last. <laughs> yes. Make sure that they don't have anything that they're actually missing. A little bit, a little bit work. No church, no tavern. Okay. You're not using the museum. Oh, no, there's someone using it. That's good enough. Um, we don't have anyone waiting in front. That's good. Babies are fine. Two crimes at the kindergarten. Oh, my goodness. What's that? Um, one crime reported here. That's okay. Sport looks fine. And we are shoppers in front. That is never a good thing. 
Let's increase this to eight. You don't want shoppers in front of the store. Stuff is not working then. But at least they have everything they need. So yeah, our, our next things are very much get these construction jobs going um, and finished, more importantly. Looks like we're at least now moving around, which is helpful. Um, I would like to see our ship coming through. It's close, but it's not here yet. And if it takes a couple of months, it takes a couple of months. And then we can get the snowplows on, on the case. All right, so you are... 67%. Yeah, I should stop that. <laughs> uh, one, two, three. There you go, buddies. Uh, I would like you to just come out to this spot. One, two, three. They can only help with what's going on here, so we'll see how it goes. Honestly, just do the, uh, a kilometer, because you are covering most of the area that's currently not being plowed, so that should be good. Um... <clears throat> What are you covering? Probably too much. And I would also like you to ignore mud roads if you can. Very good. Since we've got a winter to kill, maybe have a chance to play any more Railroader. I would love to. I would love to make a series on it. I really enjoy that game. It is very engaging in so many ways. And there's always a, um, a puzzle that you have to solve. But it's, it's also very time intense. Like, to do something... It does take you half an hour, 45 minutes, before you're done with it. And that is not even recording. That's just doing it. And then you have to cut that down. They make nice 15, 20 minute episodes. I know that. Um, but it's it's also very different from here. And I haven't had the luxury to play a lot of games that I'm not putting on the channel. Honestly, none, pretty much. Unless my kid wants to play. Um, and it's usually just things. I'm, I'm testing out the next game uh, if it's something that he's interested in. So... Yeah, no, I, I liked Railroader a lot, but it hasn't worked out yet. Any other questions? Th that's a good one. That's a good one. We can do a couple of those uh, curious if you type of things, uh, because why not? Make sure enough of this funky over there. Looks like everything is fine. This is the last substation that's not built yet. How about you make your high priority? Um, are you missing anything? No, you're not. You're also good. You're good. How? 85%? <laughs> There's like nothing here that should need that much power, but uh, here we are needing that much power, so that's cool. We have a couple more snowplows and a couple dump trucks that we could do something with, but we're not quite ready yet. So, uh, how's it going over here? You are... Working on the construction office already. Well, that was fast. Um, can you finish the roads first, maybe? <clears throat> and not the things that I didn't tell you to finish? That would help. Trash is good. 13% unemployment is actually surprising because I expected us to do more than that. Are you in Minnesota or Wisconsin? Neither, uh, but in the center of the country. I don't, I don't want to share that one. Uh, but I'm in the Midwest. Okay, so many games to a little time. Indeed. Uh, do you know what the max range effect of the TV radio station is? Yes, 100%. That's the range. It's uh, the whole Republic. Uh, you, so let's see, I, I don't think I can show you an example right now, but effectively there are certain buildings that don't have a range. Um, the courthouse is one of them. And then the, um, the prison orphanage, I think is, this the whole, is the whole Republic. Um, TV and radio are the whole Republic. And that may be it. So those buildings, you just need one off, but they will get overloaded eventually, so you have to do a little more than that. And it's just up to you how you deal with that. Um, yes, well, Secret Police is just for loyalty. I'm not worried about loyalty because I'm not using the loyalty settings at this point to do anything with. I should. I should probably set those up, and that's actually a good call. Uh, but I'm not terribly worried about them yet because as long as our loyalty overall is not falling below like 40% or 
So honestly, 35% because our one monument should cover everything that we have. Uh, we should be in a pretty good spot. But we can set up some lo uh, loyalty. Uh, set this to 30. That should give us some bonuses. And honestly, that's it because we don't have a university yet. And I'm not going to plan the university until we have our construction offices set up. And then we're not going to have those set up until etc etc you see you see you see where this is going right um get all of you i don't want that pipe and then i, I guess you can get started on this that's fine do you need anything can i speed you up with anything besides more snow plows because i know Imuda doesn't even play with snow uh, because it slows you down so much and it's true but it's also there's enough in seasons that i don't hate it all right we, we lost a couple more happiness no booze again, more crime, unable to pray, culture, sport, loyalty. Okay. Hmm. <laughs> Did I? No. Nobody here is set to work anywhere, so they should all be happy. You're not that full, so we don't have to build another building. Ah. Uh. I don't really want to build anything for crime. It's 413 people that had 1.5% effect on that. But the alcohol one cost me 8.5%. I think that is something I just have to have to swallow and let them let them booze it up um, before it's too late. So let's get you go on the alcohol trip, which will be right here, and then invite a couple couple workers. Probably three is fine for now. And go from there. Yeah, 16% unemployment is not great. Um, <laughs> and thank goodness the corridors in prison don't have a range because, yeah. Do you know where the TV radio stations are back if you built multiple? So, um, you as a person, let's see if we can find one where it matters. As a person, let's turn the cheat mode off because this is distracting. Do you have anything on? Speed up constructions that only matters when you actually auto build them, I'm pretty sure. Okay, so this person is currently at home and spending time at the Museum of the Republic. Okay, once she gets home, is it a key? Katarina Nutschke. Okay, uh, how did you only get 90%? That's, that's crazy. Is there... Okay, make it five. Uh, once she spends ho uh, time at home, and I would like to find someone who's currently spending time at home, um, they may tune into a station. It could... How's your 50% happy? What? Uh, they may tune into a station. A tuning could be uh, TV or radio, but only one at a time. So it depends which one they listen to. That's the influence that they get um, from that station. For that to happen, obviously, they need electronics, which I'm pretty sure I am supplying them. Um, but it's, it's a thing that they need. And yeah, so the, the stations don't stack. They just may have different specialties and they just listen to whatever they want to listen to that day. I don't know how that's selected, but that's what happens. Uh, epidemic. Cool. Do hospitals need to be in range of an orphanage? No. Do underground pipes, uh, for electronics? No underground pipes for electron electricity export. No, I don't want to export any of those things. I would like to export something more meaningful like the fabric uh, industry that we built already. So we'll see how that goes. Also, this setup will make it pretty easy to bring in fabric uh, from the outside once we, if we don't have it yet. So that's good. Um, but there are a few settings that don't, well, let's, let's go here. And tons of gravel. Oh, you're, you're the one that brings it to our asphalt and gravel, uh, asphalt and concrete plant. That's a good one. Um, there's a few settings that I don't enjoy, weather being one of them, but I use them anyways because I feel like I lose part of the experience. If 3,000 people don't die because of an error, yes. Uh, weather indeed is one of those weird ones because rain slows you down on some roads, um, snow slows you down on a lot of roads, and in gen like, if you play with uh, solar power, if you don't have a day-night cycle, they actually produce power all the time because there's always sunlight. It's very weird and confusing, and I'd rather stay away from that. Um, because, yeah, there's there's a lot to this, and if you can actually manage to keep all your roads free of snow, you're doing a good job, right? You're doing something that's actually supposed to happen, so that's pretty cool. I'm realizing something with that gravel truck. 
I still hear some beeping. It must be some of those industries over there. Uh, you should have power all the time now, which tells me that I can probably tell you gravel can come from here now. Cool. Um, are you looking for anything? No. Where are your excavators? Excavator, excavator, excavator. Where are you? You're coming home. That's nice. Go home. Just going to help it along a little bit. Uh, unfinished road. Where's that? take a right cool where are you you are over here building some road with gravel that's nice we can't really add another gravel truck so <clears throat> that's all we're gonna get uh we don't have anything here yet do we have some waste that we can worry about here metal scrap interesting and some ash okay oh yeah another thing we can't do we can't just import Interesting, that's not taking it. Oh, nobody's here. Uh, we can't just import hazardous waste to make a little bit of money. That's not going to happen. So, ha 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 um, mm -hmm. Okay, that's fine. That's fine. 67 actually went up. That's that's wonderful. Um, also, that's fun that citizens are sad because they don't. They aren't loyal. Uh, yes, they they miss a little bit, but this is talking about the, um. Like, there will be some in here whose loyalty is, like, in the 20s and lower than that. Like, below 30. Um, and, yeah, they will just they will just be unhappy about everything that you're doing. And nothing you can do about it, which is totally fine. I want to follow some of our vehicles here. Because we need to build stuff. Okay. Um, six liters of alcohol, good night out. Yes. Oh. I mean, if, for example, if you have them listen to the radio, but you have two radio... Yes, oh, sorry, I, I think I explained that right, Brittany? Uh, Pete, I never even considered the solar power advantage of day and night. I've never even built a solar power plant. It's, it's, yeah, I like these. Look at those smokestacks smoking around. I mean, what's wrong with that? Are you sure the, trick, the truck aggregate load has power? I am relatively certain, but I am will happily... I am will happily... I will happily triple check... We have power over here. Ooh. <sighs> Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Don't like it, but thank you. Um, here's what we're going to do. Uh, first, of course, we're going to tell this guy to get your gravel from over here again. Because things. There we go. Cool. And then we're going to give this one another... Um, Substation. The problem is that road looked really funny. Um, the problem is we have to split this again, and I have no way to deconstruct something right now. So there's another building that I need to worry about, which is perfect. Um, give me another medium splitter. Should be fine right here. Sure. Um, actually, it looks really ugly where it would go. Here. No. Here? No. No. <laughs> I need to get one over there. Honestly, it has to just fit into here. But not not the way that it's actually fitting in there right now. Um, this should be fine right here. Okay. You can go there. Then a really small voltage can go there. And the other one would go here. But obviously right now we can't connect it to anything. And I just have to replace like three of these. Which is super fun. So, uh, construction office, deconstruction office, free demo office. Perfect. They want to place their stuff somewhere. Okay. Oh, more things to worry about. I'm going to use a free one just because I'm lazy. I need at least an excavator and a vehicle for that. So, let's get those. Um, give me an excavator. We have dumpers already. I need a small bus of some sorts what are you doing seven sure uh that's fine then you can go out here and yeah then i can send that guy um but that's what we need we need to destroy those pieces of, of nonsense which is this one this one and this one and then they can connect into there not cool but it is what it is i just forgot there is a dump here, and we can certainly dump a bunch of stuff in there for right now, and that will work. 
workers will come from down here if you really need them i don't think that you need them for a lot of stuff but probably for those things are you full yet yes you have what i wanted you to have very good how about you come over here then that looks nice did we import our fertilizer yes we did cool bitumen is still good fuel you can probably make a fuel trip uh fuel 40 percent even 50 percent will give us 1300 tons yeah that's fine you can go all the little things you have to watch out for um so what are we waiting on right now we're waiting on these constructions for the construction office to actually get done uh currently you're doing okay that's just a little little much going on right yes but they will certainly get all of them done relatively soon what's this one doing there's a road cool let's watch them build <laughs> isn't campaigning mode just a big tutorial yes it is um deconstruct not a bad idea give give away time thank you marrow good call um yeah we're not doing a lot right okay um let's turn this one on what should be our new uh keyword tell me yeah the one after it though wait isn't a campaign just i see i haven't heard anything about the second campaign piece so maybe it's cool Ah, uh, speaking of which, um, pain. Let's use that as a keyword. Hi, Fraser. How's it going? Snow keyword. No, let's do campaign. We just talked about campaign. Let's do campaign. Sorry, I. Mm, there we go. Yeah, if you want to enter the giveaway, just enter campaign, please. That's our new keyword. Ah, oh, you guys are good at this. Very good. We got 3,000 views, 173 current viewers. Yeah, that's, that's good stuff. This is this has been working out really well. We are at the end of five hours. Um, I am semi-considering letting some of this construction just finish. So tomorrow we can use the new construction offices and do all that stuff. Um, so we don't have to wait as long. How, how do we feel about that, right? I think there's still a couple things that we can do, but yeah, there's a lot of construction going on here and we're not going to do much else until that is done. Also, we're still in the middle of winter, but I'm actually pretty happy with our snowplows. Looks like all our roads are relatively open, so they're not slowing, getting slowed down by anything. Happiness went up to 71%. Oh, because we are, we're, we're giving them booze now. They're just like, yeah, I can me booze. <laughs> um, but there you go. Five thousand tons sorry five thousand liters of booze and just for a couple people nice is airplane building profitable um probably i don't know if it is if you import a lot of stuff but yeah that's also not a bad exporter um cool mm -hmm. good sir uh i will do this peter i will slide up the uh, channel member luckiness to three because I said that I would do that on the last one but then I didn't so now we're going to do it on this one hopefully it will be better um, I hope I didn't break something to do that in the middle of the giveaway but there you go did it uh, this can be planned yes all of that can be planned construction office please just get everything done <clears throat> that would be super are you already trying to get repaired no no it can't be okay three percent great Nothing, nothing has happened yet. Nothing has broken. Awesome. Um, there is our extra stuff coming in for the deconstruction office. We can start with... Oh, we need a trash truck. I forgot the, the waste truck. That's, that's stupid. Okay, I need at least one of them. Um, for some reason, I was thinking it's a dumper, but it's not a dumper. It's a, it has to be a waste truck, otherwise I can't bring it anywhere. So that guy can just go do the thing. We can start deconstructing. Uh, very good. Where are you? You are here. Um, and then, yeah, we need a just a little car. It's probably fine. We don't need the big bus. You can come over here. And yeah, look, look at this disco. They're not getting power because this guy is not in range. Are you actually in range now to just place you in a sh crappy spot again? No, you would be in range. Cool. Um... So we'll just have to wait until those guys are done, which is totally 
Which is the thing to wait again. Okay, having a shipyard sounds like a matching economy for your island. Okay. Needs a lot of workers. Needs a lot of educated workers too, which we don't have yet. Univer okay, I'm probably gonna build the university too if I if I do that. Um, but yeah, it's not a bad one. Okay. Um, all right, campaign. Let's see. How many people do we have entered? Just a handful. So there's a good chance you will win. Uh Carmedian. Is SK Slovakia? Maybe. I'm really bad at that stuff, so uh maybe please tell me. Um, let's see. Did I mark the last one as used? D F J J. Looks like I may have not. Okay, good. Glad I checked because <clears throat> I did something wrong. Thank you. Sorry about that. Blah. Uh, Carmedian, please make sure you contact me uh, next. You lip read. <laughs> uh, yes, make sure that you contact me so I can give you your key. But I think my plan is my voice is trying to say, you know what? You're probably done for today. And I'm like, you know, it's been five hours. That's okay. Um, I think we had a good stream. Um, and no, I like it. We're going to get all of this done. I will plan the university. You know what that means? Hold, hold on to your hats. <laughs> uh, which university do we want? I think the small headquarters is a cheap one. It doesn't give us a distribution office, right? So we probably need... Technic University is the one that has the distribution. Does it have the distribution office? I don't remember. Let's go look. Uh, commission scientist? Is that the one? Where to research? Yes. I want distribution. No. No, did they sort this again differently? Maybe. Um, but maybe sort it differently. Yeah, distribution is in the headquarter. So I guess that's the one that we're going to use. Container standards. So I couldn't have even imported containers. Interesting. Uh, but small HQ. There's a problem with small HQ when you turn it off that it still accepts um, participants. But I guess that's fine. The nice thing about it is it doesn't require any road connections or anything silly like that. And it kind of just fits almost everywhere. There's actually good space for it. This way you want it? I think so. You can walk everywhere. Okay. That's the university that we're going to build. It should have access to everything that it cares about. So that makes life also pretty easy. Let's assign that to our construction crew. Um, that they can do something. But they're actually doing a pretty good job. Uh, this one, I don't think I need it done yet. So we're going to leave that alone. Uh, this one is almost done. That's exciting. We have three workers. I think one of the things that we should do with 11% unemployment, that's 70. Gosh, it's really not a lot. I wanted to throw a couple big buses on here, but if we are generally picking them up with the buses that we have, and then a few extra get get moved over but these are just four these are cars with four i think we should switch them out for a bunch of these um that we can uh, start building a little faster we don't have the 11 passenger buses yet do we or 30 no we still have just seven it will double what we have right now eight eight is good eight is an actual double one two three four yeah i like that we'll move those over here um, I think I already purchased a waste truck. Micro, micro, micro. Yeah, the waste truck should be on here, right? Nope, we don't have one. Okay. Gotta purchase a waste truck. I really thought I already did, but uh, it's not showing up there. And if I get a couple extra on the on the islands, also not the end of the world. So may as well do that. Now the bus is coming through. There's this coming through. Headquarters for distribution office. Yep. So no students going to HQ. Fire! Not keyword. Ah, <laughs> uh, lucky. We did it. I I love that there's more fires here, and I'm glad that we have at least this setup where we have a couple firefighters in there. So, um, 
seems to be working good enough. Did I mention when I when I tested this, this building was the first one that burned down? Yeah, <laughs> it's pretty cool, huh? Uh, I think you have everything that you need. Go over here, unload so we can destroy the power lines that we don't care about anymore. There you go. Um, I will go check if, yes, I did get a message. Perfect. That's what I want. Um, can I click on this? Not really. That's fine. <clears throat> Uh, please let me know if that key doesn't work. Uh, I w I'm not sure. I think I kept track on most of the, the ones that I handed out, but I didn't on this one. So just make sure that it actually does the thing. Um, this guy, yes, and yes, and yes, and there we go. How does it only load eight? Oh, it loads like 30 or 50 or 60. I don't, oh, the, the passenger bus? It's just a little bus. <laughs> it's it's not fancy or anything like that. Look at that nice ship. Love it. Let's take a screenshot of this guy uh, at night. I don't know what we're going to do yet. But yes, this is what we're going to do. Um, I hope you are going to be back tomorrow. Is everything on? I think everything is on. Yes. I hope you will all be back tomorrow because we will continue this, get into our first industries. I'm going to let everything that we currently have planned get built. I may even include a couple of the pipes that we have underneath, underground. Um, and yeah. Why are you using workers from abroad? Because for the harbor area, I still have a couple helicopters that can go back and forth. Um, it costs a lot of fuel, but I don't know. We're going to replace them eventually. Um, they don't cost that much yet. And they're good enough for fire protection. Uh, but yes, you're right. I should replace them with something more domestic. <laughs> that would work how did you get many codes oh peter i asked peter for it um like this stream is not sponsored by three division or by peter or by the people that created uh workers and resources but um i, I really love the game so i i don't mind supporting it if you watch the first 10 minutes you will see that i also played the trailer for the uh like the latest trailer that they put out so here we are i'm at work so there's no way to test it now okay um no problem. Just just text me after you test it, and uh, if there's a problem, we can fix it. Cool. 100% will be there tomorrow. Tell all your friends, and it will really help if you share, um, like, tomorrow when the stream comes up. Make sure you like it again. Very important, but also make sure uh, it would be really nice if you could share it in different platforms. YouTube really likes if the link shows up in, the, in other places. So the liking is important, but there's more and more and more, and it's always uh, something that it wants, something that it needs. 75% happiness? Oh my goodness! Whoa! <laughs> it's great. Ah, uh, that makes me... I, I don't know if you can tell, but I'm a little excited about that. Um, yeah, they're they're doing everything they need to do. How are you? Good. There, there's nobody here, which is actually a really good sign. Um, they're all being utilized. Uh, which is not a guarantee. That's fine. What are you guys going to do for the rest of the day? I have to figure out. I still I have to clean the kitchen <laughs> from this morning. That's important. Um, and then I think I may be making some more acoustic panels. If you guys need some acoustic panels, hey, I'm your guy. I can make you some. Uh, seriously, though. Um, it's, a, it's a thing. If you need some, maybe reach out. I, I may be busy until March, but after that I should have something. Um, this is the streaming voice. No, that will hurt. <laughs> or a lot. Um, one of those things I like about realistic mode is that it's relaxing to watch while things built can be unhurried. Yeah, it's that it's a balance between stream and not stream, right? And I would say the last half hour has been a little too slow. And I'm not going to plan just another big thing to plan just another th big thing. Did I mean to get all of this done too? I think so. That's the first industry that we need to get built and at least um, one food and one, um, one, one of these should get done and then we can start import. Do you hear that beeping? What is beeping? Gosh. Ah, <laughs> oh, boy. Bollocks. Um, whatever other words are there. Let's see here. Where do I want you? I think I wouldn't mind if you connect to this thing in a semi-straight manner. That's that's close enough. That's good. 
And then I wouldn't mind if we get a quick through road right here. Oh, come on. Don't make this so complicated. I can see that there's a node there. Do we really need that node there? No. Let's see if I can remove it. Uh, waypoint? No waypoint. No node. Woohoo! Uh, right in the middle of those little power lines over here. That's what I wanted. And then we can actually connect into there. That looks good. Get those roads done. And yeah, I, I think we're going to complete um, at least a little bit of this. I don't think I need to complete the farm. Um, that's the thing that we can work on tomorrow while we plan the next thing. But at least factory... Well, if we can import some grain, we can at least start some exports. I think that will be really good. Um, and there's a big spot right here that would be really good for um, chemical production. That could work. That'd be nice. That could be the next industry that we plan on. Especially once we have more construction offices ready. It should speed up a lot for everything that we want to do. Uh, you... You're not, you're not ready yet because I didn't send a one of these guys to you. Okay. Um, I don't know if you know that about me. If you're not, if you're not following this channel a lot, you probably, maybe not. But I can always find one more thing to do, and that's kind of the, uh, the thing of this game. It's you're never done. Uh, there's no way. There's always. Oh, there's this little thing that I can click on. There's that little thing that I can click on. Oh, what about this? And about that? And about these? Uh, it's. Yeah. If I tell you I'm done, uh, don't be surprised if there's another 45 minutes waiting for you. Okay. These can all go over here. Speed up construction a little bit. We have enough workers. That's good. This house is probably slowly filling up. Yeah, we have to build another one there. Um, I was serious about. I would like to build everything that we've planned. Which means if I want to build another residential building, which in the time it takes uh, to build everything else, we probably do need another one. So let's plop this one right here. I wouldn't mind if we can actually fit two in here. They're just opposite. Um, <clears throat> yeah, that's fine. Got those footpath connections, uh, that's okay. If I can get this one in here, that would be helpful. And this one's like a back alleyway connection, that's fine. So getting all of these done is my main priority, and we'll see how that goes. Um, I would actually like to not build these in the back. Yes, demo. Uh, yes, demo. And no, this one can stay. That one's not terrible. Okay, some more construction things. Some more buses, get some fuel. Everyone is happy. You're doing, you're doing so well. I'm so proud of you guys. No edification about waste separation, but the hospital can still figure out how to put um, bad waste away. Okay, this looks good. Our heat is good. It is March again, apparently. That's fun. Um, these are all assigned, I think. Um, yeah. Okay, I'm gonna do this. We're gonna. I'm just gonna let this run for a little while. Sorry. Money's down a touch. Yeah, 300,000 to 270,000. Oh, sorry. 230,000 to 170 some thousand. That's all good. I will hopefully, uh, once we have food and stuff going, I can potentially reutilize. No, I probably won't be able to reutilize any of these ships. Um, but we'll just have to see how that goes. Um, and then we can, well, build our, make our own stuff. Some own stuff. These also need water. <laughs> I can't walk away without planting water. That, that'd be silly. Mm. If passed exactly one year, this is good progress. I hope so. Money's down. Uh, just need to fix this. Turns into a three hour bridge. It's like Victoria in that aspect. And I think that's great. Indeed, I agree. Okay, these guys need really good water. Okay. Let's figure out where water comes from. I think I still have this. There's a switch over here. The thing that I don't think is going to be good enough is connecting this. We will need more water than uh, comes through here. There's just 70 cubic meters of water coming through. So I mean it. I would like to build everything that we have planned. But there's more stuff that I have to plan. And we may come back a year or a year and a half later. So instead of not doing what I said I would do, I will try to do exactly what I said I would do. Where's the other pump? It's right next to you. Okay. That's fine. Let's put it... I, I didn't want it to be too far off from what it was. 
uh then move this pump uh, pipe in there and that is 140 cubic meters or 130 cubic meters now coming through there that is good for uh for one pump for one input but we do want another one um so how about if three so i can actually see something how about uh two more and i don't care that they're only 93 they get free power from here which is way more important to me than than the other stuff i don't think these need to be a water reservoir or have a water reservoir so let's just pump this one here two large pipes f3 to see something underground two large pipes can go into here one large pipe goes into the um, processing plant. Um, we can plan that. They have power, so they should be good. And then for the industry, especially for um, food and clothing, we're going to set up a separate water tower, also a big one. Um, where should that go? Honestly, that can probably just go here and be spliced in front of the uh, splitter that we have sitting there. That should be good, uh, which then means get rid of a little bit of this pipe. This game is all about planning, if you didn't know that. Uh, I don't do very well at that most of the time, but sometimes I know what I'm trying to do. Then you can come back here. This one doesn't have a footpath connection. Got it. Um, sure, that's fine. Give me another one of this. Yeah, I'm just going to slap this in really quick. All of the production for the next industry that we need at some point. No biggie. Uh, no problem at all. That one has power, which is what's important. Then give me a large pipe connection into there. Very good. You just connect to the pipe that's already planned out this way. It's going to cost us a lot of uh, concrete to build all of this, but that is fine. And then I think what I'm going to do is actually build another large water tower here because... Um, there are two things that require a lot of water to get built here. So, um, large water tower, do I want this here? Honestly, I think this will look better. What the? I pressed R for rotate and it just threw me out to my, to my windows, um, windows screen. Not cool. Okay. Uh, we certainly need a substation. Absolutely, 100%. No questions about that. We'll come from there, so rotate this. Um, that should be good. If we need a substation, we definitely need a water switch. Uh, otherwise, it's going to be hard to supply all the water that we need. So here's the other one. Um, F3, what is your footpath situation? Right there. Okay, do you want to... No, it's fine. Um, you can go down here, and you can just go in there. It's This is more for fun. Um, you have a road connection that you want here. Okay, uh, that's not going to work. <laughs> Perfect. Uh, F3, let's do the road connection really quick. Um, this one is one for potentially just deliveries. There's a node there. That's why it won't let you do the thing. Got it. Uh, yes, you remove that. Now gravel road, you can hop in here. Um, these guys need to be connected to something. Um, I think... I am happy with a quick, quick one of these, but I would like it to actually feed into this road better. That feels good. That's good. That can be planned. That's fine. Yes, 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 and yes. Now, back to water. <laughs> there it is. That's what I wanted. Okay, so if you can connect straight into there, this is going to be a large pipe, and I don't know if it's going to be enough. If not, we can easily expand another one on this side. That should be fine. But there's only going to be one large pipe for an input, so it probably won't make a huge difference. Um, for this one, for this tower to actually be effective, I think we will want another pump. Um, which, as long as we have power, that's really not a big deal. Uh, you can go there. Get me footpath access. Very good. Get me a large pipe access. Very good. Um, and then, yeah, you can pump in there. That pipe is fine, but look at how many resources we need. Oh, it's only 200 tons. Only 40 tons of concrete? Wow. That's that's awesome. I thought, no. These are really cheap. <laughs> these, these pipes are super cheap. Gotta love it. Um, no. <laughs> you can go like this. There you go. Don't be, don't be overzealous. So that's all connected. Good. 
Um, there's sewage that we have to worry about, clearly. There's some sewage coming out of here, and uh, we're right next to the water, so we're not gonna dink around with that, trying to run the sewage back or anything like that. We will probably use this as... That's, that's annoying. Um, we will probably use this to also do... Earlier, let me terraform acting like I had a bulldozer, but I know that I never had a bulldozer. Interesting. Um, oh, you got done here. That's nice. Uh, get me some power. I think it's this one running into there and running into there. So I can get that built. Construction, well, construction has a lot to do right now. Okay. Um, this is what we're going to do to make this thing work. You're doing something there. That's fine. Which of these excavators is doing something? You are just coming home. Perfect. Control H puts you here. We have it paused. I'm only pausing it so I can actually keep it around. And with that, we're going to put... What was I doing? Sewage. Yes, sewage somewhere in this general vicinity. Um, just so we have it available. Very good. F4 for a footpath. Very steep. hiding behind the tree and I don't like it. There we go. Now it's connected. Look, there's no extra node and it actually can get constructed that way. Isn't that cool? Um, and then I think we probably want two of these. Um, let's do the first one here. My, my phone is doing something funny. That's cool. Get me a large pipe. Make sure that this one can actually go down there. Definitely can go down there. Okay. Uh, give me another pipe to make sure that these guys can connect to this. Wow, I am surprised that that actually worked. But not that's not a terrible thing. Uh, then we have this one, which is currently pointed at that side, which is just about the same length as this side. Um, we're going to leave it. We're going to leave that sewage pipe pointing that way because I think this will be connected to some other industry that we will have over on that side. So that's all fine. Those are connected. We don't have power yet. Okay. Uh, we can continue running time. And let's look at this. Uh, power, you just have to connect to all the buildings that we have here, which will be right around there. Triple checking. Uh, doesn't have the sewage thing, but it has every other building. Is this going to be enough power for this area? I honestly don't know. Um, and there's only one way to find out, and we're not going to find out right now. Um... But that is fine. And then, yeah, this can just be part of this power line that I already built a... It's like I predicted that I will need something else uh, to get the switch in. I don't think I need more uh, power going the other way. So I'm just going to connect it this way. And there, you can get that one built. Uh, all of this can get a sign. There's still a, uh, well, oil pipe. Could we export oil? 100%, totally. We could probably even put an oil export harbor here. We have a pumping harbor right here uh, that doesn't have an import right now. We could make oil an, uh, an export. The problem is oil itself, not worth anything. And there's no good oil tanker, cargo uh, tanker. So 14,000 tons or 2,000 tons. <laughs> Andre, thank you. Um, so it's not really a good fit. If we do fuel and bitumen, yeah. But the refinery is so expensive. And unless I missed it, there's no new refinery available yet. So no smaller one. So probably not that one. What is your problem? Just the warehouse out here. Oh, because this one doesn't have power. It's just like, wait, what? Um, but that's fine. So all of this is connected. You have power now. You have sewage. You don't have heat. You don't care about heat. So that should all be fine. And this guy, we can easily add more fields in a lot of places here that um, increases the yield. So that should be fine. But there's a lot of construction going on now that needs to be kind of constructed. Um, and I may optimize this or I may not. Should we optimize? There, there really isn't much. Um, increasing the priority on some of these projects sometimes helps and sometimes uh, it's not that great. There's just too much going on right now. And I need all of them done. And we will probably have them done uh, when you come back. So that should be good. Uh, going to end the stream 30 minutes later. Still playing. That's right. <laughs> that's, that's exactly uh, how I work. How do I know what wires to use for my power production? Oh, 
yeah, hey, let's answer a couple questions. Um, wire for your power production. This thing can produce how much? 1050 megawatt hours of POW. POW is electricity, right? Um, what do you do with that? Well, your breaker is this. That's the big number. That's the number you actually want to look for. How do you see that in here? Um, if you look at the gas power plant, and it's researched out, obviously. I didn't remember that that was a research item, but that's fine. Um, it actually says the max wattage circuit breaker is 17 megawatts. That's how much it produces. That is the maximum production. And now with that knowledge, you can go down here and find a voltage wire that uh, can carry that. 18 megawatts is the highest one. Okay. So for this one, one large um, voltage connection is usually enough. And I have the 15 here. And then I use this one, which does 2.3. Both of them together already add up to 17. So I can't produce any more power out of this thing. It's going to take a very long time until I need that. Um, for the coal one, same thing. You look here. It says 1400 megawatt hours of power. That is 23 megawatt. Um, that's a line that you need. So you actually need two lines. Or if you cool and have two of these together, you can produce 46 megawatts of power, which then means you can split that up into uh, three large lines pretty easily, which is pretty nice. Um, but yeah, that's that's how you see that. And if you if that information is not there, then you just have to look at the 1400 megawatt hours divided by 60. Uh, that's the magic number because an hour is 60 minutes. It's it's just the math that the game likes to do. That's all. Um, okay, three days later. Well, just one line. Wait, one line? This game, indeed, is very addictive. Have you stopped playing yet? I haven't. I on The weird thing is, I only have 2,000 hours in this game, which is considerably low. Like, there are so many people that have a lot more hours than that. And, I don't know, there was a... There's always a time where I play a lot, and then a a long time where I can't play or don't play much or won't play at all for reasons. And it's just, it's a little, it's a little crazy. It's a little, a little funky. Uh, but that's fine. What are you guys doing right now? I, I feel like I need to add a couple of free construction offices to get stuff done a little faster. But honestly, most of these things are just really short-lived constructions that just need one truck of something to deliver something. What are you doing right now? Uh, you go into the aggregate storage. Cool. If I send you home, you actually have a shorter path. Ah, there you go. Um, and you can micromanage it like that, too. Sorry. Control H is how you send them home. I always forget that there are probably shortcuts that people don't know yet. Uh, but yes, Control H is very helpful when you have a train construction going on. But I like these plates. Um, not train construction, but rare construction going on. But here we are. Um, how do I auto repair trains to that travel point to point uh, without manual sending them to a depot? Well, you need to have a repair station that allows trains to like allows repairs on lines. There's a setting. I don't have a repair station yet. I can show you, uh, but you need to make sure that you have that setting checked. And then technically, a train should go to the nearest depot and get repaired there, and a truck from the repair depot is supposed to go there. What I would do is normally have a um, have a repair depot directly connected, like with the orange dots around it, connected to the train depot, and then it makes it a little easier. Uh, yeah. Any other questions? We got a couple minutes, right? I mean, we don't have to finish it, and I'm also no, yeah, we have a couple minutes. I don't want to throw away throw away. I don't want to give away all of the. Um, all of the giveaway keys because I don't know how much we're going to stream tomorrow and the next day, so I I do think at the end of the stream we can do one more giveaway for everyone that's still sitting around. How do you feel about that? Control H! Haha! -ha. Yeah, save that time. Uh, so dumpers are the thing that we need right now. Honestly, we have a lot of dumpers available. There's no good reason to not just use them, so how about we do this? Uh, like, I've already purchased dumpers, so may as well do something with them. Free construction office in front of the dumper office. Sorry, a gravel office. Put that one right there. Get these. One, two, th I want one of the bigger ones. Two. Get all of those, um, and just make them go. 
you, 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 and you. Okay, get your gravel from here. Okay, construction office group, assign this guy. Okay, and then let's go, let's go work. Uh, all of that looks fine, that looks fine. There's a little bit of gravel here. Yeah, that's, we're going to build all of it. All of it's going to get built, so just get used to it. It's fine. What do these need? They need a little more gravel. Ha, <laughs> look at that. Um, looks like this stuff is not being built yet. We have a new construction office already available here, but it doesn't doesn't have everything available that we want. We could use, well, we said this is going to be cement mixers and more, so how about we just move those over there? I don't think we just have three, three, uh, but that's fine. But yes, end of stream, one more giveaway because we're almost at six hours and I think that will just be fair. Uh, they can go over here. You will just get this and this assigned as a store, as a, as a source. That should be good. And then, yeah, we're going to get all the gravel dumpers there once this thing actually has some gravel in it, which is going to take a little while, but this is going to shortcut the distance I have to travel. Um, we still have this guy. There's a lot of stuff going on over here. Crazy. Where are you, Microbus? 13% uh, unemployment. That's still good. You're going somewhere. You're currently empty. Okay. Shortcut, as usual. <laughs> um, to my knowledge, trains can only go to depot when they are on a line. It's a depot attached to the repair center. Orange dotted lines. Okay, it's, it's possible, but they're supposed to also go when you don't have that. Hello, I just recently bought Truck and Logistics game, and it gives me 3,000 start with, uh, with, and I can't buy anything. Could you help? You should be able to build the, uh, buy the first truck. That's, that's what it's designed for. If it's less than that, you just, uh, have to submit a bug report, I think, is the best place to go. Look at that, my people are 80% happy. I mean, that is... That is wild. Very wild. Mm -hmm. Oh, reminder. Everyone that's watching right now, did you make sure that you like the stream? That'd be very important. Uh, Glenn, no, this is the vanilla, realistic vanilla Republic. No mods. And I generally, most of the things that you see me play, I don't use mods. It's just not my style. Uh, this all looks good. Do I need another crane? What is the next vehicle that I put on this thing we have another dumper may as well use you um and then i don't know what what else do i need to throw on here um probably another one of the open halls we may as well purchase a couple and get that all situated um two more of these because why not excavator we should be fine another road crane i think that would help waste truck Truck build, a truck builder and road crane. No, that's a tower crane. That's not a road crane. That's the opposite of that. R. There we go. Um, yep. Let's buy two because why not? Move them over here and then we can ship them to the other port. Good enough. I'm surprised how smooth everything has gone so far besides not moving very far or very fast. Uh, but it's smooth. And that's at some point that's what's important to make all of this work. And look at all the traffic that we're already generating. I mean, that's wonderful. Um, we have two way roundabouts in the city. Yeah, I do. Uh, to make it a one way, I have to asphalt this and I'm not ready to asphalt anything yet, especially since it's working. Um, but yes, you're right. I should, uh, make this an actual one way roundabout, but that's fine. I mean, right now this guy is taking a shortcut. See, it's perfect. <laughs> There's not enough traffic to, to justify anything else just yet. So we're just going to leave it. Really? That is what you think the main route should be? No. Uh, we're just going to leave it the way it is. One, four. No, because four really doesn't have to come out. It has to be two and five. I'm just being lazy. You could have done this a better way. But yes, two and five. So two can go in here and five can always go through there. That's exactly how we want that to go. Beautiful. Um, are our guys here? Not yet. Is the fuel tank here? Let's add after the technical service how about you go here where's the end station the end station's right there okay no uh don't do that after the end station you can go um to this one unload thank you okay 
just for fuel. I was already going there, there, and then there, but uh, whatever. Okay. Um, do we... There's only three mixers. I think I wanted four mixers in there at the minimum. So let's see if we can get another one. Mixer, mixer, concrete mixer. There we go. Get another one. Move you over here. And then that ship can actually go. Is this all polluted water or is it clean water? What do you think? Um, oh, the trees are pretty. It's like pretty spring. Very pretty spring. I am very happy with how everything is working. It's kind of weird. Oh, we have these guys ready now. So one of them will be steel. Um, another five empty. No, I just need this. Ah, makes it hard. Missing resource steel. Yeah, I know. I just I clicked that button. Leave me alone. Uh, this will be steel, name it steel, and uh, call it steel. Okay, the other ones will get done eventually too. Thanks for subscribing, Ramon. Um, <laughs> eighty percent happiness. Two more hours of streaming. It'd be nice if it worked that way, wouldn't it? Um, should I get my own workers here to the firefighters? I think the answer is probably yes. That could save us some uh, fuel on the helis. I only have one helicopter spot like that. So what I need to do... First, I need a couple more vehicles. Um, and those are... Those, mm, no, we're going to leave them. We're not going to move them right now. Uh, because it takes a lot of workers and I only have 11%. Uh, a lot of workers to man one fire station that's this far away it's like probably three full buses that i have to bus through there all the time and i don't have that especially if the helicopters can kind of take care of it there we go 22 are right there perfect um <laughs> just triple checking everything but i think everything looks good what do i say what i want to add here one more crane and one more open hull i think is what's going to go there you guys are not really doing much. Okay, did we did we actually finish almost everything? No, we did not. Um, we're going to give you higher priority, and then we're going to go back to assigning everything that needs to be assigned, which is, well, those all those pipes need to happen at some point, but not right now. Uh, there you go. That's fine. Um, one of those needs to happen, and then, yeah, we can, we can get started on these things. All right. Cool. I, I do think I'm done. I do think I am done with what we needed. Can you expand your reach? Yes. Range, reach, all the same thing. Uh, and then these two, it would be nice if they were treated as higher priorities. Um, I know it's completely up to me to do that, but just make it, get it done. Is everything done? No, you don't have everything that you need. Okay. Um... How do you get the ground painted concrete like that? Oh, you just go down to uh, trees and accessories and then use any of these guys. <clears throat> Super easy. Let's see, do that. We could even put up some uh, Christmas lights if we wanted to, but I think they're kind of silly. Um, are you are you loading? Yep, you're loading just really slow, and that's fine. Uh, once the power is done here, we are doing better than that. All right. What else do we have? This building. Yep. No, there, there's more to build, especially the industry back here. So I think we're good now. Uh, cement is not... Cementio is not in the group, I think. Thank you. I think you're right. There we go. Um, but it, it is at least searching out its own stuff. So it shouldn't take that long to, to make that work. Um, assign things, and yeah, you have everything already that was in range there, that's good, and stuff over here really doesn't apply to you, so that should be fine. I like it. Uh, but I don't like that all three of the cement mixers are gone, so let's get this one over here. This is why I didn't want to turn off realistic mode too early, because moving these vehicles is kind of tedious. Uh, give me one of those and one of those, because we have room. Uh, to send you over here and over here. Cool. What are you doing? You're the coal guy? No, you're gravel guy. Oh, nice. Uh, you're the coal guy, and we're not using that much coal, which is awesome. 
We could have probably run a coal power plant if we really tried hard, but I didn't want to risk it. 7% unemployment. Everyone is relatively healthy. We have power. We have no trash. Nothing is overflowing. We're doing really good, guys. Metal scrap. Yeah, we could try to separate things. <clears throat> But it's not very high on my list because the return, the ROI, return on investment, is very, very low. Also, we need more gravel here, buddy. Um, I think... I think what we need to do is get another dump truck on that. I don't have another dump truck. Well, in that case, you just leave it the way it is, okay? Alright. It should slow down, and at some point we should actually be able to do this. <clears throat> but not today. Not right now. Uh, maybe later. I think we're good. Ha! Ah, what a fun day. What a fun, fun day. 169 viewers, yeah. I think a couple people probably left when I said we're done half an hour ago, but here we are. Uh, there's a fuel guy. We're going to follow this one all the way around. We actually... Can I get a nice um, screenshot of what we have created? <clears throat> Not bad. The thing is... People usually prefer screenshots with um, with trains. So let's see if instead of trains we can do something pretty with ships. Um, I don't think this is as pretty as I want it to be, but that's fine. There's no ship standing here, I guess is what the problem is. Um, but no, we're, we're going to do one more giveaway uh, because you guys all have stuck around for really long and go from there. I may even just use the same thumbnail uh, with day two because I really, really like the thumbnail from uh, from the original stream. But honestly, this is kind of organized and I kind of like how everything looks and is, is doing things. So that's that's pretty cool. Never caught a life before. Good fun. Good, good, good. LOL, brother. When Jen does 10 minutes and a new hour begins, what a reflection. <laughs> uh, yes, yes, indeed. New, new hour would begin very, very soon. Um, how are you guys doing? Did you get all your priority items done? Nope, nope, you just didn't care, and there's just 800 more things to do. Yeah, we're, we're gonna get all of this done. I'm just gonna let this run for a little while. Uh, it will be fine. Cool. We're good? Yeah. Uh, let's do... Why are you sprinting to? To the fuel station. To the fuel station! Where the fuel station? You're welcome, I think. Um, get that one. Get, get your thing done. That all looks good. So... Let's go, let's go see. One more giveaway. Who wants to do a giveaway? Me, 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 me. Um, I'm kidding, but not. Uh, so let's see what we can do here. The last one. The last one. Everyone that wants to, no, let's keep this at three. I think that's fair. Let's reset eligibility. Here's what we're gonna do. If I refresh this, it actually kicks every user out that was in there, which is fine because now when you type something, it will do something. Okay, dwarf. Uh, hello. Let's see. Uh, go up two, three times, and then we're gonna say. Tomorrow. As in, the next stream is tomorrow. There we go. Do your worst. We're gonna follow some guys around because the the game doesn't doesn't want to continue if I'm not focused on it, which is quite annoying. But that's fine. Um, but that's, that is the next giveaway, so, uh, make something out of it, please. Yeah, I got your gravel. I never built these plate paths, and at home, back in Germany, we have these, had these everywhere when I was growing up. And, I don't know, just a little nostalgic, I guess. But it's cool, it's cool to have it. Oh yeah, there's still people here, that's great. Hey, where did the five new people come from? <laughs> this guy's not moving. Should we find someone else to, to bother? I don't know. I like seeing a big pile of gravel just like that. Um, that's just neat. neat. We still have two million bucks. That's actually really good because the industries are going to cost us an arm and a leg. And then we have to actually start and import it and export something. Um, so that'll be cool. I think we're going to... I should probably get the farm done. I mean, realistically, I should get the farm done and get that one started so we can concentrate on the next thing. So yeah, we may include, I may include the farm too and the things that I want to get done. Also, happiness dropped by 5%. Why? Culture, hospital, electricity. We didn't have electricity for a couple of days. 
what happens. Go refuel. It is right here. You don't have power. You can't refuel. <laughs> Do you have any workers on board? Nope. Um, okay. Not good. Where is this one supposed to go anyways? Uh, what is this? That's that. Okay. What is this? Yeah, yeah. I'm thinking that we're just going to be done, but no. So it's just this guy. Okay. Uh, do we have any workers waiting here? We don't have any workers waiting. We have a lot of people there. But because we don't have a power supply, people are very cranky. And why are you parked in the same spot? Gosh. Um, there is another bus coming in here. Are you going to make it? It's so annoying that there are no workers waiting right now. That is a big no-no. How, how does it even happen? I mean, seriously. Okay, we're going to assign one of you here. Can I tell you to just go to this bus platform, please? Yes. Okay. Uh, that's the bus end station and the bus stop. Cool. So I can send you back, and now there's five work. This is enough. Five, seven, eight. This many workers is totally sufficient to do what I need to do. But there goes my 80% happiness. <laughs> what do you need cooling towers for? Um, it's just a thing that's prescribed for running the um, <clears throat> the nuclear substation, or nuclear power station. Uh, why are you going 45? You shouldn't go 45. You have the bus end station on your thing. Is it? Are you going 45 at night? Is that new? <clears throat> it's not that dark. Go faster. <laughs> go, go faster, please. Ah, uh, 70%. That's, that's not bad. And we're going to get over a thousand here pretty soon, which is cool. But let's see. Everyone, at least just a handful of people have to go over here. That's all we really need. And then they can do what they need to do. Power on. Power is on. Cool. Four people can run this. No problem. And everyone can go refuel. And life is better than it was before. And yeah, we're just... I'm just going to keep these um, assigned to, to that substation, uh, to that bus platform. Otherwise, nothing's going to work. Something that would have been good is adding the windmill somewhere in here. So I would always have like a backup power, power source. But I didn't do that. And I don't really want to rely on that. Another thing that I also, also put in the comments all the time on Reddit is don't just have one mode of transport to get your people to the power plant. It's not a good, safe way to do it. Um, I totally stand by that. It's just, I don't have money right now to build a train. I don't have uh, gondolas for a cableway. I don't have other real options at this point in time. Hopefully at some point I will, uh, but not, not right now, not today. Looks like they're doing the things that they're supposed to do. That's nice. These guys are also kind of assigned, right? Yep, they're they're doing what they're supposed to do. But crisis averted. Now they can recover for electricity problem again. Well, you, I don't care about this one. Just tell me about the electricity problems that actually matter. Notify me when production will stop. Will stop. <clears throat> interesting. Um, hazardous waste. Also interesting. I didn't know that you have hazardous waste, but that's okay. If it goes in here, it just gets burned. So um, it is what it is. These guys are still moving out and about. What are you taking stuff to? <clears throat> Sorry. You're taking stuff to somewhere. We're going to follow this guy. All right. Um, that's enough for the um, for the thing. Does burst slower at night? Yeah. It's. I thought they only did it for certain other periods of time, but apparently it does. Okay. Let's go get the giveaway taken care of because it's the last thing. And then I think um, it's time for actually saying goodbye. It's actually... We're at the sixth hour. It is it's just before. So do the last giveaway here and then say our bye-byes. Peter! Hey! Um, good job. I think you, you just recently um, joined the um joined the channel, right? Appreciate that. Uh but yes, Peter, please, as before, please message me. Uh let me know that you saw that you're um well, just contact me. <laughs> I don't have to make this more complicated. Just contact me, please, um, so we can get this 
um, over with. That'd be great. Thank you very much. Uh, and I'm sorry for saying your name wrong. I think it's closer P Peter. It's not Peter, but I'm saying Peter because I am illiterate, clearly. Uh, yes, you dumped that off right here. You're doing great. Cool. Anything else anyone else wants to say? Now's a good time. Now's an excellent time for that. I think this was a very successful stream. We got 3,400 official views, but it counts refreshes and other things, but that's pretty good for uh, a very long stream of very... Well, I tried to promote it a little bit. It didn't... It worked semi-well, I think. But I'm happy with what we have right now. If we can do the same thing tomorrow, tell all your friends. Um, that'd be great. What are you guys doing? You are currently not doing too much. Um, and we are... We're actually finally going out here, huh? That's great. I think we need more mechanisms. Oh, I forgot about that. Yes, we need a mechanism uh, construction office that can also hang out over here. A tower. Do you have... A footpath? No, you don't have a footpath yet. Okay. <laughs> we can add that. No problem. Um, but yeah, we need a construction of us for mechanisms only. That's like uh, excavators, bulldozers, etc. Those things. How about we do a 16? Uh, because we also need to worry about... Um, I, I don't want to take the space. <laughs> I know it's probably kind of silly, but I don't want to take that space. Uh, this should be fine. No free excavator. Okay, so we have to we have to get a green slot. Right there. Uh, do a really short road connection. Yes, someone can build that. And then we're going to add some uh, trucks to uh, move this around too. Hopefully that makes sense. But there you go. All of this should get done before tomorrow. And um, there we go. Yes. No, I'm happy with this. I'm happy with where we are. I'm surprised with where we are because I don't do... I don't test out everything. There were a couple fixes that I've ever done on other republics that took me multiple tries to get it right. But generally, the stuff that I'm just showing, uh, that I'm playing, um, I don't really do much... a lot of preparation. Which may be good or bad. Um, but... No, I, I really like where we are. I think we're a really solid foundation here. We still have two million left in the bank. That should let us build a lot of the stuff for the industries and get us at least one big ship or two big ships of imports. And then we can worry about the first profits. I think that's a really good place to be. So, um, hope that will work. What do we have? Um, Peter is... Probably Peter is Peter. Yes, hopefully. Uh, what do you think about cable trams for delivering workers? <clears throat> They're excellent. The large ones can do 300 per shift. And uh, the small ones can do, I think, a third of that, 100. <clears throat> but they're excellent. They're wonderful until you don't have power. <laughs> so it's one of those. But then my vehicles will also stop because no power, no fuel. So that's, that's a different problem. Um, <laughs> one last giveaway and we're done. Yeah, no, I, I'm serious. We're, we're going to call this and I'm just going to let this run now. Um, see you all. Uh, good to see you, S S Surya. Yes, I think we're good. Peter, I haven't... Did I Did I see a message? I know you... S yep, I see it. Okay, thank you. <clears throat> uh, Peter. There you go. That worked out. Got you taken care of it. Uh... No, I like it. I like, I like everything that happened today. But thank you all so much for watching. Uh, very much appreciate it. We'll let this run for a little while and um, we'll be back tomorrow. 9 a.m. is the plan. Hope nothing uh, comes in the middle of that, but then we're going to continue here. I'm going to get everything constructed today and tomorrow's going to be a new day. Thank you so much for watching. Uh, thanks for hanging out. You guys are awesome. And uh, to all of those that were here yesterday or the day before to help me test Nightbot and a couple other things, appreciate you helping me out with that and coming back today. I know that was a very unannounced everything, uh, but I think it worked out. So for everyone that's like, oh, I want to see more, there are like eight seasons and 50 tutorials out there that I've been babbling on about. Maybe, maybe go check those out there. They're fun. Um, but no. Thank you all so much for watching. Uh, it was very fun. It was very nice to have you. And I will see you again uh, next time. And until then, 
we're just gonna run this out for seven minutes and uh i'll see you then bye bye